go. So welcome back to Dungeon and Magical Girls, our fourth edition D and D game. A bunch of otaku sitting together playing D and D. Um, for those who are coming in and may not remember everything from last time, uh, the party left Ashnes Mansion and reconnected with Gunhei in a certain rundown, rowdy bar in the town of Griffin's Peak, where they had a lot of fun. Um, interestingly, Normacus was unwilling to give Gunhei the crystal scepter the party had recovered. And so Gunhei made Karyon swear on his life to protect the scepter. Uh, the party then completely threw themselves at this ongoing bar fight um, until a demon was summoned. Um, then they made their way back to a house owned by Normacus' sister, whose name is Music. And there they discovered a mental link between Music and a demon. And in an attempt to connect with this demon and sort of find out what's going on, they nearly pulled Orcus, Demon Prince of the Frickin' Undead, into the mortal world. Uh, in doing so, it caused a large explosion as he was uh, sucked back into wherever he came from. And I locked him on the head. And it carry on rocking on the head. <laughs> I'll punch man in the face. Whack. Um, and there was a huge explosion, which threw everyone sort of out of the building through a big uh, hole through the roof, knocked pretty much everyone unconscious, uh, except for Karyon. And um, you are all now waking up variously on the lawn of, of Music's estate. I stood up and immediately light my pipe. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And start by me saying again from what I said last episode, WHAT THE F*** WERE YOU DOING?! <laughs> I then turned to carry on and say, Don't ask, you don't want to know. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to wanna know. know, I had to whack a mole a freaking demon, man! I, I get up and say, for once it wasn't my fault, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, duly noted. I mean, you were in the wormhole after all. Hmm. But see, can someone explain this all to me in 30 words or less? I can do that. I tried to exercise a demon into my staff by pulling it out of music, nor you guys' sister. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and I screwed up a little bit. That's 35 words, but good enough. <laughs> Why are you counting? I don't know. Because he's OCD, apparently. Mm. <laughs> Carry on is secretly a neat freak. <laughs> All his swords yeah. must be organized in shininess. <laughs> mm. I then yeah. turn to Normacus and say, We've got some work to do. <laughs> it seems we have a lot of planning for next. Either attempt or the next stupid thing we try to do. But we should first find out if the last stupid thing worked at all. <laughs> How about we yeah. try rebuilding the house? How does that sound? <laughs> nah, someone else can take care of that. Surely yeah. there are more important things to worry about right now. Yes. Let's go find my sister. Your sister is laying on the uh, ground nearby. Where, Where are, are her children? children? That's a very good question. Where are her children? <laughs> the house blew up and they were on the second floor. That can't be good. <laughs> Um, yeah, kind of what what I'm uh, uh, music is uh, very much unconscious. Can Normicus do anything to try and blast it? No. Chris has mm, healing <laughs> medics. Yes, do. <laughs> Get all medic in that shiz. Well, that uh, I, I guess I'll go to Inspector. Okay. I, I chip in and say, uh, before we bring the body back in functioning, we should probably check and make sure the demon hasn't taken full control. Mm. I guess I'll do an arcana check then. Okay. Yeah, I'll assist. Okay. I'll totally assist. <laughs> uh, success. Alright. So, um, success somehow. Alright. That's, that's plus four, and there's my plus nine, so da 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 da. Really bad at math. 25. 25. What are you trying to find out specifically? Just if there's some sort of link still there. Uh, there is. Alright. It, it appears to be, from what you can tell, the same link, however. It has not grown. There appears to be no change in the link, but it's still there and remains. Ow. So wait, that big thing is inside music? Not inside her, per se. She is connected to the demon through some sort of demonic link to, another, to the demonic planes. 
Oh. He's influencing her from that plane in some way. How, how do you think he established that, like, in the first place? Uh, demons have many ways to do this. It can be simply through contact, through voice, mm-hmm. and this seems to be a powerful demon. He may just yeah. sim- simply will it and it happens. Mm. You hear so, um, uh, the sound of running feet coming from the street. No, uh, shit. It seems obviously we have attracted attention. Um, Shida, will you wake my sister, please? See if there's anything wrong with her. Thank you. Uh, maybe we should try getting out of here in case that's the guard. We have. This was technically not our fault. <laughs> <laughs> this is just this totally not our fault. Totally not our fault. No. With swords, weapons, and magic in hand isn't exactly the best uh, picture. Mm. I well, could where would you take suggest the blame? we flee? For now, I, th- I suppose we c- the only place we can go is nowhere. We should stay here. So should I please wake my sister? That's a good point. Either way, we should at least wake my sister before we try running away. We can always carry her, but okay, that's your point. <laughs> so um, I-, I attempt to wake her up. All right, heal check. Okay. Plus... What is it, plus... Well, don't you get a natural 10 anyway? Um, yeah. If you want to do well, that. Uh, uh, what? I, I guess I mean, it's not what I was. I mean, if you guys want to wait five minutes. Oh, uh, it's uh, uh, 27. 27? Yeah. Um, despite your best efforts, she remains deeply unconscious. Rot, mm. rot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I suppose who's carrying her? <laughs> I suppose we should take her into what remains of the house. You hear from the street, guards, guards. Oh shit! Mm. Called it. Uh, I should have carry built that to that very quiet club. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest we run in the nearest direction where the sound wasn't coming from. <laughs> I don't care if it's the woods. I think we should start running. Well, let's go then. <laughs> okay. Who's carrying music? I'm fairly brutal, so not me. I can hear Alright. Alright. So you all. I'll the image of Benny Hill now, just everyone <laughs> running, just like. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, there are no woods near here. Uh, th- this being uh, uh, very built up, but there, there's plenty of uh, uh, neighborhoods you can, you can run through. So, you manage to uh, run and, and sneak away, and, and as you leave, you can certainly see the city guard are converging on the house, trying to figure out what the heck just went on. Um, and, uh, and off you go. You end up, you, you, know, you find yourself in a, uh, a rather posh but fairly uh, cramped neighborhood nearby. And uh, you sort of stop to catch your breath. What do you want to do now? Um, where's Bernard? He was in the second floor of the house. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Shit. Do we know if he's alive or not? No one's mentioned anything about him. Uh, uh, well, oh, well, Bernard's pretty sturdy. He probably helped protect the kids. Unfortunately, the mm. guards probably are talk uh, are probably sh- talking down for information. And uh, uh, probably. well, he didn't know as much as I did. <laughs> Speaking of which, where the hell's Gregory? If, if if Gregory was any was any in Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> Gregory will have survived. Gregory is stronger than any man I know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gregory was was presum- I mean, he, he was presumably in about the same spot that the other player characters were. So you can presume yeah. he was he was blown, you know, it, into unconsciousness by the explosion. We're blasting it off again. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So what now? Um, what well, are our options? We um, I get, I'm thinking we could like go talk to Goonhead. Possibly. If we can find I it. dropped a giant freaking hit in everyone's rumor sheet, and no one's picking up on it. Um, I have it right here. Uh, uh, I say we go do some research. Yeah. <laughs> Am I on the right track, Brad? That might not <laughs> be a bad idea, considering I've been mentioning this every session for like the past three sessions. 
Uh, oh, life bringer. Life, life, life bringer. Yeah, life bringer. I, I wanted to research the life bringer. I don't yes. understand. That's what I wanted to do in the beginning, but I wasn't sure when it would be best to bring it up, considering we have an unconscious woman on our shoulders. Well, that I mean, do, do you no, guys well, want to go well, and find some place? Do you guys want to go and find some place to, uh, you know, um, put her temporarily while you go research? I I think we should rest because. Uh, we we were just unconscious, mm -hmm. so we're all fairly weakened, mm -hmm. I assume. Mm -hmm. uh, also, it might be a good idea to just rest so we can kind of figure out what we should do in a safer place. Okay. Uh, I, I wish you luck in finding an inn we're allowed into. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's still not my fault. <laughs> the inn oh, should have no else, description of us. There should... Oh, sorry, the inn should have no... <laughs> Go on. Is, it, uh, is everyone else at one HP from the explosion, or, or like, how does that work? Because I know I'm at 14 from the explosion. Well, you're the only one who wasn't like thrown out via explosion. One so. second. You each took 11 damage from the explosion, other than mm -hmm. Kion. Well, th that, I think that made all of us unconscious at that point. Yeah. So we were oh, that's all true. at one that's, HP. That, that, that's true. You were yeah. all at one HP. Correct. We have a common problem with this, honestly. We're always having mm. one HP at, like, full health. <laughs> it's D&D. &D, that's the whole point. Yeah. So, wait, am I at full HP, then? Um, technically, yeah, you are. Okay, then. Uh, I need to find pencil. Mm. Wait, well, you were, you're at whatever HP you were at at the end of last session. True. You, you didn't get a full full rest. So, whatever HP you were at before you went into Music's Mansion is what, is what health you are at. Yeah. That's true. Um, yeah, you, that's right. You guys, no, no, uh, no. You guys slept first, and then you yes, went to in the morning. Mm, well, uh, but yeah. we all took a lot of damage from the ritual. True, but yeah, um, but Carion didn't because he wasn't in the. Oh ritual. yeah, of course. So, so Carion's fine. Yeah, so, yeah. So you are full uh, HP. Carion's god. <laughs> <clears throat> we do need to find a place to rest. So um, nearest inn, I guess. Seriously, haven't trashed up to you. As long as it's not the inn with the dwarf summoner person. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wait, um, uh, wait, I remember hearing about an inn somewhere. Um, what was it called? I think it was called the, um, uh, the Five Armadas or something. That's what you guys yep. were saying. Uh. Yeah. Can no one just ask a random passerby for the nearest inn? Well, I, I, there's no problem finding an inn. I just, I just, you know, want to make sure you guys are cool with just finding a random inn. Oh yeah, just a random yeah. inn. You sure you want a random inn? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you uh, want us to do research or not? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were this trying to push <laughs> this storyline. This inn is owned by Orcus. No. Um... <laughs> No, no, it's owned by the other. Oh, God. Oh, it's Burgess. Only 3 dollars Find the bed. <laughs> Welcome to Vecna's Logic. Welcome um, to Orcus Burgers. How may I help you? We'll go to Hell's Hill, California, because we can't leave. There we are. Um, okay, so you find a, a an inn called Cord's Hammer, um, which is run by actually a dwarf, not the same dwarf. Um, this being um, early morning, it's kind of unusual for folks to come traipsing in uh, for a room. Uh, so uh, the female dwarf sort of arches an eyebrow at you as you come in and says, uh, So, welcome. You look for rooms? Yes, we need a room to rest in. <laughs> as smoke sort of billows off your head. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, no problem. So you, uh, you go, uh, comfortable rooms, reasonable rates, no problems. Cool. All right. Mm. Um, Domicus just sits and looks at his new frayed trench coat like, I just bought this! <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> it was uh, real leather! It was real leather! <laughs> or so leather. Wait, no. Um, <laughs> okay, so you guys sleep for about, um, uh, until basically early evening. Okay, late afternoon, um, early evening. Any hints of music being rested and waking up? Um, she is. She remains unconscious when you wake up. Hmm. Yeah. Well, there was when we entered the city. There was that um, giant 
crystal spirey thing or something that has mm -hmm. something to do with wizards. I guess we could go there to research. Yeah, I was going to suggest we um, find and uh, enter the Crystal Academy, I think it was. That sounds correct to me. <coughs> <coughs> the Crystal Spire thing? Wasn't that in Spire Keep? No, this is an academy. Uh, I just called it Spire because I didn't remember the name. Let me make Go sure ahead. I have my correct information on that one. Whoa. Oh, yeah, my that was the wrong thing. Shit, guitar pick, don't fall on the floor. <laughs> wow. We have a lot of rumor sheets. Yes, we do. I have them all printed out. Ah, nice. Mm. And I have different ones for different people. Um... Mm -hmm. I must have put this somewhere else. Um... Mm -hmm. One second. That's odd. Where did I put oh, um, someone find a blanket, a wheelchair, and some thick sunglasses for music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Sounds That's like a point-and-click adventure. Yep. Let's see here. I'm trying to find. That's weird. I remember. I remember typing that up, but I, I don't. Find, I don't see my notes for it. So I will have to make it up on the spot. Make it up on the spot. This is what happens when you don't... Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Nope. Um, yes, so the, the Crystal Academy is a large sort of college campus type thing in the middle of town. Um, what, and, and actually, honestly, what are you guys going to do with music? Are you going to bring it along? Uh, I guess um, uh, maybe me and um, uh, Mike or Chris should, like, stay here and, like, just guard her. No ball. splitting the party. Oh, Mm -hmm. Um, just, just pay for an extra night with the room and leave her laying in the bed. Okay. But, would she be safe then? You can Does it have any, any rituals that will magically lock the door? You can certainly try. You could, you could arrange with the innkeeper to see if she has, you know, special services. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that then. Uh, okay. what, what kind of t part of the town is this? Like, is this like... Posh. Apparently. Yeah, it's it's the, the the upper scale area of town, the hills, if you will. Oh, then yeah, then we should talk to her because that sh that shouldn't be as bad as like leaving her where <laughs> we interrogated the other guy. <laughs> yeah, that would not be so good. Um, yes, she offers uh, a, basically a bodyguard service where she has certain friends who will uh, stop by and and just make you make sure no one goes in or out, anything like that. And that um, and she offers that for uh, twenty five gold per night. Yeah, I guess, well, since it's, there is five of us, I guess we'll all just give in five gold. That totally mm -hmm. works, sir. Yeah, okay. fine. Cool. All right, so you head off to the Crystal Academy. It's, it's sort of a, a university, you know, uh, 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 set up, multiple buildings. There are walkways going back and forth. It goes up about five or six stories, uh, these various buildings, and uh, all made of this strange uh, uh, sort of bright red brick, sort of almost a glowing red brick. Um, and a lot of windows, and you, you see a lot of um, your bright flashes and things going on uh, uh, inside. Uh, and you, uh, uh, you walk in the main entrance. I assume you want to go in the main entrance. Um, and, uh, good. I have some party we plan to dig underneath! <laughs> no, I have some party like, no, we're going to sneak in the back entrance and try to garrot our way in. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yes, so Last you're time we tried that, it didn't turn out very well. <laughs> True. Um, so you go in the main entrance, and it is a large open uh, space with various counters. Uh, people are going in, sort of like a library, actually, but people are being sort of checked in and, and taken by specific uh, sort of porters to various uh, areas uh, of this. You can tell this is, you know, this is clearly basically a large sort of research campus. So there are you know, um, you know, library areas and, and things like that. And so there are people of sort of all shapes and sizes going in and doing research, but it's more of a bookish place. And so you go up to, to the nearest uh, uh, available teller, basically, and he's kind of a short guy who looks up at you and says, Hello, what is it you would like? Uh, Norman just steps up and says, That's a very lovely cell phone. <laughs> um, Tyrander steps up and asks, uh, do you have any research materials on various um, scepters and materials on the Lifebringer, the myth of the Lifebringer? 
Scepters, yes. I'm sure there's something about the Lightbringer here somewhere. There's, it's been a, a, a very popular legend recently. Oh, yes. Whoopsie! Uh, could you please direct us in a general place to look? Of course, of course. Come with me. So he takes you to a, uh, a library section. So basically, um, uh, uh, information. Now, uh, when you're asking about scepters, what do you mean specifically? Um, basically, research material on different types of scepters, scepters of legend, just to get an idea of what exactly we're holding. <laughs> Okay. Under our jackets. Gotcha. Um, okay, so he, he will take you to those various sections. Then the Lightbringer stuff is basically under really myth and legend. Mm -hmm. it, it's you know there's gonna be a lot of sort of research into you know lots of different stuff about it. So it's gonna be pretty pretty broad. So what I'm gonna need is um, uh, history checks. Um, okay. And I'm gonna need basically one big history check to determine what you found out about the Lightbringer, and one big this will probably be a religion check. Um, to find out what you need to know about the scepter. Okay, so are we, is just two of us doing it? Like one for the history check and one for the... Correct. I'm looking, I'm looking for a total of two rolls, or, or two right, results. Right, okay. Well, I'm trained in history, so can I get, like, an assist? And I'll right. roll the history check. Go for it. Um, I'm reading all assist over your history. Older. Can I do that? I'll assist on history with Matt's check. I'll assist. Oh. Okay, I'm good. trained in religion. I'll, I'll, assist, uh, I'll assist with the religion roll. Okay. okay. And, um, sassing. Alright. Okay. Zan? Uh, let's see here. History. Mmm, just barely nine. Um, uh, then no. Yeah, no. Alright, do you want to assist? Uh, 19 on the history check, because I didn't get any assists. Alright, fair enough. Uh, so you got one assist. 20, 25 on the religion check. 25, alright. Um,. And so, d just so you guys know, you know th this isn't going to hurt you major one way. Though. It's, it's more specific specificity of how much you get, you're going to know. Um, the crystal scepter um, is connected to various legends about uh, demonology. The scepter appears to be something having to do with a giant, um, uh, some kind of ancient portal connection to the demon world. And uh, uh, it, it, it appears to be basically essentially a key to some kind of connection uh, between this and the demon world. And basically, the thing is you have to uh, take this key, uh, and, and here's the, the, the rub of it, is that um, you have to take this key to a particular point um, under the world. It's actually in the Underdark. And you have to take it to this specific spot to destroy it. The problem is that spot is also where the door is. Yeah. So you have to take it to, to the one place where it could actually be used in order to destroy it. Um, so that's the Crystal Scepter. Um, it's, called, it's called the Crystal Scepter, um, scepter of Ava. And um, in terms of the Lifebringer, um, now this is something that unfortunately has had lots of different legends sprung up around it. So uh, th as best you can tell, the, um, uh, the information that you've, you've, uh, you've pulled suggests that the, uh, th there's this temple uh, called the Temple of Deep Shadows, and um, it is said to be in the Fallen Angel Marsh, which is actually not too far from here, uh, about a day's journey. And um, it, it said somewhere in that marsh is the Temple of Deep Shadows, and at the at the bottom of that temple is something called the Scrolls of Eternity. And uh, these scrolls explain and, and basically provide the process and the information on how to summon and 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 how to summon the Lightbringer, how, how, to, how to make the Lightbringer, you know, appear. One of the confusing things is that no one knows exactly what the Lightbringer is, whether it's an existing individual, whether it's some creature that will be summoned, whether it's some person that will be summoned, whether they're being pulled from another time. Um, it, it's completely vague. Um, but these scrolls will essentially, you know, bring the Lightbringer um, or find or whatever, you know, uh, that is the key to, to, uh, to the Lightbringer. Mm, okay. So, I turn to the party and say, I think the first order of business should be to um, visit that temple. Yeah. What of, what of my sister? We can't, we can't simply leave her in the end, can we? Mm. Um, Maybe we should take her with. Maybe if we take her to the Lightbringer, she, he can help out, or he or she can help out with it. Mm. We don't know what would be in the, in the marsh. I would rather not take my completely defenseless sister into a marshland. Mm. 
there are certainly, um, you know, versions of, for lack of a better word, sanitariums. Um, or, you know, just basically places where you could take your sister and, you, you know, she would be well cared for in the interim. If you want to do that. I guess we'll have to do that. Term, huh? Yeah. Um, you could go back to um, uh, the, the War Council and ask mm -hmm. for their help. Uh, I, th I think it would be best to leave her in sort of a hospital sort of mm. place. Well, she also yeah. would be wide open, though. Mm. How about, what if we um, uh, leave her in Gunhei's care? How does that sound? Mm. Gunhei's directly connected to the War Council. Well, I think the point, of, you know, the point of going to the War Council or not going to the War Council is because we can't trust them. Gunhei is directly connected to it. Re you know, he still has to report back to the War Council. Well, you know? wait, well, this is a side matter, though. This has nothing to do with the War Council matters. Has yeah, but he works, he works for the War Council, so he has to go do missions. He can't sit and take care of... Yeah. I think what Zan's saying is that Gunhei probably knows people who can take care of her. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Also, there's Sergei, so... Mm. Shit, at least nah, he won't be true. alone. That's true. Um... Hmm. I don't think it's that big of a problem if we leave her in a hospital's care. Mm. Uh, she might be in the open, but no one's coming to try and kill her yet. Mm. Mm. I don't know. The, the, the only idea. problem is the... Well, yeah, we don't know if anyone will. Mm. The only problem is is the fact that there's a demon yeah. <laughs> inhabiting her. That's, that's, that's our main focus, not some random person's going to break into a, um, mm. the, the hospital well, and attack them to defend well, people. It, Here's the thing, though. Her house blew up, so yeah. once anyone gets word of where her location is, they'll want to go to her and investigate further. Point taken, exactly. Uh, I, think I think wherever we take her, it should be in secret. Yeah, if we can, ta if we can find Goon here, that's the thing, if we can find him, mm. then we can leave her in Sarahi's care. Mm. But can we find him? You know? Goon isn't that hard to find. Trust me on that one. Around a bookcase well, you, walks Goonhead. You look for the drunk door. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, but like, I couldn't, I couldn't help but over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but not everyone's going to remember Goonhead. You don't, it, Carry On doesn't have like a little sensor on his head. Matt, just listen, did you hear what I just said? No. I don't think you did. Goonhead just walked around a bookcase. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Then let's okay. speak to Goonhead. <laughs> Gee, what I tell you, not that hard to find. I couldn't help it over here. I was expecting to find a drunk dwarf. Nobody expects the Goonhead. <laughs> Amongst our weaponry are. No. <laughs> uh, mm, would you like to take care of the dwarfist, or should I uh, tell, uh, ask him? I'd rather you speak to this man. Very well. Uh, Goonhead, we're in a bit of a, well, another find here. Um, Why am I not surprised? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> anyway, so apparently um, my brother's sister, and uh, I guess somehow along, well, anyway, uh, apparently she has a demon inside of her, and uh, the, apparently these guys tried to exercise it, and it turns out to be this lord of all demons kind of figure. So um, we're now going to search out for help from for, um, from a mythic source, if you're going to be a life bringer. And uh, we're hoping if maybe you, we can leave her in uh, you and Sergei's care. <coughs> I'll be more than happy to do so. Okay, uh, I like how Capion just tells him every single yeah. last <laughs> It's not, can you just take care of this woman? No, it's, here's a list of why you should just kill this woman. <laughs> hey! Karyon trusts Gune. Well, then if music dies, I'm blaming you. <laughs> hey. Just give him, I give him, I give Gunhei directions to the inn, I guess. Okay. And tell him he can find her there. Very and good. And I guess the, uh, the, the, the keys to it or something, since you put her under that special... Well, yeah. under care of bodyguards, I... Don't know how easily they would just give up the person they're guarding to a stranger. Uh, well, we can quickly go back to the inn and yeah. then the bathroom. Yes. Yeah, presumably you have all your gear there anyway. 
Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Through. Okay. Before, yeah. before we leave. Also, we didn't eat the. Also, we didn't eat the mint on the pillow. Right. Of course. Yeah. Little chocolate. Chocolate yes. movement. Right. <laughs> of course. Um. Before we leave, uh, I'd like to talk to the reception thing again. <laughs> reception thing. Um. Just. <laughs> Sure, you, you you can you can you can walk on back and and he's he's sitting there busily uh uh uh, uh I was gonna say typing does. but he can't be typing um uh, uh, writing away on things and he looks at me and just Chris he's receptioning yes exactly yes sir what can I do for you sir um <laughs> do you have any texts on Christender Demon Slayer Oh yes, he's a very famous person. Oh yes. Oh, we have we have uh, many books on him and the rest of the World Walkers as well. Wait, World Walkers? Oh yes. Mhm. Uh, oh, okay then. <laughs> uh, that's that that's pretty much what I needed to know. Um, thank you. Oh, you're welcome, sir. Any time. Well, you gotta think, Mike. The World Walkers are kind of like the League of Justice around here, so or were the League of Justice. They're mm-hmm. more, like the, they're more like the Watchmen, honestly. Yeah, Mike yeah, knows. <laughs> okay. So does James. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Go back to the end, yeah. All right. So you guys head on back to the inn. You you make arrangements. Uh, 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 Gunhei, you know, does a thumb up. He goes out to find Sarah. He and, and make arrangements to. Move music to a you know a secret location, um, and indeed he gives you um, uh, a, a passphrase. There's this thing in Griffin's Peak called. Do I type it up here? Um, uh, dang it! These must be my other notes. Um, th- th- there's this thing called the uh, um, the Orphan's Telegraph. And it's it's basically um, uh, you you arrange with a bunch of, with street kids, and you basically tell them to go and find somebody, and give deliver a message, and then they, they um, you know uh, they write a passcode, and you basically um, you know uh, arrange it that way. They they then come back for for their money. So he gives you his um, orphans telegraph passcode. So anytime you enter um, uh, Griffin's Peak, you can send him a message that way. What's the passcode? Uh, the passcode is um, believe in me who believes in you. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Someone as well as me write that down. <laughs> yeah. I will. <laughs> and the advantage of that too is that he can send, me- send messages to you as well and that could be your passcode back to indicate you've received the message correctly. <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll go to the Marshland now. All right. Um, actually, there is one thing I would mm. I would like to do before we head off. Okay. Um, I would kind of like to head back to Music's place to see if any of the people who were in the building are still alive. Yeah, like I wanted the kids to or Bernard. Right. Mm. You I mean that place sure. surrounded by gods? <laughs> we <laughs> we, just we live. Well, we we've, we've rested since then, so time has passed. We can at least go and investigate. And yeah, the problem is now. time has passed, so the guards have probably whisked them away to a jailer interrogation room by now. This would be an awesome streetwise check. Mm. Streetwise. 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 I am no friend in streetwise. Who's got mm. highest streetwise flower? Just roll randomly. Uh, I can assist at least. Wow, so I got eight. <laughs> Right, well, I'll roll a streetwise check it then. Go, um, oh, I go for an assist. Yeah, I'll assist as well, and success. I assist. Okay. Two, two assists. Um, that is plus that, that's that. 21. I got an assist too, apparently. Then. Oh, 23? 20, 23. All right. Um, there, there are rumors circling about uh, this explosion at the house of this entertainer. Um, uh, a man was taken away from the building. Um, there are rumors that children were involved and that either they were, they were taken away or you know, something. There were certainly children there. No one is quite sure exactly what the situation was. As it, with anything like this, you know, they're, they're, the rumors run the gamut. Um, but... Uh, explosion. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, yes, and the, the person who was described as going away does kind of fit Bernard's description. 
Mm -hmm. uh, what about mm -hmm. the other one? Ragri? Well, he got blown away yeah. with the explosion, so he'll have woken up unconscious in the middle of a field well, or something. What about the, the diamond guy? I can't remember his name. Mm. There is no information on either of them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, we, we, maybe we should do something about Burner. I mean, he is our companion. True. Well, what do you suggest we do? Spring him from the jail? <laughs> she did death twice. Uh, I'd say I'd I'd not, not waste the time. Yeah, I'd say oh. for now, let's head to the marshlands. We can come back and get him later. Mm, but he won't get the experience. Become a lackey. <laughs> he's get he's get he's getting his ass kicked in jail. I think that's a, worth a little bit of experience. <laughs> <laughs> He's met, his, he's met his new best friend called Bubba, who says, You're my puppy now. <laughs> oh, Wait, everyone now turns, now gets an evil alignment. And, uh, we... <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I, I feel much better knowing that he's at least safe. True. He's not dead. Yeah. Because <laughs> as we all know, the police can't possibly be corrupt. Well, um, should, we check, should we check on it, maybe? Or do you lose one? Let's just go to the marshland. Stop wasting time. Let's go to the master. Okay, it's not it's wasting smart, time. Come on. Better not blame me. I have a reason to be excited time. to go to the marshlands. <laughs> 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 All right. So, um, stepping back for a second, uh, sort of c pulling out of character for a second, just so you all know, the uh, the temple and all that is designed as a classic D and D dungeon crawl. This what? is going to be a full scale, you know dungeon crawl thing. It will not be a classic in the sense of like a 10 level dungeon crawl. Um, <laughs> we, won't go, we won't go on for that long. Um, but just so you know, this is going to be that. There are some, some opportunities for role playing in there. Um, but this is very much going to be more focused on killing things and taking their stuff. Yes. Oh, FYI. 210 Hawk. feet, here I come. Yes. Alrighty. So, uh, you guys head off into the marshland. Now, you don't really know much of anything about, obviously, you know, where the temple is. Um, as you go through, and as you're sort of going out of the city, you talk to some folks, and you do know that the marsh is uh, inhabited by many dangerous creatures. Big surprise there. And um, as you go through the marsh, you do get the feelings that it's, it is kind of, you know, nasty. Um, th th this is a dark marsh. There's a lot of... Uh, of uh, sort of fetid pools and stinking bogs and things like that as you're going through. And you're essentially going through just trying to, f to figure out, uh, uh, you know, where to, uh, to go best. You're using all of your, uh, you know, your nature checks and so forth to do so. We're not going to roll that just yet. Um, but you guys are, you know, trying to track as best you can. Um, as you go, this is going to take a while to load, so I probably should have oh. it earlier. Um... Um, as you go, you're, you're heading through the marshland. There is um, um, one of the difficulties is that the marshland is actual marsh. It's a, it's a bog. So all of the light green areas on the map, once it loads, are marsh and they're difficult terrain. Um, and then there is uh, water and such. There's actually a, 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 a large lake that you're sort of traveling next to. You sort of get this, this feeling that danger is nigh. Let me know when the map loads. Um, and uh, basically, this is this is a you know a, a, a rough area of the marsh, and you, you're, you're feeling kind of out of your element. You've never really been in this kind of area before. Um, um, I'm not sure what it does, but I have a race feature called Wild Step, and all it says on my thing is ignore difficult terrain. Excellent. Then you will ignore difficult terrain. Are there any logs for me to stand on? <laughs> there are indeed, actually. Row, row, Yay! row your boat. Gently down the stream. Yes. Um, actually, while we're doing this, we might as well roll for initiative. As we all know, that's coming up. Of course. Hey, what the hell is that? I actually got a good initiative. Oh. 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 No. Oh. Uh, 23. I got crap. <laughs> 13. That's not a d20, that's a d12. <laughs> Matt? 13. 13. 13, same here. Um, Matt and Zan, yeah, what... Yeah, but what's your... 
Yeah, what's your initiative score? Mine's one. One. Oh, okay. Roll off. Oh. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> um, uh, what do we roll? Uh, you just roll a d20. Whoever rolls higher <laughs> yeah. gets... Eight. Ow. Thirteen. All right, so... Zane above Matt. Dan goes first. Chris, what did you get? Six. Ooh! All right, loaded. Ooh. Yeah, six. <laughs> Wait, where's mine? Where's mine? Mine's not six. Mine is... Yeah. Mine is 18 for once. Oh. Yeah, you have a buttload initiative. Yeah. Still not a yeah, I didn't get so much initiative, Brad. I know you have the uh, plus four <laughs> initiative uh, feats, but like anything else? Or do you just roll? Um, it is plus four and 19. Okay. So 23. Yeah. Okay. I have plus eight. Yeah, no, yeah, you have like that, that elven stuff. Wow. I have plus five and I got a six. Mm. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we have Mike, Thingy McGigger. Thingy McGigger. Looks like Thingy McGigger. I think it's well, a J change. over the. I think I it's a J over the. Yeah, because it's like supposed to be a J. I think there needs to be a hyphen between it. Midget, Midjigger? It's, uh... Yeah. Shut up! That's what it says, and it's pronounced <laughs> Midjigger. <laughs> it's pronounced Midjigger. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I think you're spelling Jig wrong. There we go. Yeah. There you go. All right. There you go, much better. That's Mr. Thingy Midjigger, sir. Thingy Midjigger, son. Good <laughs> Why does, does anyone have the map yet? Yeah, I got it. Okay, does anyone oh, not have the map? Freeze. Does anyone not have the map? Good. <laughs> All right. Why did I close the book that has the monster on it? That was really dumb. Okay. So. Oh, shoot. I've been recording the, the Skype. All right. Okie doke. So, um, as it happens... Uh, that uh, is very low in the initiative score. But you guys are surprised. So, he gets to go. So as you're walking along, you, you walk on this one section, this, this brown section that is um, uh, luckily normal ground. Let me show the chat what we're talking about. That would be kind of uh, nice. Before I forget, I forgot to talk about this again. I have, again, combat leader, plus two initiative, everyone. Okay. It might help in Shaw's case. If, that, if, if an eight puts me above his. Yeah. Nope. Um, that puts everyone at the same, same initiative okay. score. Oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, it's still the same order. That's fine. Um, okay. So, yes. Um, so, so as you're walking along, you, you, know, you get on this sort of, sort of sandbar thing almost. And then out of this sort of fetid lake or little pond next to you, this horrid humanoid thing made entirely of vines uh, leaps out of it and rises up out of the pond and to your horror uh, vines um, leap up out of the soil at you and start to claw at you and they will attack you for oh first one is going to miss Mike natural one <laughs> then uh, 22 versus Normicus's reflex. Would you believe me if I said no? 22 versus your reflex. Yes, it takes me. Okay. Um, wow. 26 versus uh, versus Zan's reflex. Hits. Right. 24 versus Brad's reflex. Hit. And a 17 versus Chris's reflex. Uh, let me see. It probably hits. Yeah, 17? Yes. Yeah, it hits. All righty. In that case... Are we doing any counter cards? Um, sure. One second. Oh, my God, guys. did with the Viner. What? Uh, it's, a, it's a very obscure uh, Yogg's Cast reference back when they did the uh, charity. Um, uh, oh, the, uh, the online. Yeah. 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 I should have just said Creeper, but whatever. Let's see here. Creepers can make a grown man cry. <laughs> All right. I am now giving you your fortune cards. 
in the Skype call. Oh, I don't think that's going to help me much, but mm. I don't know. Maybe in the first round. Not the face. <laughs> A new player. All right. Well, I am so, a pretty boy, so it makes sense. Everyone <laughs> except for James is restrained and takes ongoing 10 damage. Shit. Save ends both. Ah. Uh, as magical vines have sprung up out of the ground and are crushing you. Yay! I don't know what my fortune card does. So do we, do we take any initial damage now? Um, it is not your turn yet. So once uh, your turn comes, you I thought there might have been like a starting damage before, huh? Nope. Not in this case. Cool. Yeah. All right. So I we begin with uh, Tyrandir. Okay. Let's see what I can do. Um, please. Please. Needs to be ranged. So. I will and can do Scorching first. All right. So, this will be Intelligence versus Reflex, and the Intelligence roll was 19. Uh, versus? Reflex. Reflex. That is a hit. Hit. Okay, and D6. Um... Nine. Nine, and then plus four fire damage. All right. Any of that ongoing? Um, it, no, no ongoing. Okay. Very good. All right, Mike. Um, this slipped, slipped my mind about three times already, but what happened to the, um, the raven, or hawk, or whatever it is? It is flying around you. Awesome. Um, okay, so... Can I, like, grab one of them and try and cut the vines, or would that not work? Um, grab one of the, the vines? Like, like, yeah, no, like, like, pull out my swords and start trying to cut carrion out. Oh, gotcha. Um, yes, you absolutely can. Um, that is an attack versus the vines. Um, it would be a basic attack. Okay. Could I, like, attack two different vines with, no. um, Okay, cool. Okay, so, um, then I will just go at it with my primary sword. All right. Oh, um, sorry to interrupt. Um, my saving throw was 14. Okay, it's not your turn yet. Oh, my turn didn't count? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking. So, um, uh, yes, so you are now no longer restrained. Oh, cool. Did you take the ongoing 10? Yeah, I already took the 10. I'm actually, um, since I'm adjacent to Shaddaa, can I cut him out? You can certainly try. Okay, let's let's do that instead, because um, Shaddaa is the cleric. Mm. Squishy. <laughs> squishy, mm. yeah. You're squishy. <laughs> so I get plus one attack, plus... Uh, so I got a 22 AC. 22 AC. That is just barely enough. Oh, wow. Uh, and I guess I just roll damage on it? Yes, you do. Um, what dice am I supposed to roll for this? <laughs> that was your normal dice for just one sword. Yeah, I know. I don't even remember what sword's damage was. <laughs> normally 1d8. Yeah, normally. And it is. Um, I only did 4 damage. Okay. That's not quite enough to pull it away, but it certainly uh, did some damage to it. Did it do, like, less damage to Shaddaa next turn? Probably not. Dang. Which you'll have to find out. <laughs> Anything else? Mm, I, well, can I do a... The, 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 the check with the d20. The, nature uh, check. Yeah, that. Sorry. The nature check to do what? Um, on, on the Mr. Thingamajigger. Sure. Oh, yes. Uh, and and, and, and by the way, just, just to be clear, um, you guys are not adjacent to any creatures right now. Okay. So you guys can, you know, w uh, once you are no longer restrained, you can move around and, you know, you're not going to provoke opportunity attacks or anything. Okay. Um, so I'm going to see if I can actually, the, whatchamacallit, yep. um, mm, 
Um, 19. 19, all right. You're going to know some stuff. He's, he's rather high level. Um, you can tell he has an HP of um, something in the um, around the 60s range. Um, Did you say 60s? Yeah. His level or his health? His HP. Oh, fresh. I think he said AC. No, oh. HP. Um, uh, uh, his, his defenses are all in the, you know, upper teens. He has a claw attack, this attack that you saw here. And you can also tell that he's very, very squishy. Not in the, in the traditional, you know, term, but that he, he can rearrange his body very easily. He's a viner. Yeah. Okay, so, um, as it, I, I'm just gonna take a chance here. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up here into the green. Okay. Sure. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna take a chance that hopefully that's not gonna kill me. Okay. No, that's that, that's fine. That doesn't, uh, um, no, you know, that doesn't provoke anything uh, at all. Okay. All right. Then I guess my turn's over. All right. Zan. All right, then. Uh, I have one of the most useless uh, fortune cards ever for me. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I'm get, okay, I'm guessing I can't, like, uh, give it or I have to use it myself. Fortune. You can't what? Fortune cards. I, I couldn't understand you. Say again? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, so, I'm guessing like, I can, I can, uh, only I can use the fortune card I was given? Correct. Okay, just confirming. It's like, mm -hmm. it, this would be great for everyone else except me. Okay. Anyway. Okay, let me think about this. So, can I cut the cut the vines like myself? Um, no. Okay. Then. Okay. My mistake. You're on going ten. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good point. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'll just go for a basic crossbow attack. Can I do that. Sure. All right then. Wow. Uh, six, seven. Yeah, it's. So I think seven plus AC. What? Seven plus AC. So, sorry, seven plus AC. I don't seven understand. Against what, AC? I don't understand what your, what your yeah. question is. Yeah, seven against AC. Seven against AC. That's a miss. Okay then. Yeah, and I can't do anything much. Nope. For a save roll. Correct. Okay then. Uh, Fifteen, I guess. All right, yeah, good. 15. You are no longer restrained. Yay. And you no longer take damage. At least the ongoing damage. All right, Matt. First take my damage, then I'm going to use Vampiric Embrace on it because it's mm. against Will, and Will is usually the lowest defense. Hopefully. Anyway. Um, ooh. On, the, on Mr. Thingamajigger. The, that is... I'm completely fast. 21. No, wait. Sorry, that's wrong. Right. 19 against his will. 19 against will. That is still a hit. Whee! Uh, so that is... 2... D8. 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 Is that D8? Wow, nice. That is... 13 damage, and I get... How much is it? I get nine temporary eight points. Very good. <coughs> <coughs> All right, roll to unrestrain. No, I'm still restrained. I got an eight. All right, fair enough. <coughs> All right, Mr. Thingamajigger uh, lets out this horrid scream. Yeah. As he uh, actually, no. um, uh. What, uh, uh, Mike, what did you roll on your nature check against Th Th Thingamajigger? 19. 19? Okay, there's something else, there's something else you know. Um, uh, vine horrors, which is what this is, are created naturally through an unusual sequence of events. When an evil humanoid dies in a wilderness location that has been touched by the shadow fell, its blood sometimes saturates the earth and infuses the local plant life. These plants then twist and writhe into the form of one or more of these vine horrors. That is what it, where it comes from. So Mr. Thingamajigger lets out this horrid scream and launches himself 
at Carion, which appears to be the closest obvious thing, and it just goes for his throat, just goes right for his throat, and he rolls a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he just kind of steal. Yes, yeah, so he just kind of comes at you that way. Um, he's trying to Lou, help me. Yeah. However, his scream. One second. Ah. Where are you? At the sound of his scream, uh, yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. two large crocodiles with these huge jaws clamber up onto the uh, onto the ground, and you see emerging from the woods iguanas. A couple of lizard folk, which you know are bad news. Uh, hey James, you don't have a, you don't have um, uh, any love towards lizards, right? <laughs> um, I don't think I can attack the crocodiles. True. But God, are, are those like yeah, lizard James. men? <laughs> are, are those like lizard men or just one? They are lizard men. Oh, I'm I'm fine with attacking those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Very odd how you think that way. Like, oh, they're men. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, for me, they're just women. Oh no, that'd be out of question. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. All right. So let me make sure I get them in the right place. Mm hmm. That's it. Well, they will go. Of course, it still goes before Chris. Of course. Rocka Carl. Rocka <laughs> <Taka> Carl. <laughs> and Boris. And Boris. All right. So these 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 big crocs come at you. <laughs> one of them goes straight for James. Of course. The other one goes straight for Tyrandir, since he's now unleashed. And I am not going to use the stats for the facing creature, the Godforged Colossus. I'm going to use the crocodile. Because um, that would be really sucky, because he's level 29. Um, <laughs> so the first one attacks. Gosh darn it! Roll the two. The second one, that's better. Um, so, Brad, does a 28 versus your AC hit? Yeah. Yeah, I, I thought. No! Um, <laughs> That, that, that was darn close to a 20. No, no he's um, wearing family weave armor. Of course not. <laughs> All right. He's so, wearing the of manliness. Yeah. Oh. So that's going to do a total of 12 damage to Tyrandir. Oh, no. And Tyrandir right. is grabbed. So basically, this thing comes up and just literally just engulfs you with its jaws. Just oh, comes down. I'm going to be unconscious before this fight's halfway over. <laughs> And now it is... Blooded? Say what? Did you say you were blooded, bro? Yeah. Ooh. So now it is up to the cleric. Yay. Um, okay, so first to take my damage. Yep. Um, there's not really a whole lot that I can do from where mm. I am, because all my attacks are ranged, and there's a thingamajigger next to me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, I guess I can uh, use a healing word on Tyrion Deer. So I'll use that. I'll go ahead and start off with that. Yeah, wait a minute. Ah, got that wrong. So let's see what I need to roll. A <laughs> D6 for health. Ah, okay. So 2 plus 3, so 5 plus your healing surge. Okay. So you were at full health and then you were blooded by 12 points. And, and 10. Uh, yeah. yeah, I. 10 and 12. Oh, right. Yeah. So 12 to 50 points. Back to 20. Alright. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. 
I'm going to risk my my range attack, mm. Sacred Flame. Okay. Um, I guess I'm Thingamajigger. All right. So, uh, are you roll for opportunity attack first? I am going to. I don't think you're in too much trouble. 11 versus AC. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. So. Man, I'm rolling like twos and 18s. Uh, yeah. Okay, so 21 versus Reflex? Yes. Yeah. Sweet. Uh, six. Um, so 9 uh, Radiant Damage. All right. And yeah. I can, gr and I'm going to, with the ability of it, I'm going to grant Normicus a saving throw. Oh. Ah, nice. Thank you. A two! Ah. <laughs> Fortunately, uh, that, um, uh, 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 divine horror sort of squeals and 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 pulls back, and you can see the vine sort of pulsating under the uh, the radiant attack. It is bloodied. Oh, nice! Um, I, and I guess I will change my move action to a minor action and mm. do a nature check on. Uh, I guess Boris. All right. Boris. <laughs> so, let's see. My name is Boris. Nine plus... And my character sheet is frozen. Uh, I think it's... Uh, okay, so it's uh, 13. Okay. Um, this thing has stats pretty much like the Divine Horror, actually. About, about the same. Um, you can tell its it, its primary way of attacking things is by um, grabbing with its jaws and dragging them into the water. By knocking on you. Yes. That's nasty. Mm-hmm. Okay. And um, I guess that's my turn. Yeah. So. so roll and my uh, saving throw is 19. All right. So you're unrestrained. So okay. Um, let's see. Does teleporting cancel out a grab? Since I'm basically you, fading out, you may teleport while you're grabbed. Yes. Okay. Although you technically you are restrained. Let me just check the the numbers on restrained. See what the rule says on that. Um, you're restrained. Ah, while a creature is restrained, it cannot move unless it teleports. Okay. So oh, cool. So I can escape as well. There we go. So I am going that. to teleport. Here, all right. And from here, I am going to, which I'm really happy I got. I'm going to cast sleep on Ooh. Boris. All right. And I don't. These are these are save end effects. I don't know what determines the save end. Like what determines what he has to roll. So it's I'll a, leave that to you. It's a normal save. Okay. And it's going to be intelligence versus will. All right. On the so top. That'll be. Alright. That'll be 18 versus Will. Alright. <laughs> Boris goes, ah! <laughs> and um, <laughs> what, what actually happens is mm. he is slowed, save ends. If he oh. fails his first save, he goes unconscious, save ends. Ah, uh, so. nice. Alright. That would mean someone yeah. would need to get in with a coup de grace if he does go unconscious. Mm. Mm. All right. So that gives a nice big bonus to damage. Mm. Anything else, Brad? Uh, let's see. Are you um, still No, I'm fine. I'm at 20 now. Mm. Okay. I will use my minor action to determine the range that Thingamajigger's attacks have. Ah, nice. Nature check. Nature, that would be probably a failed nature yeah, well, uh, check. It doesn't need to be too see. high when you're looking something like that, I would say. Um, ah, where's my nature? There it is. Um, 12. Okay. Um, Thingy Jigger appears to be a pretty close-range fighter, actually. Other than his, that, that ability to cause the vines to, to, uh, uh, to grow up, um, which appears to be a pretty rare thing he can only do occasionally. Uh, it looks like he just you know, comes in and claws things. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
And that'll end my turn. All right. Um, so I already know the answer to this, but there's any chance I can, like, jump on the back of the crocodile and make him a mount? <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> certainly try. Is there any hope that that would actually ever work? Well, uh, define make him a mount. He will certainly move underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like how, how the um, raven or hawk, what is it? Raven or a hawk? It's, it's a blood hawk. Falcon. Okay, yeah. hawk. Um, like how the hawk trusts me. Would I be able to do that with the crocodile and then have a mount? Um, I would have to say unlikely in this situation. The, uh, the problem you have is that the blood hawk was captured against its will and didn't ah, want to yeah. fight. This crocodile is in its natural environment and it, it sees meat. Yeah, I'm going to, um, if I shift right here, would I be with flanking with Shada? Yes, you would. Um, Ooh, yeah. what you could try to do is throw the, the vine horror into the crocodile's mouth so it gets something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think... I don't have some vegetables! <laughs> <laughs> eat your vegetables, boy. Mm -hmm. Eat some green. I don't think he would eat it, though. Mm. Yeah, I'll try it with the lizard men. <laughs> um, okay, so that was my move action and everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to uh, Hunter's Quarry and Twin Strike, all mm. that fun stuff. Yep. Actually, wait. Um, yeah, I'm going to, I'll just use an encounter. No, wait, I'll save that for the lizard men when they surround oh. me. Okay. Um, okay, so... Roll! Um, so, one of those. Um, an 18 and a 20 something? 18 and a 20 something. Uh, versus AC on the Vine Horror. Um, the 18 will miss. Uh, the 20 something will hit. <coughs> then I think I know what it's 18. <laughs> I was going to say that. You know, it might be just um, something. And roll! And I just did crap. Mm. Six. Six damage, all right. You did have a flanking bonus, right? Oh, wait. What do I ah. add? Two. Wait, I didn't know what to add to that. All right. Then they both hit. Oh, cool. Um, then that was five, and then this will be... Uh, don't attack me, dice. That one's a lot better. That's, mm. that's a 13. All right. Mm. It's like, I'm going to go flank him, but not use the bonus. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That does it. All right. Very good. All right. Mike's done. Okay. Um, wait, uh, wait. Can I do here. a nature check on the Bill Bailey or Dylan Moore? Sure. Dylan Moran. <laughs> Did you yeah. hunter's, quarry, hunter's Quarry them, though? Uh, yeah. No, not, not no. them. I Hunter's Quarry Mr. Thingy. This turn? Okay. Anyway, yeah, he's, um, Hunter's Quarry is a minor free action, isn't it? Uh, let me look at it. Or is it a minor action? Oh, it's a minor. Mm. No, yeah, it's a minor. Mm. Then you can't do an edge check. Yeah. Yeah, that works mm. too. That's true. All right. Yeah. Um, good points. All right. Zazan? Shift over here, and I will do the edge check of Mr. Crockle Carl and fail, I bet. Mm. Uh... How does 17 sound for nature? That's better. That's better. Yeah, definitely better than what I expected. Yeah. Um, HP of 58. Mm, so I'll write this down. Um, I'll give you the stats on this one. Uh, AC of 20. Fort 19. Tough buggers. Uh, reflex 14, will 15. Ooh. Normicus, have fun. Mm. Yeah. I got to do damage. And uh, <laughs> you've seen basically what it does. It has this, this bite attack, and then it has another attack with which it will try to continue to clamp down on things and drag it into the ocean or into the water. Oh, I thought you were just going to say okay. continue to chew on it. Well, it, it, will, it will do that and drag it towards the water. Yeah. You're tasty. This guy tastes like Warlock. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
All right then, and I think I will Joey, finish what it off. Joey, did you bring to school today? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, that reminds me of the uh, the Reese's commercial with the two sharks. I really like Joey. Joey tasted excellent. Mm. Well, Joey just ate Reese's peanut butter cups. Twist. Ah, oh, that's where the peanut butter came. Anyway, uh, Fury Smash Strength versus Sports. Wait, hang on. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, just Fury Smash, yeah. Yep. All right, with the axe. And let's roll it. Oh. Uh, 15 versus AC against Mr. Thingamajigger. Miss. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm done. All right. Yay, my turn. Go. So I lose my, I lose my temporary hit point. Mm, why? I'm down to, because I took the 10 damage. Oh, right, yeah. Um, but luckily that only mean, that means I only take one actual mm. damage, which is useful. Um, so I'm going to teleport out of the vines, well, mm. ethereal stride. Okay. To, okay, instead I'm going to move the vines. Okay. <laughs> there. Um, then Warlock's Curse on Crococarl. Mm -hmm. There. Crococarl. Crococarl. <laughs> It sounds like Coca-Cola is the funny thing. Yeah. Hmm. Eldritch Blast on <laughs> Crococal. So. Oh, and I'm going to channel it through my Hellfire one, mm. which I need to make clear more often. Mm. Um, ooh! That's probably going to hit. 21 against Reflex. Against Reflex, that's a hit. Yeah. Um... So, that's a d10 and a d6. Where's my d10? Plus 3. That's 13, 13 damage. Alright. Very good. Um, I, no, I don't have a minor action, so while it's cursed. Right. So. Okay. okay. So he's down to 45. <laughs> Ah, all right. So one of these lizard folk, which is, uh, they're both decked out in what looks to be sort of hunting gear. Um, he comes at you with a, a spear and just jabs it right at Tyrandir, rolling a ooh. two. <laughs> Rather <laughs> higher than that. Uh, Twenty-four versus AC. Hit. <laughs> Hit. Hit. Uh, doing yeah, ten damage. Armor. Ten damage. Ouch. And he rolled it again. And his friend liked that idea. Oh no. <laughs> and he rolls a two. He does not. He rolls a nineteen versus AC. Oh. And again. I'm gonna I'm gonna go unconscious. Yeah. Um five damage. Oh no I'm not. Yeah. I'm just very, very close. <laughs> Alright. Five HP. Mm. So uh, thinking back memories of my first D and D session I I have DM'd. <laughs> So the Vine Horror then turns over to, I think, Karyon. Slashes with his claws. Uh, uh, 15 versus AC. Miss. Miss. And then the Crocs move forward. Um, so Croc, uh, Croco Carl begins. What's WC <laughs> mean? What's WC mean on Croco Carl? Wallach's Curse. Ah, okay. Just to remind me. Right, that's fine. Um, ooh, that's, that's a, a heavy hit. So that is, <laughs> yeah. Um, 27 versus AC on James. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah, all right. So that is going to do, and eh, not too bad, uh, five damage. However, it, actually, didn't it already grab you? No, me, no. Yeah, okay. Um, then, uh, you are now grabbed in its jaws. It has just... You know, grabbed onto you. Tier, I think Tyrandir was the one that was grabbed. Oh, wait, you were grabbed? And you teleported, yeah. right? Yep. Okay, gotcha. Um, all right, so James is grabbed by Kong with five damage. Then Boris, who is slowed. Now, um, that sleep spell, does it say when he does the, the save? Um, it just says save ends. Save ends? Yeah. Okay, so he's just slowed until that takes effect at the end of his turn. All right, um, then he's going to go up and he's going to grab on to Shaddaa. 
Or try to. Um, he's going to go unconscious with Shaddai in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, or not. 13 versus AC. Nope. Nope. All Yay! Right. Yay! <laughs> um, and that is their turn. So now he gets to roll to see what happens there. He rolls a four. Yes! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> now someone needs to use a coup de grace on him. Uh, what action is a coup de grace? Is it a minor? It's a standard attack. It's oh. like a bonus to your attack. Hold on, I'll look it up. <laughs> I like how he's turned on his back. <laughs> like, that. Okay. It's not there. <laughs> Uh, 241. Why am I laughing so hard on the crocodiles? <laughs> I swear. Okay, a coup de grace is a standard action. Um, uh, you must use it against a, a target that is helpless. Um, if the attack hits, it automatically scores a critical hit against the target. Mm. And if the critical hit deals damage greater than or equal to the target's bloodied value, the target dies. Oh, yeah. So basically, I'm like your, that one. So basically your critical yeah. hit has to do 29 damage. To kill it. I don't think anyone. Well, we can still do. It, it still does helps us with our damage, regardless. True. Yeah. True. Five yeah. Yeah. Off critical hit. It's still a good thing. Mine does, yeah. Mine's going to be doing 15 damage to him. Yeah. There we go. All right. Wait. So, so could across when you make the attack, it's automatic critical hit. If if you hit, no, you have it's to automatic hit. critical hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Which is funny because they're asleep, so they shouldn't be too hard to hit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the idea is, you know, you're in the middle of in the middle of a fight, you know, things are happening. Yeah. All right, you're done. It's gonna happen. All Actually, right. yeah. Quick question: Since he's unconscious, doesn't he grant? Isn't he like granting combat advantage? Yeah. Or is it just unconscious? Um, then yeah, you get plus, plus two. Yeah, and, and being unconscious uh, grants combat advantage because you're helpless. Cool. Um. Well, I've got something bigger planned. Yeah. Uh, two, one, two. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm going to use my daily power beacon of hope. Hmm. It is a burst of three, so everyone in the everyone is affected by this. Okay. Uh, I make wisdom versus will against everybody or okay. all the enemies. Mm. So I'm gonna start left to right. So I'm gonna start with Bill Bailey. All right. Um, eight versus will. Nope. Uh, twenty versus will. Yes. On Dylan Morin. All right. Uh, this one will be on. This one will be on Boris. Boris is unconscious. Uh, so I get a plus two, so it's going to be a 13 versus Will. Miss. Next one is on um, Thingamajigger. All right. Ooh, natural 20. All right. Uh, not that it matters because yeah. it's just weekends. Yeah. And the next one is going to be on Crocker Carl. Okay. Which will be uh, Miss. Okay. So Dylan Morin and Thingamajigger are weakened. All right. Everyone regains five hit points. Ooh. That's awesome. awesome. Um, so, that, uh, and all of my healing powers will give me an additional plus five to them. Nice. So, um, with that, I'm going to use a uh, healing word on Tyrion Deer, because he seems to need it. Yeah. <laughs> you think? So, oh no, six, so it's going to be, uh, 11 plus your healing surge. Woo! <laughs> How you doing? I'm at 28. I'm two below my regular HP. Wow. Uh, who else is injured? I can just use a minor action to heal one of you. I'm fine. Um, I've got... I'm... I'm a, a healing surge would be wasted on me, so don't heal me yet. Croco Carl could use some healing. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, I think Missy Thing in the Jigger needs more healing. I, I agree. He's even weakened. I Actually, uh, qu quick question. Um, yeah. On zombies, does does healing work like uh, does healing work like how it does in Fall Guys Ten, where if you use a um uh, a healing attack on a zombie, it counts as damage? Just random question. No, no. Okay. You, you, okay. Yeah, you still heal them like usual. <laughs> that, that 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 was a, I think that was the way it worked back in like second edition or something, but it got way too confusing. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Um. I think I am just. No, I'll stay where I am so I can let James keep the uh, flank. Okay. So yeah, I, I guess that'll be my turn. All right. Um, okay. 
Sure, and uh, okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, if I target that right, I can do that. I'm going to use Burning Hands, okay. which will um, which I'm going to aim towards the two lizard men. Okay. Nice. So it's a if I'm remembering the words right, it's a blast of five, so I can make yeah. it just hit the two lizard men. Yep, that's fine. All right, and it'll be intelligence versus reflex. Uh, the first one on Bill Bailey, mm -hmm. which is 20 versus yes. reflex. Yep, definitely. <clears throat> Second one being 20 right. uh, versus right. reflex. Just a quick question. Wouldn't you take opportunity attack because you're, like, right next to them? Yes, It's a will. blast. Right? It's an area mm -hmm. attack. Uh, uh, if it's a, if it's like a blast, it's a close, or... it's a close range though. Um, yeah, but is it a ranged attack? No, no, it's it's, like, it's, it's, it's like attack. a touch attack, pretty okay. much. Okay, all right, then you're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And for damage, uh, wait, two d six. Eleven. All right. Mm. And very good. Alrighty. I'm going to use my move action after that to <laughs> come over here for a second. All right. Back to okay. Fine. Wait. So um, wait. Can you move that far without opportunity attack? Yeah, you get opportunity attack if you move two squares. Oh, never mind. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Uh, shift here. Okay. Yep. There we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll shift there. Okay. I'm surprised Tyrandir would do that with all the crocodile trolley he just had. Close <laughs> <laughs> to even if he's unconscious. <laughs> yeah, but those lizards are evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Tyrandir's saying that about everything. Everything here is evil. Go away. <laughs> I got stopped twice. I don't like nature. <laughs> nature. Why did you take me camping? <laughs> All right, you done? Yep. All right. Uh, did you use your minor action tier under? Uh, I couldn't think of a good reason. Mm. Danger? Uh, I could. Man, leave uh, that up to James. I don't. I don't score good nature checks, mm. so don't mind it. I don't score good nature checks either, but I still got lucky. I don't know. Just like might as well use. Anyway. It. Yeah. Go ahead, Mike. Anywho, okay, um, no so if, if I've learned anything from our previous encounters with mm. how Vecna went down, mm -hmm. it's we want to attack one thing at a time. Ah, yeah. <laughs> and not get screwed over in the end. So I'm going to keep going after Thingamajigger. Oh, okay. God. Um, twin Strike, all that fun stuff. Yep. Um, okay, yeah. And he's already my Hunter Square, which is awesome. Yep. Um... Um, um, wait, yes, uh, both of them are over 20. And then you're good. And, <coughs> what did Weekend do anyways? It just means he deals half damage. Okay, um, yeah, cool. Don't attack me, dice. Um, 1 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3, what? 19. Ooh. Um, and since I didn't have to use up the Fuji McCollum minor action, mm. um, hey, whoa, hey, where'd he go? <laughs> James' sword it. slices right okay. through it, and they just collapse on the ground with a, this, this ugly kind of, <sighs> Um, it kind of, kind of like inspirited away. Yep, there we go. Oh, yeah. Um... Okay, I'm still grabbed. What do I do to get ungrabbed? Am I getting damaged? Um, being grabbed just means you're immobilized. You can attempt to escape the grab. And let me go to the specific rules, just so we got that. Um, escape, 248. Mm -hmm. I should pull out my rules. Yeah. Um... Um, it is an acrobatics or athletics check. Those are awesome. Okay. Mm and um, it, it'll be versus a, uh, a specific DC that the crocodile has. So just roll it and I'll tell you if it succeeds. Go. Um, and 18 plus 9. Wow. Let's see here. 
<laughs> but then again, it is a crocodile. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that does it. You escaped. Yeah, yeah, You're no escaped. longer mobilized. I, I, I would totally shift right here, but I don't think that would help. Yeah, I'm still gonna shift here anyway. Okay. Okay. Done. Yeah, I think it'd be better for you to fight the lizard guys since these guys are really hard on us damage dealers. Mm. All right. See here. So is that it? No. Okay. Uh, let's see here then. Uh, so is everyone fine with me like uh, coup de growing um, uh, Boris here? Yeah. Yes. Go for it. Okay. Uh, so is it like going to say no? We don't. Just don't fuck it up. Well, I, I don't know. Just like, um, is it like what if it if it's not all the way dead? Like it's gonna wake up then after I hit it? That's a good question. Let me check. Go, go ahead and do your attack, and then I'll, I'll let you know, and then we can. Uh, okay. You know, so I still have to roll though. But I get plus two. Uh, you still have to roll, and if it hits, then you get your critical. Okay. Okay. Um, when a when a creature is unconscious, oh, it's yeah. helpless. It can't take actions. And it takes a minus five penalty to all defenses. It also mm. can't flank and is unaware of its surrounding. When the creature is subjected to this condition, it falls prone, if possible. See helpless and prone. Mm. Um, well, I rolled on um, uh, 23. <laughs> okay, let me just check. Um, yeah, there's no specific uh, way to, to, to bring it back up. So, at least according to the rules. Um, so, yeah, so that's critical. Okay. So, go for it. So that's uh, 15 damage right there. 15 damage, all right. You have a ways to go. <laughs> well, that okay. certainly did some good damage. Um, wait, oh, wait, uh, wait. Let's see here. I have a move action. Um, um, plus five temporary hit points. Let's hmm. see here. Should mm -hmm. sure. Boris wake up or won't he? Mm. I guess I'll just stay here just for tanking purposes. Yep. Okay. Um, Man, I'd like to get on uh, sand ground, though. I'm just worried about this yeah. swamp. Anyway, yeah. uh, I guess I'll just use my minor action to uh, nature check uh, the lizard people. Okay. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, okay. Um, stats are, again, about the same as the other guys, except their, their defenses are lower. Um, mm -hmm. they, they have this spear attack. Um, they can also shift while attacking, which is pretty cool. Mm. Oh, the cobalt, then. Nope. Cobalt! No, the lizard folk. Oh, no, I was, think I was thinking of something else. But, mm. yeah, the sorry, there's a monster that could also do that, and I thought it was a cobalt, mm. but it's not. It's a bandit. Mm. Uh, anyway. Cobalt have some neat uh, shifting abilities, but it's, it's not this specifically. Right. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm done. All right. Yay, my turn! Um, Mr. Because I can Dixon. Because I can, I'm going to Warlock's, Warlock's Curse Bill Bailey for later use. Mm. Um, then I'm going to channel my Fiery Bolt. That sounds wrong. Uh, Crocodile <laughs> with my Health I Want. So hopefully this will hit. So please, Dice, don't fail me now. My name is Timbaldo. Yes. I love it when you do that. My name is Timbaldo. Um, only people that were here in the beginning would tell. <laughs> um... <laughs> The, that is a 17 plus a 4, so that's 21 against Reflex. Hit. Definitely. Yay, so that's 3d6s. Mm. That's 4d6s because of Warlock's Curse. So, <laughs> 1, 4, 9, 11, and then adjacent targets take 1d6. There is no adjacent target. So that's 9 damage. With an encounter power, I feel kind of ashamed. And damage against whom? Boris, nine damage. All right. So an encounter power, that's four D Oh, no, wait, yeah. Sorry, it's channeled through the... Ah, that far one. Yeah, so it's got... It's ten damage. All right. Yay! Yay. All right. It's supposed to be cool. used against, uh, like, small groups of monsters. Mm. That's the point. Because yeah, you do, I do like an extra D six plus mm. constitution. Oh yeah, I didn't add constitution modifier. Sorry. So it's um thirteen damage. Well done, Matthew. But yeah, I get the extra one D six to adjacent targets, but there's no adjacent targets, so I just wanted to kill it. So. Yeah. Are you done? 
Yes, now I'm done. Okay. At long last. All right. Um, okay. So. No. <laughs> I think <laughs> actually. <Brad's> dead. <laughs> I have lizard man phobia. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one that's attacking you is weakened, so it's not that many. What could oh, possibly yeah. go wrong? All right. Uh, first one, a uh, uh, bill attacks Normicus, sticks him with a spear, uh, 17 versus AC. Damn it, that's just one over, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, that will do five damage. Oh, cool. <laughs> uh, and he shifts as part of that I attack. And then Dylan rolled a one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Then uh, the mind horror is dead, and so Coco Carl there just loves James. Coco <laughs> Carl. And he rolls a three. Yay! Oh, man. All right. He's not rolling twos anymore. <laughs> well, you, you know this means you're going to start rolling eighteens next. Oh, God. All right, that's it for them. All right, Chris. Boris needs to make a saving throw. He does. Oh, right, because he's yeah. Snoozing. Five. Sweet. <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, it's just one of those sessions for uh, Brent again. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's okay. Just You'll die next time. Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to use Dragon Breath. Oh, nice. and, uh Because of my feet improved Dragon Breath, it is mm. now 5 by 5 Ooh. So Ooh. I'm going to go below me so it hits mm. Dylan Morin and Boris. Mm -hmm. uh, let me look up and see what I need to roll. It's been a while since I've used mm. it. Um, Stays. Let's see. Okay, uh, Dragon Breath. Uh... Strength plus two versus reflex. So, okay. So, first I'm going to roll for Dylan. Mm -hmm. um, no. Uh, not not good. Mm. I'll just say it didn't hit. Okay. And the next one is against Boris. Lambda plus two. Yes. Oh, well, that easily hits. Uh, 19 plus two plus two plus three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, that's a critical automatically then? Yep. On Boris. So that is God. What was it? Oh, I just need to see what my constitution modifier okay. is. It is zero, so it just does six fire damage. All right. So that's. Uh, anyone need healing? Um, no. I could probably use with use a healing surge. Okay, then I'll uh, I'll use a minor action of heal on you. So you can use your uh, second wind. Cool. Then I shall use it and make myself nice and healthy again. And Boris is buddy. Ha ha! Hey. About time. Mm. These crocodiles are tough little sons of guns. <laughs> Mom, there's another gator in the house. Another gator? Give me that shovel. <laughs> I, I don't like reptiles, so I'm going to be mean. <laughs> <laughs> Go uh, close. Oh, are you done, Chris? Um, yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Okay. Um, fire shroud. Oh, mm. actually, um, I've got a question. Since mm. uh, I get plus five to healing powers, does that not include heal? Uh, I don't um, know if that would be included. That's a good point. Um, let me check. Um. But, um, uh, go ahead, Brad, while I look it up. Okay. Um, so, it'll be Dylan Moran and Boris. I'll let Dylan go first. <laughs> Always let Dylan go first. Right. Is Dylan no longer weakened? No, it's only until the end of his turn. Oh, will a that. 23 versus Fortitude hit Dylan? I think so. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and now, Boris, it's your turn. 
at 18 well, versus Fortitude on Boris. Let me check on that. 18 yep. versus Fortitude on Boris. He has, my, he has minus five to all defenses as well. Very true. Um, that, is a, that is a hit, then, yes. Okay, now I need to get my D8. Mm. Uh, no. Where is it? Mm. Here it is. Um, four, eight. Eight fire damage plus ongoing five fire damage save ends. All right. To both of them. To both of them. Please. Wouldn't Boris take maximum? Uh, yes, he would, yeah. which would make that... Hmm? No, go ahead. You're good. Um, a... Twelve plus okay. five aren't going for so Boris. Nice. Yeah. Cool. And... Uh... Since I'm a wuss, I'm going to shift here. <laughs> <laughs> it's more crocodiles and lizards. And they're getting burned up. Yeah. Yeah. Burn, they burn. I can see us just like Tinder leaves a trail of fire wherever he goes. <laughs> I do. Hey. And that'll end my turn. <laughs> Smell that? That's crocodile. Mmm, <laughs> goody. Oh, uh, question. Uh, serious question, actually. Um, yeah. If they actually burn to death, can we eat their roasted corpses? Yes, you can. Woo! Although in the case of lizard folk, it would be kind of like, you know, cannibalism. But hey. Oh, come on. They're lizard people. They're not really people. Or are they? <laughs> they're not wow. people. They're hippies. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I just checked. Um, um, uh, Chris, when you talk about heal, do you mean like first aid? It just says uh, your healing powers get plus five. Okay. Um, so do you want to know if your skill check gets plus five? That's what I was wondering. Um, it, uh, according to this, um, the skill check is just a skill check. It is not a power. So, okay. it, so that, that would not apply in that case. Um, would, uh, enough, like, if I use, say, um, uh, Sacred Flame, where it gets, I give temporary hit points, would it help that? I don't think so, because it's, it's not a heal power specifically. Okay. Yeah. I, just, I just want to check. Yeah, Third generation power, I would guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this game's I can see the taking one of the spears from the lizard men, <laughs> sticking it into the crocodile, and just spinning it nice. on the fire. <laughs> um, we'll have to cut on the head first. Mm. Is this arm a move? <laughs> um, I can I disarm yeah, him and throw the spear to carry on? Uh, me, <laughs> technically, no. Um, and, and the reason for that is a, is a very simple one. Do you want enemies the ability to disarm you? Yeah. Mm, true. Yeah. Let's. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna shift here. Okay. Um, set him to my Fuji McCollum thing. Hunter's quarry. Okay. Um. And I roll to see if I hit either hit. And wow, I actually don't think I hit. Mm. Um. Who are you attacking? Uh, D Dylan. No, okay. Billy. Okay. Is it 17 versus AC hit? Oh, jeez. His AC is 17. That is a hit. Yay! I actually hit for once. Mm. Alright. My dice are attacking me. Mm. 8 plus 7 plus 4 plus 4. 23. 3. Alright. Pen go bye-bye. Pen does not want to write. 30. That's why I use a pencil. There we go. Yeah. All right. Uh, so we've got. Wow. All right. Against Bill Bailey. Since I can't attack Kronko. Bill is bloodied. Against my morals or something Yay. like that. Yeah. True. All right. Uh, Silly character morals. Any facts <laughs> you want to do, James? Um. Well, I don't think I can do nothing. Yeah. Nature check, you sure? I we don't need to know anything. We need to know that they can die. <laughs> okay, fine. And we've discovered I, I that. Uh, Insight check, can they die? <laughs> <laughs> How are they feeling right now? <laughs> are they fight as devils? I, I once had players run Insight check to see if a character was uh, gay. <laughs> <laughs> and to check if, it, if, it, if a character was male, actually. Male or female. That was an interesting game. It, 
No, we, we did that too. He was like, can did I you? do a nature check to see if that's female or not? Oh, that's true. You did do that as well. That's right. Yeah, I did that. The second time, that's, wow. Two games, that's scary. Two different uh, groups, and that's happened. That's, okay. All right, Dan, go for it. All right, then. Uh, I think I'm going to cut this hand and put it on the Barbie. All right. All right, then. So, uh, I get, uh, oh, uh, let's see here. Hmm. Let me think here. Mm, nah, she's always gonna get spot. Mm. Tyrannor, do you think you uh, you think you can be moved? Do you want to be moved? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Do you want to be like shifted anywhere, Tyrannor? Or you find uh, where you are? I could be shifted somewhere, cause otherwise yeah. I'm not well, unfortunately, I'm not. Um, uh, you're not in my um uh, range, so I, unfortunately mm. I can't. Sorry. Damn it! <laughs> uh, actually, I'm, uh, good where, I'm good where I am. Oh, yeah. I'm so, uh, all of us. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably put, take that out then. Um, what else then? What have I got? Hmm. I think, yeah, I need, I need, I need to start using my encounter powers. Good point. Mm. Yeah, yeah, probably I'm um, a uh, Warlord Strike. Yeah, Warlord Strike would definitely be good. Yeah, okay then. So, Warlord Strike on Boris. All right. Okay. Uh, um... So 18, also, I believe he has, like, minus 5 to all stats, I think. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, good. So on that critical, that's 15 damage. And also with Warlord Strike, um, oh, it's a, ooh, it's two weapons, so that's 30 damage, actually. Nice. Yeah, so, and also, until the end of next turn, um, uh, all of, all of your thing plus two damage. Okay, so I'm, uh, Okay, all right, yeah, I get this now. Yeah. Well, let's yeah, that's it. Okay, yeah. So Boris basically, uh, is now full of meat. Your, um, uh, party gains plus two bonus to damage rolls against the target. Oh, Too they late. already did. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well. That was a waste. That's interesting. You know, you know what's interesting, though? You're not going unconscious. You try to do a coup de gras on them, but they're already taking, like, minus five to all of their defenses. So it's like it's almost like a coup de gras can't miss. Yeah. Unless you get a better roll. Yeah, they get a really bad roll. That's true. Yeah, All right, cool. Yeah, I should have like um, uh, should have done Warlord's favor that yeah. point. That is why sleep is a daily power. Yeah, true. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the uh, so yeah, so Karyon just slices right through his neck. I sl uh, yeah, I slice right through off his head. I'm like barbecue anyone? <laughs> it's a total Toriko moment. Head goes flying. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right, then. and uh, I then I'm um, uh, walk over here and help with the um, uh, the crusade over here. And, you're gonna, you're gonna uh, broke that opportunity uh, attack and Dylan? I would. Yeah. Well, I, I like walk. Oh, gotcha. Off. Okay, sorry. Like, gotcha. Yeah, it's good. And uh, hmm, I don't know. Uh, I think I will just do yeah. The history check against the lizard people. All right. Sixteen. Why no? Uh, plus two history. I think. Yeah, eighteen. Okay. Um, lizard folk favor humid humid climates. Imagine that. Um. They usually dwell in marshes, swamps, jungles. They occasionally trade with humanoids they trust, usually halflings, um, bartering for finished goods. Um, however, tribes that prey on other humanoids generally don't engage in any kind of trade. There are a fair number of lizard folk who just try to, you know, kill anything that comes, they come across. Um, mm -hmm. And this looks like a pretty good one. Uh, lizard folk are, in general, um, um, pretty nasty. Um, some especially cruel and savage folk um, uh, capture and eat other humanoids. Um, mm. You can't quite tell which one this is. They excel at swimming and often take to the water to stop prey. Um, they can hold, hold their breath up to ten minutes underwater. There are several different varieties of lizard folk. Uh, green scale, the most common ones, which you see here. Uh, as well as black yep. scales, which are dumb but huge. Um, <laughs> and that's yeah, that's about it. Mm. I guess I'll then do a free action saying, "Hey, you're kind of on fire." <laughs> I know! I know! <laughs> Actually, it's and, like, and my turn. On that note. Yeah. Yeah, I got to do stuff. Um, I'm going to shift here, because mm. no matter where I do, I'm going to take an opportunity attack when I attack. Mm. So I might as well do it with flanking advantage. Mm. Um, well, for James, anyway. Mm. And I'm going to do... Eldritch Blast, channeled through the Hellfire Wand on Crocodile. All right. 
Um, you stole my wallet's curse, so that's uh, probably not. No, definitely not. Eleven <laughs> against reflex. No. Then I'm done. Did. All right. So Bill Bailey gets an attack against you. I think you're gonna be safe though, because you hold a five. Um, well, no. uh, 14 versus AC? Nope. Nope. All right. All right, so they then get to do their thing. So first off, Dylan takes his extra five points of damage. <laughs> then uh, Bill Bailey is not feeling this. Um, uh, so I think he's going to attack Normicus again. Uh, 17 versus AC? Yep. Alright. Dealing. Ooh. 11 damage. As he makes that attack, he shifts here. And then he shifts... Here, I think. Meanwhile, Dylan, though he's on fire... Actually, let me just check something. Oh. No, no, that's they okay. can take two turns? Uh, they, they can shift twice, basically. Oh, okay. They can shift as part of their attack, and they can move and shift. Um, uh, Dylan's going to, uh, to say, Kaka! Naga! And stab at Karyon. 17 versus AC. Nope. Sorry, Dylan. Ooh, 19. Very uh, my good. AC's 19. All yeah. right. He will attempt to... Oh, he rolls 15 on the fire. So he puts the fire out on himself. No. Uh, I think he jumped into the water. That's what I was hoping. Mm. Like he just runs into the water. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> um, that's, that's, that actually, uh, I, I should have done that. That would have been cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, actually, I think he's gonna stay where he is for now. And then Croco Carl. Um, Fine. he's gonna go after Tyrandir. No. James, <laughs> James keeps, you know, James keeps escaping. So he just doesn't like James anymore. Um, so he's going to roll... I don't like playing with my food. <laughs> 23 versus Tyr and Deer's AC. That was a miss. <laughs> no, it was a miss. <laughs> that was a miss. It was totally a miss. Um, 11 damage. Mm, okay. <laughs> and Tyr and Deer is grabbed by Croco Carl. And he's done. Actually, shift it down there. As his move action. Alright. Please. So my turn? Yep. Alright, uh, I've got a couple questions. Mm -hmm. First being, what does my fortune card do? <laughs> no. What is your fortune card? To the ground. To the ground. Alright, so one second. Did you not get the uh, fortune card? Oh, I've got it. Um, to the ground, play on your turn when you hit a target adjacent to you, you knock the target prone, you then fall prone. Uh, ah. That's neat. Oh yeah, I had that one. Mm. It was awesome because I don't go fall prone. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to make sure this is a ranged attack. It is. Um, hmm. Hmm. Uh, okay, um... Matt, like do you have any problem. temporary hit points on you right now? Nope. And your health is about almost bloodied? Uh, yeah. Okay. There's not a whole lot I can do. Mm -hmm. uh, I can I can help you out with your guy, though. Um, I'm going to shift here, and then I'm going to use my encounter power command on Bill Bailey. Okay. And I get... Uh, let me oh, see what it is. It is a 19 versus Will. That succeeds? Okay, so um, Bill Bailey is dazed. All right. And um, let's see. I think I'm going... Uh, Matt will get a turn before that, so I'm going to slide him. Um, I'm trying to see... I mean, I can do so. Um, three plus my charisma, I can slide him six squares. Wow. So, um, you how should I do this? Him, like, to get a whole bunch of opportunity attacks. Yeah, I was gonna do yeah. it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I can't do for opportunity attacks, but I can put him into flank. 
Well, no, I can't because I'm only allowed to shift him, or slide him in one direction. Yeah. Hmm. So, um, I guess I will slide him one. You can slide him up into the lake, the river thing. But I think you'd be proficient in the river thing. Um, just so you know, the water, like that, that river to the north of you, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, that it, you actually require like an acrobatics step to cross. So, so I could try and make him fall into it? Correct. Uh, and I could, I could just, just slide him into it right now and do you fall yeah. into it. Absolutely. Okay, then there you go, buddy. For splash. Mm -hmm. Does he also get an opportunity type from Romicus? Um, no, it was a slide. It's sliding. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, carry on, you good on HP? Uh, I just need, like, five more. But you don't need, like, just, like, a standard heal action will be fine. Like, if, so you, you want me to allow you to use your healing search? Mm, nah, no thanks. My healing search okay. is eight, and that'd be overkill. Yeah, thanks for asking. Okay. Um, I guess I would like to do a perception check to see if I can figure out what exactly happened to Bill Bailey as he fell in. Okay. Actually, he gets a saving throw. He gets a chance to catch himself. Uh oh. Um, if a target is forced over a or into, into hindering terrain such as lava or a pit, the target can immediately make a saving throw to avoid going over the edge or entering that terrain. So let's okay. check to see if he sort of stops on the edge. Um, oh. Um, that would be, it doesn't say what kind of check. Oh, it's just a check check. Okay. Um, he, no, he goes in. He what? He goes in. He's, he, he's okay. in the drink. Okay, so I'll do a perception check to see what All happened right. to him. Sure. Plus, 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 plus. Uh, nine, so 19. All right. Um, uh, uh, what is your power supposed to do, like, physically in the world? How's it, you know, is it like a blast of force or what? Um, let me read it and kind mm. of determine. Uh, it demands obedience. Is oh, okay. Does. So, uh, so Bill got this really shocked expression on his face as he looked down and watched his feet just sort of take him due north. And um, and he just sort of scuttered over the uh, over the swamp, and then you saw him sort of come to a a, a pause right at the brink of, of this river, and sort of wheel his arms momentarily, and then fall face first into the river. <laughs> okay, sounds like a comedy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, that's my turn. Cool. And da 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 da. Uh, okay. Turn in for grabbed. Yep. Yes. Um, before uh, Tyrander takes his turn, I, I want to I want to say something to him. Mm. Hey Tyrander, do you know what um, collateral damage is? Oh. Yes. Uh oh. Uh, collateral damage is where you take uninteresting things and people and you make them interesting by lighting them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, uh, see what I can do. Right. <laughs> uh. You want to attempt to escape the grab? <laughs> yes, I will try that first. Okay. So. Well, let me actually let me just check. I I, I think it's a standard action. Oh. Let's we'll make sure. We well, have got an action point. Ooh. True. Um. Well, escape is a move action. Oh. Yeah. So um, once I do escape, I'm planted where I am unless I use the standard action to move. Exactly. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, actually, no. Success. If, if the check succeeds, the immobilizing effect ends on the creature, which can then shift one square. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's just a normal check, or is there a... It's, it's an athletics or acrobatics check. Okay. Um, uh, where's my stats for that? There it is. I'll use an acrobatics check. 17, 8, 19. <laughs> that just makes it. Woo! Nice. So it makes I'm it with a nine. <laughs> going to shift no. to here. It makes it with zero. <laughs> and and I'm going to use... Uh, actually, I can make that not hit, James. So I'm mm. going to use Scorching Burst All right. on Croc Carl. 
and do ah, too many windows. Mm. Uh, everything I have is in paper format right now. Mm. Yeah. Well, even game table. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, seven fire damage. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Now he he prints out game table in color every five minutes. Yeah. Seven fire damage. On. And then he cuts out the trees so when he wants to move people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And for my minor action, mm -hmm. I want to do I yeah, nature check to see if any of these are resistant to fire. Ah, okay. Because I forgot to do that at the very beginning. Mm. And will a 16 tell me that? Yes, it will. None are resistant to fire. Okay. Good check. All righty. Um, Mike? Yes. Yep. Um, huh. I guess that I'm going uh, I'm going to shift here or yeah I'm gonna shift here okay um, and I'm going to fire arrows at Bill Bailey ah. who is still my ah. hunter's quarry yeah and, everything. Right. and I can't attack a crocodile anyway right <laughs> yeah go um would a wow that that, that rolls meh mm. um so something's over 20 and the other one is like 17. they both hit oh hey wow yeah um now i don't want to do this to him but mm. i'm just curious based on where bill bailey is would it not be affected affected how if he's not uh, very like very far down into a hole oh no he can still but, hit he can still hit yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it like he oh, looked wow, shooting up in the air or something. Yeah. I don't know how it worked. Um, 12 plus 24. Hmm, damage? Yes. All right. Wow. <laughs> two, two of my rolls were max. Hmm. Oh, that explains it. All right. Uh, he's still bloodied. Very good. All right, Dan. Unless All right, then. James, was there anything else? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, that, um, did we ever get a nature check on these things? Yeah. Did yeah, not, like not an official one, a very vague one, though. Mm -hmm. we, from what I can tell, they're like either either they're high in magic defense or they're about like uh, all around, but pretty crappy overall. Mm. Like, like 50s and 60s, maybe. 15s and 16s, about maybe, mm. from what I can tell. Well, I just came with a 17. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I can't see anything cool. All right. Go for it, Dan. All right, then. Okay, so I'm going to kick things off with Wolfpack Tactics, and um, sorry if I'm uh, putting you in danger to stop, but I'll heal you um, uh, if you do get hit, okay? Okay. So basically, I'm uh, you, well, with Wolfpack. With Wolfpack Tactics, what I do is, um, uh, before I attack, I um, uh, shift my um, uh, target, uh, okay. uh, basically either my target or a person that I'm an ally that I'm adjacent to, one mm -hmm. direction, one square. So okay. I put Dylan Morgan over there. All right. And uh, quick question about fortune cards. Mm -hmm. um, uh, if Once I use it, is it basically put back in the deck for someone else to use? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, so I'll just use my, um, I'll just um, uh, hit um, uh, Dylan and Morgan with my crossbow right now, and uh, with that, use my fortune card. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, let's just roll it right now. Uh, 14 against AC. Miss. Yeah, not as much. Yeah. Right then, and uh, I then uh, use my, my move action to shift over here. Ah. Or, Future flanking maneuvers. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, totally go for it as a cleric. <laughs> and uh, I guess now I can. Uh, I'll use a minor action. Um, yeah. Just do the nature check again, I guess, on okay. uh, Dylan Morgan. All right. Let's go. Wait. So you used Wolfpack tactics and the tactic. Yeah, that's how Wolfpack tactics work. Um, oh, what I do is I, I move uh, either an ally or thing before I attack, then I attack it, then my move action was a shift behind them, and I'm using my reaction. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. And I rolled a 19 of nature check. 
19 Nature Cat. Um, doesn't really tell you anything more than you knew before. Oh. Yeah, not quite high enough. All right, Matt. Uh, Take him down. Um, Eldritch Blast on Crocodile, channeled through the Hellfire Wand. Okay. That's not going to hit with a two. Ooh. Um, but I'm going to use an action point mm. and then Eldritch Blast on Dylan Moran. All right. Channel the Hellfire Wand. Oh, no, actually. Yeah, and swap my movement action for a minor action to Warlock's Curse, Dylan Moran. Okay. And that's going to hit with an at 20. All right. Nice. Crit. Woo. So that's 13 damage. Oh, no. Obviously. Um, right. Okay. With the critical hit, does yeah. I still have to roll my Warlock's Curse damage, right? Yes. You do. All right. So that's 15 damage. Um, and for my... He's not bloodied, right? Um, I don't know until you're done telling me the damage. 15. Okay. Here, uh, yeah, that buddies him. Okay, then I'm gonna use a. I'm going to use my uh, encounter card okay. and use an intimidation check on Dylan Moran. All right. So I get a bonus of two because James and Tyrande are next to me. So that brings my inti my intimidate to a natural fourteen. Okay. Um, and that is a twenty. What are you trying to intimidate him? Make him run away. Trying to make him jump off the window. You've said before that if he's bloody, that can scare him away, as in make him flee. Off he runs. <laughs> no experience. He, he, he they do. It's still technically... If they flee, it's still technically defeating them. You get experience for it. Mm, is it? Yeah. Depends on oh, the DM. Okay. All right, then. We gave no experience. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, that's it. All right. So. Yes, our lowly level two selves gave a level thirty god experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm about two experience points up. There we go. Uh, just check. All right. <coughs> Bill Bailey runs off, yelling things in draconic after you, after him. <laughs> and. Oh, uh, what did they say in Draconic? Can someone do a free action to check one, what they heard? One second, one second, let me finish. Sorry. Okay. Repeat. Um, and the crocodile... Uh, 14 versus Tyrandir's AC. Uh, that, I believe, is a miss. Hey! Yes, that is a miss. Cool. Okay. Um, it was yelling various obscenities and saying, essentially, uh... Uh, uh, you know, we will return with force. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't like lizards. <laughs> <laughs> They're done. Okay, so my turn? Yep. Yep. Um, I suppose, while I'm at it, just using all of my encounter powers up, mm. I will use uh, Cause Fear on Carl. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, what do what do we add? Um, I wish my PDF files weren't so laggy. So, right. um, yikes! Twelve versus will. Twelve versus will. On the, uh, no. All right, Brad. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to have to do scorching burst again. Okay. I used all of my encounter powers. Okay. So, should you shift? Finish this up. Yeah. Shift, scorching burst. Pull it up. There. Does a 21 versus reflex hit? It sure does. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and that would be 7 damage. 7 damage. He takes that. That's nothing. Yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my action point to do an automatic extra six damage. All right. That and he feels. that ends my turn. All right, James. What does James do? Um, okay, I still can't attack a crocodile. Right. Mm. Um, 
I want to shift here mm -hmm. and um, up oh. in the northern part. Right. Yeah. Um, you see the, the the weird thing that the other guy mm. that was already spawned in. Um, I'd like to do a perception check on it. Um, uh, on on what? What are you looking for? Uh, the green stuff up um up here. Yeah. What about it? Uh, I want to do um because the 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 evil thingy that bind us mm -hmm. was in that before. Uh, he was in I the one down to... here. Yeah, I know. Um. I don't want to, you know, go up there and another one spawns on Ah, gotcha. So, let's just do, like, a perception check on you or bet. something. See if there's anything menacing up towards that direction, especially right there. Gotcha. Um, my perception check equals out to a 22. You see nothing dangerous there from here. Or a 25. I can't tell. Nothing okay. dangerous from here. Um, then, so like, um, I can't think of anything. Mm. You can use second wind if you need it. Why would I? Well, uh, uh, okay, see, these monsters are racist against everyone else but elves. I have taken five damage from the beginning, and now I'm at full health, and I have five temporary hit points. Ah, uh, mm. never mind. Then. <laughs> well, then you can use total defense. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I'll just use that. Okay. Just sit here. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. James goes into meditation. I'm an elf, mode. and I've technically died three times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Zan. Well, you're a fey elf, but yeah. Yeah. Zan, go for it. Okay. Standard car on move. Run, run. Hey there, fella. How would you like my ass? axe? And uh, use Warlord's favor on him. All right. Okay. Uh, 20, 20 against AC. On the clock. That is just barely a hit. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. So, uh, we'll go its favor. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, strength versus AC. Okay. Um, so, it's double hit. Oh, yeah, you roll for damage. I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Okay, it's 9 plus 3, 12, so that's 24 damage. 24 damage, nice. Yeah. And, uh, well, let's favor. Oh, one ally with an ice, one, uh, five squares Ooh. of you gains plus two attack bonus, two attack rolls against the target until the end of your next turn. And, uh, okay. So I'm just going to tell you guys this. Them? It has one HP left. Who wants the kill? Give it to Normie. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, there you go, Normie, plus two attack points. Let's see if I can even hit it. Mm. It doesn't happen often. Mind you, I've gotten lucky during this encounter. So is it my turn? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, well, cool. hang on. There's one more thing I want to do, and that's um, uh, minor action, and I am um, uh, now free action, and I stake my butt in front of it. Very good. Okay, Lovely. go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'll just blast. And that's going to hit, because that's like a 22... Yep, hit. Um, so it explodes! Yay! <laughs> Normicus just got, pulls his fingers up to his mouth and he goes... <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right. So, let's see here. Let me do some quick calculations. You all get three hit points. Uh, X, uh, XP. Um, let's see here. Um, 180 XP each. Oh, so close. So close. Three, three. Me and Karen, there's like three, 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 zero or something. <laughs> I'm missing How much experience, experience was that? 180. It's 20 off. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're, we're equal, aren't we, Mike? Yeah, because mm. I was like... And I, I was, like, absent for half of a session. Mm. Three, four, five, five. Okay, so um, no point in doing the math. What experience am I at? <laughs> uh, three, 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 zero. Just 20 experience. Ah. Um, it killed so, me. Uh, well, we're going to stop the game there. Uh, no one gets any more experience points now. We're all done. Oh, no, you... <laughs> 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 um... 
J James says to the group, I think we should just grab some cooked crocodile and move. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, having, having a quick bite to eat will bring the um, bring HP up, won't it? <laughs> sure. You, you can certainly take a short rest. Cool. So, you can, so then we can do healing surges. Yep. Stuff. Yep. And actually, while you're doing that, let's, let's, take a, the road. let's take like a five-minute break here then. While you guys are doing all that, I can uh, all right. refill my cup. I'm going to do the same thing. Yeah. Zan, what experience are you on? I can make a little longer. Three, four, eighty. I'm twenty off. No, you're not. Level falls at three, seven, fifty. It is? Is it? I thought it was at, yeah. was at three, um, uh, three, five hundred. Nope, three, seven, fifty. Aw. Well, still, I'm uh, close. I don't think we'll get enough this session. It all depends on how long we go on, really. Yeah. I hope we do. Yeah. I want to figure out my whole multi-classic stuff. We shall see. So is Brad yeah. still there? Get rid of a guy. This is true. It should be interesting. Yeah. So, so we're trying to take on an epic tier thing in Heroic tier. Pretty much. We're totally yeah. gonna live. <laughs> okay. In D and D, where there's an imaginative way, there's a will. Huh. Is there we a dragon? Very creative with how we do it. Is all. Is there a dragon controller in the audience? Is a dragon born? Does that count for anything? And then, and then summoning a god. Oh, that's there. another. We've already summoned three of them. <laughs> One of them was not us. One of them was a sale. Or a sale. But I sell. Sell, yes. I sell. Thank you. Well, technically, we were responsible for not preventing it properly, though. That, that's kind of like saying um, we're responsible for everything that happens in this world because we're not preventing it. <laughs> Everything, I would say. No, I'd stick. I'm, I'm just saying, like, we were there. We could have easily prevented it, but we were morons, and yeah. <laughs> we were throwing things down pits and not paying attention. Pretty much, yeah. We were too busy throwing rocks at um, uh, demon donkeys. <laughs> Crunch! <laughs> I still feel bad. <laughs> Um, Cord was a good one though, even though that was kind of accidental, and uh, I don't know how to how to class Orcus. That was like happenstance almost. That was me. <laughs> that was me. Well, I wouldn't say so necessarily. I mean, I was. I, I, sh like, I should have just broke the trance and told you guys, don't do it. Bad idea. <laughs> that would have helped. <laughs> yeah, but I was like, I was saying, hmm, this guy's interesting to talk to. This guy's extremely freaking powerful. We're all gonna die. I'm gonna stay here. <laughs> this is less painful than out there, no doubt. <laughs> I really like the uh, the rumor sheet I got this week. I do too. It's gonna be a very interesting direction we'll be taking. <laughs> it's hilarious because I, I was the, I'm the, I think I'm the only one who didn't get a rumor sheet. I'm just using one the one from last week. <laughs> yeah, you didn't really do anything well, at the very end of last session anyway. I whack a mold a god. I did a lot. <laughs> I remember my you know, having a little stoning circles. At least you didn't get whack a mold. Like we all did. Hey, I never got whack a mold. I just got you know sunk into an, a pit of something. Doom! And you jumped out. I didn't jump out. You pulled me out. No, no, no. Um, uh, your athletic, your acro uh, acrobatics check was, like, much higher than my athletics. So, like, yeah, you just got out on yourself. It was, like, twice on acrobatics. So, yeah, yeah, you just, like, flew out. Hey, what's your one the maximum health at? Hmm? What now? Just curious. Like, everyone's max health? Uh, 35. Oh, I am at 28 out of 30. I just used a regular surge. Okay. I didn't. I didn't hear Mike and Zan there said at the same time. 
Okay. Minus 37. So not too outrageous. We don't have anyone who's like, we don't have any defenders, so that it's not going to be like super high up for anyone. Yeah, well, I don't think defenders really are all about the health. I think the fact that they'll actually have high AC. All of us wearing like light armor. No, defenders have high health. I have yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It has a shitload of health. Yeah, like level one, it's like 30, like mid to high 30s at level one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I would really like to get into level four um, uh, today just because then I can start figuring out how the hell multi classing is going to work. Yeah. I know, like, I know for a fact that I'm going to be able to mark, but like, I don't know like how I'm uh, getting encounter powers and all that stuff is going to work. You'll only get to choose one encounter power from either class. I see. I think. Same thing with dailies? I think it'll work with all powers. I can't remember. In, mm -hmm. uh, multi-classing comes in in like the player's handbook 2, I think. Uh, yeah. It might be PHP 3. Or yeah, that's, that's the worst thing. I think it... it, it it bounces off it a little bit in the first one, but in the third... I'm guessing in the third one it talks a lot about it. Unfortunately, the third one is the only one I don't have a PHP to. Maybe then I'm you'll kind of want to get it before you decide to multi-class, because obviously you can't multi-class if you don't know how it works. Well, I've been trying to, but it's all, all been saying, like, I'm uh, Adobe Reader can't read this. Um... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Uh, that's not good. I yeah, don't think I've been playing by the rules. Uh, in what way? Um, I forgot about the fact that wizards have to prepare spells daily, so I don't know how many... You can I only use. choose one daily. You choose one daily yeah. to use, and that's the, the daily power you use for the day. So, sleep was the one, apparently, you chose. Yeah. Okay, so there's no limit to the number of encounter powers I can use? No. Nope. As long as you as long as you take a short rest after each battle, you're fine. Alright. You're like playing the flute for no real reason. Mm. All the feats I don't care about. Mm. I would actually like getting the amount. Um, you should actually get the improved initiative feat, uh, Matt. Why I'm a, I don't need to go first. Well, just you know, it might help. You know, get it, getting initiative over monsters. Meh. Mm. I'd rather give do damage. Uh, give me the. Oh, what was that? It was very loud music. Fire resistant one. It's like if an enemy is resistant to fire, like takes extra damage apparently. I can't hear a word you're saying. Uh, uh, it's a uh, feat I think Brad has on his wizard. It's like um, uh, if an enemy is resistant to fire, uh, they take damage if you have that feat. Like you take extra damage because they're resistant to fire. It's yeah, uh, under word you're saying. Brad, say it to him. Looks like Mike dropped offline. Yeah, and back. But yeah, I was saying, um, uh, 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 Brad, can you explain the uh, feat that I'm talking about to uh, Matt? Yeah, there's a, there's a feat where if any of your targets are resistant to fire, you deal an extra five fire damage. I only do one attack that does fire damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Really? You didn't mean a dragonborn? Oh no, Keeslin, never mind. Yeah. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Alright. I also I just realized something. I'm, uh, whenever the session ends like really early on like a story note, mm -hmm. Matt gets like, no! But whenever like a session ends and I still haven't still have leveled up, I go no. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm, I'm going to grab my other snack. Mm -hmm. The fiber bars of death. Yeah. Okay. Let me 
bring Mike back on. Hmm. Mike oh no, I went left. Completely offline. Yeah, call failed. Yeah. Hmm. Um, well, he's getting that worked out. Yeah. Um, I have something that I think needs to be left up to the DM because we looked at it and then I found this feat here when mm -hmm. I was looking through the feats. Mm -hmm. I have a feat called Fey Escape that I can choose. Okay. Which means when I use face step, I can face step when grabbed, immo uh, immobilized, or restrained. Hmm. Face step is a teleport, so we already decided that teleport, I can move when grabbed and stuff, but Fey Escape says I need a feat to do that. Hmm. Well, it's also possible. Let me see. Uh, I think uh, Fey, the face step, I think it's like a, a slide kind of. So it's it's more of a movement rather than a a teleport, which is why it wouldn't let you escape. Yeah. Um, but I'm not certain. Uh, let me go look at it really quick. Layer handbook. Hmm. move action teleport by smash. That is weird. Um, are you check teleport? Teleportation. Special rules. Rules. Active one. Okay, sorry about that. that my, my Skype just kind of was like. Understood. Hmm. We'll push slide. Push me. Um, ah, teleportation. Being immobilized or restrained does not prevent a target from teleporting. If um, a, it also... If a target uh, teleports away from a physical restraint, a monster's grasp, from a blah, 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 the target is no longer immobilized or restrained. Otherwise, the target teleports, but is still immobilized or restrained when it reaches its destination space. Um, so, that's interesting. So, Fey Escape, is there something weird about Fey Escape? Let me check, um... Oh, okay. Never mind. I found the difference. Mm. Um, fate escape can be used as an immediate reaction after grab. Ah, okay. That is good. Mm. All um, is clear. There's a um the rules commendium says mm. when you're um immobilized, when the creature is immobilized, it can't move unless it teleports, is pulled, pushed, or slid. Yep. But if the first, what if the the creature doing the grabbing is pulled, pushed, or slid? Huh. What do you mean? Like, say, say a monster grabbed Brad, mm -hmm. and someone slid the monster. Then Brad would Brad would go with him, yes, or would. would the grab end? No, the, uh, Brad would go with him. Okay. Yeah. I, I, want, I want a monster grab one of you, and then I'm going to push the monster into some lava. <laughs> say, it wasn't my fault. Wait, no! What if the, um, the monster is forcibly dropped prone? Um, that, um, being dropped prone does not affect the grab, as I understand it. Oh. That's kind of weird. You're still, you're still grabbed. He's grabbing at your feet. Yeah. Could you turn the music down a bit, please? All right, no it's music. Pretty loud. All right, no music. Music's off. Um, All right, are you guys ready to start up again? Certainly. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right. Go ahead. Okay. I. Yes, would North be continuing towards the temple? You have no idea where the temple is. 
Mm -hmm. Oh. Need to check? You could do that. Yeah, um, I'm going to roll a nature check to figure out where we're going. Okay, I'll, not roll, really gonna help I'll you. roll a... Would Streetwise work in the woods? No. <laughs> Could I, um, I use like a... A, a, a nature check is not going to help you find something that you don't know where it is. Hmm. Um, since it's a temple, can I possibly use an arcana check to like, sense if it's got any magical energies and then follow them? You could try, but you know the temple is very old. And it, you know, it, 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 was, it was not a temple for a god, it was a temple to, um, to, to store house. this thing. It, it's more of a storehouse. It's a steering check. So Does that it, help? Well, one second. Um, oh, sorry. So, you know, once you're, um, there, there may have been some arcana a long time ago, but the chances of it, of it still being around are kind of slim. Uh, That's pretty close. Hold on, there's a steering check. Did I don't find it. Are you in a dungeon? No. Oh, well, looking nope. for a dungeon. <laughs> nope. Okay, then. How about a perception check? Okay. Alright. Okay, I'll help assist with that. I'm gonna yes, roll a perception check, I guess. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, you do that, and I won't assist. Yep. I miss yeah, it. I don't think a three is going to help you. Okay. Let's see if I can no, roll high enough with this. You do get an assist because I got a ten. Oh, there so. we go. Um, okay, okay. So that's plus two. Mm -hmm. Um, so a thirty. You are in mm -hmm. a jungle. <laughs> okay. Um, um, let's see. As as a frequent adventurer before I joined the party, mm -hmm. could I do a history check and see if I'm familiar with the area or stories uh, of the area? Yes, you could. <clears throat> I hope with that then. Mm. I don't I think don't that'll be needed. Mm. Twelve. Yeah. That's plus two. That would make it a thirty-two. Oh, nice. Um, you have heard rumors uh, of, a, of a temple that is uh, that might fit this description. It is um, actually, as it happens, kind of north northeast of where you are now. North northeast. Okay. Uh, I tell my party this mm. information and ask if they want to continue on. Yep. No, yes. I want Sir, to die in this. Get squad. this done. Yeah. Certainly. Onward. Okay. Uh, you um, guys. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, then James side flips over the gap. Okay. Nice. With a um, a twenty eight acrobatics. Very good. No problem there. Um, so as you guys head north, sort of along the lake there, uh, you come across Batman. Not quite. Feels Batman, man. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do, was it? <laughs> It's just an area that doesn't necessarily mean, oh, crap. Well, we got the black ones, guys. You come close to Oh, um, yep. Does, does this little walk through nature and encounters count as part of the dungeon crawl? No. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the prelude yeah, to the dungeon crawl. Us, this is just us letting some wizards live. <laughs> this, is, this is the prelude, um, epi the episode zero. Yeah. Of this there go. Um, arc of the anime. Yeah. Well, th 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 there, there are certain things you can glean, actually, from these encounters. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I need to just make sure that, that this map is what that, that we can what? That glean. We glean. 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 Get glean. information okay. from. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Brent. Um, I think you wasted too much money on the... Uh, explosion animation budget because we spent a lot of time with me just floating in blackness. Yes, that is true. <laughs> it's a way of saving sheets, you know. It, it's very inexpensive. It works. Before I forget, let me grab Mr. Black. Let me know Load, when... map, load. Yeah. It might take a, a little bit. We are attacked by a giant question mark. <laughs> so we're, we're attacked by um, some kind of fish monster. Hmm. Oh, hey, there it goes. It loaded. Um, that doesn't look safe. It looks like a fish gorilla. I'm waiting on it. It, <laughs> nah, it looks yeah. like Godzilla. No, yeah. It's, uh, it's those black lizards that were from the original um, mm. check. From my history check of the lizard people. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. I, guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll take the time to do a free actor saying, okay, um, uh, Norricus, Karen, Shadala, don't go near those guys, please. <laughs> don't. Just don't. 
Leave Luckily, that, I'm leave. way back here. <laughs> <laughs> way back here. Oh, I see him now. <laughs> Did anyone not see the map? Good. All right. <laughs> uh. So, uh, um, as you near, well, I, I let me ask you guys this question. Do um, you guys want to try to sneak past? Um, can I do, uh, can I do like a history check on these specific tribe of lizard people? You can try. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'll I'm help. not gonna go through. Obviously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, yes. Oh wait. Eleven. Kind of, Eleven. Okay. What kind of check would it be to um, get an idea of the chances of running into another party of these creatures if we went west and then north again or something like that? That's a very good um, question. So I got a natural twenty plus yes. one of my history pluses two. Okay, twenty-three. Um, what, do you, um, what do you want to know specifically about them? Uh, basically, I want to, uh, like, this, like, anything I can tell about this specific tribe, about, like, what, like, if, if they, they have any, like, lore that, why they're here, like, possibly they believe that they, uh, they are guarding the temple or something or not. Oh, uh, I gotcha. Um, hmm. So I guess something connecting this, tri this specific tribe of lizard people right. to the temple. Right. Um... As far as you know, none of the lizard folk tribes in this area are kind of smart enough to align themselves to something like that. They're, they're too greedy, <laughs> frankly. Um, that said, you do know that lizard folk are, they, they, they do know a lot about wherever they live. Um, so mm -hmm. they would be very knowledgeable about other groups around here, or other, other lore, other information. You said they're greedy. Do we have any information on what they're greedy for? Food. Food. Hey, we, we can grab that crocodile. <laughs> we can we give them that it. crocodile and say, hey, we're sorry. Um, here, here's food. I don't think it's going to help. <laughs> but Come on, it might. We it. Didn't we eat it? You ate some we of it, eat, there's, there's some left. Ate, yeah, we only so ate like a little bit of it. We can't eat. That thing was huge, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we could, we could try giving them an time. offering as long as everyone is calm and collected in front of them and doesn't <laughs> Tyrande, stay back. Act rash. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the one who says be calm and collected <laughs> should stand back. Well, you hey, you're, you're the, the one afraid of though. lizard people. Mm. Yeah, I think me and James should like come with an offering and like come across the pond mm. and just say, hey, we come in peace. Here. Yes, we'll, we'll stay back. We all, all the magic uh, here. Stay well, quick back. question. Are those the same two lizards we fought earlier that ran away? No, they are not. Yes. Okay. Uh, they just named the same. Okay, so uh, then they they weren't aware that we fought some of their kinds. Not that you know of. Yeah. Hey, they ran the other direction. Actually, one of them, one of them ran north. Yep. Oh. Eh, whatever. So we, me and Carrion, I guess we both lift yeah, up we, one end of the crocodile because that thing's huge. Mm. Yeah, it would like cross the river and like just say. Yeah, we hey, like hey, wait. Hey. We like wait across. Mm-hmm. Like, and then we we come up. Um, we bring offerings or something. I'm not sure. Yeah. Diplomacy check. Yeah, let's do a diplomacy check. Nice. Okay. So, I was like, should I assist with this diplomacy check or should? Have you you assist? are assisting actually. So yeah, I'd, I'd roll. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm, um, I'm, 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 wait, what's help your carry on? Yeah, I was about to say, what's your? Because mine's like zero diplomacy. Yeah, I got. Uh, I think I've got like. Well, actually, um, guys, I'm I'm sorry, but James is the one doing the diplomacy here, so he's gonna have to be the one who does the check. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Just, just do this. Come on, come on, high yeah, roll. Yes. I, I got a four. Sorry. All right. I think I'm about to do an assist. Not really, because you're in the back. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He's not lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a 19 Ooh, plus zero. Nice. All right. So as, as you cross the river, the two big giant black lizard things okay. just sort of turn and go. And the other sort of hop yeah, around, something. but the um, uh, Carlos, this uh, very sort of um, uh, colorful uh, thing, he has this, this colorful um, uh, ridge, and he's, and he's wearing this expensive armor, sort of come, comes forward, and he says, um, uh, yeah, he says, uh, Svent Verbacar. 
Uh, both me and Shadar can speak to Connick. Can we hear them? Uh, you yes, can. you can. You can. Um, and, and, and what did they say? They're saying, um, um, uh, who are you? What do you bring? Okay, I'm guessing they can't speak English, so Normicus is going to step up and just like on the other and side of the room. Yeah, and, and, and just try and explain the situation. Okay. Translate, pretty much. Yeah, so yeah. Normicus, just, Normicus just walks up and says, um, you, we're, you, simply, we're simply here for information. We bring you an offering in trade for that information. Shouldn't you be, By shouldn't you be wait, like, hold on, wait, um, wait, Normicus. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, did, Normicus, by walking up, do you mean you, you cross the pond? Do you mean you walk right up to Carlos? I wa I stand next to James. Okay, so you cross the Normicus, pond. Normicus, okay, because I was thinking maybe you just want to uh, be, uh, just just like translate because I'm supposedly the one doing the, the thing here. Um, well, I, I've got a plus I've got a plus nine diplomacy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I stepped up. Otherwise, yeah, I would have just translated. Um, so I'll roll a diplomacy check here. He says back to you, what do you bring? Well, I'm sorry, bring I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. strike that. Um, what information do you seek? We seek information on a temple that may be lost within this swamp. We seek the Holy Grail. <laughs> I'm going to just slap, carry on, just back on. <laughs> shut up. I, I didn't say that that was out of character. I, if it was Corey, I would be like, no. We seek the Holy Grail. <laughs> that wasn't so there. <laughs> There are many secrets in this swamp. We look specifically for the temple. A temple. A the temple. temple? A temple? Um, mm. What is the temple called again? Uh, who remembers the name of the temple? Gosh, guys. Ah. Oh, I, I have it, I have it, I have it. I'm sure I have it. <laughs> Wait a second. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Papers. Papers? Where are your papers? Too many papers. I hate papers. <laughs> we seek the temple that we were told about two days ago. <sighs> that one. Uh, do, 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 do. We seek the temple of deep shadows. Okay, and Normicus says that. <laughs> <laughs> now would be a good time for a diplomacy check. Right, okay, cool. Yeah. Can we help yeah, I'm yeah. totally going to assist, even though yeah. it's unlucky. Yeah, everyone yeah, in the front line yeah. gets to assist. Alright. So that's two assists. That's probably going to help because I rolled a four, so that mm. makes my... Da, 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 da. Man, I'm really bad. And a 17. Mm. Oh, come on, that was lower. We know of no temple by that name. But we, you know, we do not speak your tongue. Well, he's speaking mine at the moment because I'm speaking to him in Draconic. Well, okay. What he means is that name doesn't mean anything oh, to him. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Would I be able to translate the name into Draconic? Oh, actually, no. He's not going to know Would the name mean? anywhere. Yeah. 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 Um, hmm. Uh, hey, sure, I would like to walk uh, up and say something. Sure. Uh, Shaw sure, walks up kind of over here and said, mm. uh, are, are, is there more than one temple in this region? Um... There are many secrets in this swamp. He's being very cryptic. Mm. Um, James says to Car uh, not Cario, and wow, Normicus or Shadar or whoever, um, maybe you should ask about the Temple of the Lifebringer. Maybe they understand that. Okay. Um, do you know of an ancient, uh, the ancient legend of the Lifebringer? This the temple that is connected to this legend that we seek. Some of our meals have mentioned this. <laughs> do you know? Do you know of Sorry. the okay, have, have any of these? Have any of your meals left behind maps, notes, any sort of papers that could lead us to the temple? I just didn't use napkins. <laughs> Again, um, out of character, mind you. No, nah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, <laughs> is this life? What is this life bringer supposed to be? We are not exactly sure. We only know that it dwells within the temple. And balances life. Hmm. That's not really going to aid the situation. They don't need to know that. Is it, is it important? It is not yeah. worth anything specifically. You could not sell it, if that is what you're implying. 
No, is it important? To us it is. To any other than you? No. <laughs> no. Well, there are many temples here. There, there are larger temples and smaller temples. If this was a certain important temple, then we would know what it is. But from what you describe, if it's not that important, no. How about you, Gormachus? How about you, Gormachus? Over and just said, "Okay, how we just kill you all now." <laughs> can, can you I don't think Gormachus can intimidate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> not the so ones, at least. So, mm. like, say, can can you merely just tell us the location of all the temples you know of, and we can search for ourselves? Oh God! <laughs> well, it, it, uh, it's, it's it better. It's better than having to deal with this crypticness. Um, ask them what is God's the most important temple, temple the they truth. know of. Just say the truth. Well, then they'll know we were lying. So. Yeah. Just ask what is the most important temple you guys know of. How would they know you were lying? We already told them that. If, if we told it was important, then they'd know we were lying in the first place. Mm. Well, it's important to us. We told them that much. Yeah. We that never said it wasn't important to other people. Anyway, Tyrion asked the question. So, um, Normicus just asked, tell us of the most important temple you know of. But you said it was not important. We said well, it was today. I do not understand you. This is very, this, this is very strange. I'm beginning not to trust you, stranger. Well, and you look delicious, if I, must say, if I might say so. Um, well... We may be willing to be more honest James? if you are more honest with us. Why, why do you want to know that it is important? We are surrounded by secrets. We cannot know what to tell you of unless you are more specific about what you desire. If you simply say it is a thing, we cannot direct you to anything. We seek mm. probably the most important temple in this swamp. Um, James, uh, mm -hmm. like, grabs a piece of the meat from the crocodile, uh, takes a bite and, hit and like, holds it out to him and gives him a thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> That's good. He, he sort of arches an eyebrow at that and says, hmm. You can see a little, piece of, a little bit of drool on the side of his, his mouth. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Not as good as halfling, but hmm. Slowly inching up, scared half to death. <laughs> An elf. Mm. <laughs> there is a very important, but a very dangerous temple not far from here. It is only an entrance, but perhaps it is the will of Tiamat that you were brought here. The, the place has been overrun by etacaps and their horrid spider creatures. It has been much, uh, much pain to us as they have raided us and caused us much, much concern. So if you were to go and take care of that, that would be of great value to us. And it would, and, 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 and that entrance is certainly to the largest temple we have ever seen. You say it would be valuable to you. How valuable, exactly? It would save them from getting attacked by spiders. Yeah, I'm, t I'm trying to get a reward. I'm trying to get them to help us more for doing this. Diplomacy check, please. Can I get an assist? Assist. Assist. Yes, assist. Yes. Assisting. <laughs> I rolled a yeah, four. Yeah, sorry. Rolled a four. I assist. Um, I assist. <laughs> Uh, that is a... 21. 21. It would be of considerable assistance. <laughs> However, as you, as you have said, this is what you see. <laughs> we merely give you what you see. Well, we're on vacation. That's someday. a lovely crocodile. Sorry, what was that, Brent? That was a lovely cro that's a lovely crocodile. Yes, the crocodile is in trade for the information. The getting rid of whatever it is that is plaguing you is not for the crocodile. We expect compensation for getting rid of your threat. I whispered to Normicus, 
Um, Avoiding a fight is compensation enough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not push the issue. Right, Brazen. The, uh, the, 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 um, uh, the lizard man kind of raises his eyes and says, well, you've already said you're going to go, that you want to go and get this thing. We'll take the crocodile. We're done. Um, I think he's saying that um, they're in the way of the temple, so we're going to have to go through them no matter what. No, no, he'll, he'll, he will gladly allow you to go to the temple. He'll, he'll, he'll show you the way. He's yeah. more than happy to point you to the temple. But he, you know, from what you've described, you're going to go there anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. The, the temple, mm-hmm. um, it, what, how it sounds is these spider people thingies mm-hmm. are uh, basically in, in our way of the temple. Correct, yes. So yeah, that's so. why. So we're going to have to go through them no matter what. Right. Yeah, so yeah. Go to the temple. So, Norm, you're, you're kind of flawed right now. <laughs> yeah, so just say excuse us, we'll be on our way. <laughs> I was already going to say that now, way before all of this debating. So, if yes, you Norm wanted... waves his hand and just says, yeah, take the crocodile then. Can you show us the way? All right, fine. Um, then I guess he shows us where to put the crocodile. <laughs> yeah, he takes it in, you take it into the village. I'm kind of surprised. I thought you guys would push that further. Um, uh, why? You have helpers. What? They're lizard men. We don't want them. Oh, okay. oh. That's Fair actually enough. a good idea. No, no, no. Should too late, late. Too late. Too late. Too late. James can't talk draconic. <laughs> so he can't respond. <laughs> Unfortunately. Only me and Shadar can respond. So what did he say? I didn't hear it. No, no, I, it was totally out of character. It, it you know, it, oh. it wasn't what any, any, any of the creatures said. Right, okay. Um, uh, so, yeah, so he, um, they take the crocodile in, and they um, send a scout with you to, set, to point you in the direction of the temple. Awesome. So... Um, so I, we totally just offered a crocodile to lizard people. You did, absolutely. That, 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 that's good. You must feel really proud, Jen. <laughs> yes. I am proud that I came up with this ingenious plan of offering crocodiles. Well, I'm quite proud I started it yeah. <laughs> Oh! More stuff. Well, that. Actually. Oh, shoot. My, my markers were not, are not correct. Gotta fix the markers. One second. I always hate when I do that, when I forget to do the mark. Uh, um, one second, guys, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ch- uh, change the markers. Don't, don't bother with that. Don't bother oh, with the name. What's marker? The pogs. Yeah, I'm guessing. Uh, <coughs> mm-hmm. this, this is like an encounter that's gonna be starting. Can we take the break now? So I can go with the dog. Sure. In fact, I think. Um, yes. Absolutely, and uh, um, you guys took a, a, a short rest as well, so just so you, so you know. Okay, okay. I was already I'm going to run and grab some lunch. You already had a short rest. Lunch. Wow. I really, really want more XP so I can get to all four. <laughs> oh. Actually, you guys each get... Hello, spider thing. What the hell is that? <laughs> Let me look. Oh, mine isn't loaded yet. Actually, like, you, you it's guys... like a head crab mixed with a spider mixed with an alma star. It's like an ant lion. I am like, blind. And maybe I've been, oh, there maybe I've been watching Pokemon too much recently, but that, 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 that just looks like a really screwed up alma star. <laughs> uh, I don't see it. Yeah, that looks, looks more like a, like a Kabuto, more like it. No, yeah, the Kabuto is... Oh, wait. The oh, Kabuto man. is standing up, though. Ah. Those, that one looks like it has a shell. That's Kabutop. Kabutop stands up. Kabuto is the oh. uh, the first form. Well, I'm just saying, because it, it has, like, these spikes on its mouth and stuff. Yeah. I have so far got 26 out of 26 episodes of Who's That Pokemon Right. <laughs> nice. I feel accomplished. Well done. <laughs> It's the Pokemon they, that they show either in that episode or the next episode. Mm. Hmm. There we go. Oh, there's a uh, YouTube video that I saw where I'm, uh, it 
some uh, like who that who's that Pokemon? And then like it's all, and this the guy just shouts, It's Pikachu and it's not. <laughs> oh yeah. It's Metapod. God damn it <laughs> Rage <laughs> It's Pikachu um, there, there's one that it shows up in the picture of a ghastly and says, "Who's that Pokemon?" And then when it and then it shows up and it says Pikachu, but it's like the Pikachu colors on a ghastly. <laughs> nice. Well, I want I, I want to throw a Pokeball at these. <laughs> this should be like a uh, Pokemon MMO board game. Mm. That would that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, that should be hella done. Um, yeah. It might be kind of difficult to track all of your Pokemon though. Not necessarily. Just keep like six. Well, of course, but I mean, you know, imagine like six character sheets. <laughs> well, it would be it would be more like a like a monster sheet, you know? Yeah. It would be more and, and then like, when, like you level up and you just. Uh, you just have to basically keep um, track of XP for each of them, which wouldn't be that hard. Yeah, oh, oh, and you can, like, level up your own trainer. Like, for example, like, your trainer can give, like, um, uh, plus, like, like, plus defenses and stuff like that. <laughs> I think it'd be interesting, because, you know, so far it's always, like, the Pokemon that you see fighting. Well, like, maybe, like, show that the trainer actually does something for the Pokemon. Trainer gets in a fist fight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, tra uh, trainer carries around an AK-47. Click, click. Exactly. Jerry, uh, Trainer gets on a uh, hot air balloon. Uh, that, 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 that should seriously be done. Oh, actually, uh, Wizards should totally uh, try that in the direction since they actually, since they do the Pokemon card game, I'm pretty sure, they should totally go in that direction. That'd be awesome. That would be very interesting. I mean, they're already, like, uh, making an online version of the Pokemon card game, so... It, that would, it wouldn't be a bad idea for them to like try investing in an MMO, a Pokemon um, uh, um, uh, top, tabletop RPG. Yeah, um, maybe I just haven't seen one yet, but has there ever been a Pokemon MMO? Mm. I, I'm really surprised if there hasn't been. No, no because, because really. of Kappa. Kappa? Yeah. Um, oh, sorry. Um, the Child Online Protection Act, um, it, it is illegal to... Um, collect personal information from children under the age of 13 online unless you go through a bunch of hoops. And so yeah. doing an, an MMO that actually has any, you know, that ties you to an account will get you in tons of legal trouble. So you can do things like Club Penguin where there's a very, you know, slight connection. But once you get to the MMO world, things get really, really well, messy. Well, the thing is that people over the age of 13 love Pokemon. I know tons. Look in college. Oh yeah. Even now, like like uh, like uh, legal po like um, uh, uh, po the official Pokemon um, uh, tr uh, national uh, uh, ELO. Like I, I see people like ton of people on YouTube uh, showing Pokemon matches that are actually played. Like people like going over to Japan and like playing uh, black and white and like they they still have the Japanese names in their heads and can't say the English names. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, my hands are cold. It would mostly be they'd have to say you have to be older than 13 to sign up for the site, and then a whole bunch yeah. of under 13-year-olds would sign up, and they might get in trouble for that. Yeah. Just like how it is for most video games. Mm-hmm. The thing is, they would be under great scrutiny. I suppose. Because it's supposedly a child's cartoon, a child's game. Yeah. Well, there are tons and tons of kids under 13 that play RuneScape. I'm pretty sure you had to be 13 or older to play that. Right. Yeah. But that's the thing is that, you know, again, there's going to be under great scrutiny. You know, the lawmakers are all going to be looking for that. So, mm -hmm. they're, they're not paying attention to RuneScape, potentially. Because RuneScape is more of a preaching style game. This is Pokemon, man. <laughs> yeah. Pokemon is for all ages. Yeah, but it's Pokemon. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying, like, it might be good as, like, a different, like, uh, RPG style. Like, for example, um, uh, oh, God, what was that one that, um, uh, Kari introduced me to? Um, uh, the, like, Legions and Masterminds sort of game for the superheroes. Hmm. 
I don't know. There's like, just uh, one. Oh, go ahead. There's just one tabletop game I want to play. Um, there's just two of them. One of them I can't remember the name. Um, but uh, the other one's um called Mythist. It's like mm -hmm. a really in-depth um, uh, tabletop role-playing game. Mm -hmm. Like like to the point where you have to buy your clothes, your pens, and your paper. Wow. And the other one, it's, like, if you've ever played, like, one of the Fear games or the Doom games or something, mm -hmm. um, it's basically, like, a tabletop version of kind of like that. Um, oh, my yeah. friend was telling me that they played that um, overnight. Oh. And it, 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 it's a scary tabletop game, pretty much. What's it called? I forget. I can't remember. Mm. I wish I could remember, because that, that game sounds pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a board game, um, uh, Space Marine, something like that, where you're basically, uh, you, you are a space marine on a ship full of aliens. And, uh, <laughs> so you're, you know, going around and the, uh, the board is reconfigurable. So you have this rather extremely large, I mean, I've seen, um, at Gen Con I saw this one table that was filled with a, a map. And, um, you go around and you get attacked by, you know, beam stealers and you get, uh, you know, you get to mow them down with your machine gun and, Sounds fun. So it's kind of like Dead Space. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. From what I know, Dead Space. Not which not much. I actually don't know much about it either, except mm. for the main guy's name, Isaac, and they're in a space, and they're scary. Mm. Yeah. And he uses mining tools to destroy aliens. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Basically, the whole goal of the game is, like, to, to decapitate aliens to kill them, because that's the only way to kill them. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. this is like sawing and drilling equipment to like kill them. Yeah, I mean it's futuristic, of course, but yeah, of course. Uh, because a big aspect of the game is, you know, you think you kill an enemy, and then if you ever had to backtrack, the, there could be like a dead body on the ground, and you can just pop up and attack you. Mm. Yeah. So you have to, you know, double tap them. Mm. I hate scary games. I was playing Fear Two. And I was only like 20 minutes into it, and I had to alt tab and pause it mm. and just sit there and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, you each got 150 XP for that last encounter. Wait, we had an encounter? Yeah, with the, uh, was it, the village. It was a friendly encounter. Yeah. That totally counts as an encounter? Yeah. All right. 150? Yep. Awesome. So one, uh, they said 100. Nope, 150. Okay. I'm at 630. 630. 3430. 3430. Let's see here. 6, 7. I'm only, I'm, uh, 120 experience away now. Cool. Come on, spiders, put up a good fight. Oh, don't, don't worry, more spiders or more enemies will enter the arena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going through several floors of a dungeon. Let's be diplomatic with these spiders. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, um, uh, Mike, you you don't have a thing for insects, do you? No. Ew. Good. Good. Ew. Ew. You'll, have to Good. Make, you'll have to make sure that they are indeed insects. They could be like an insect, you know, bunny rabbit hybrid. Okay, that would be even worse, and James would just be terrified of the, the blatant, um, <laughs> like, kill monstrosities. He, 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 he would be mad at the blatant, um, what is it, uh, just, um, misuse of nature. <laughs> Combining two animals? Not cool, yo. It's a chimera. <laughs> Chimeras are not cool, yo. <laughs> what if it's, like, what if, well, I, I know it's, like, insect and mammal, but what if it's, like, two mammals? Like a, a, a chimera isn't natural. Okay. Yeah, it's made by science and... It's made by there. science and evil peoples. It's <laughs> made by them dare, them dare devil worshippers sitting there with their flask. <laughs> okay. Oh, Brent, did you check out that link I sent you yesterday? Uh, yeah, to be more specific. The Minecraft link? I said blue stuff on it? Probably not. Um... I, I nope. may. I what 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 was in it? It was basically a uh, a link to a YouTube video okay. about the Minecraft thing. 
But, uh, but what was going on in the Minecraft thing? It was Minecraft. Um, okay, so at first they were on an airship and they crashed it and then they basically like... Oh, that wreckage. one. Yeah. I don't remember. It was... It was yeah, you probably didn't look at it because like as soon as like uh, we stopped playing, the uh, stopped on um, streaming and just kind of like, like, we all kind of like just stopped and yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, did you send it to me via email? Oh, Ryan, you do that. I'll do that now. Okay. So you can totally get an airship in D and D. Oh yeah. <laughs> I never realized this. Now, now I feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> yeah, you got you to get to the the fourth disc before you can get that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it we depends which game you play, but yeah. I believe only yeah. two of the Final Fantasies have four discs. Mm. How much does an airship I'm cost? About, like, how fast well, I don't I don't know how much it costs, but I'm seeing you're looking at mounts and vehicles in the rules yeah. and what it says what it does, but I don't know how much it costs. Yeah, you know your spell game if you want to. I know I know a regular ship costs sixteen thousand gold. But you should you should look up in the player's handbook how much an airship costs. I'm looking it up now. Yeah, with how much gold we're throwing at, we can like totally save up and like get it. Because I'm pretty sure all of our gold combined equals at least a uh, hundred, no, a thousand. I have I have over a thousand on me alone. Oh, um, you know what? The bank accounts. Put our gold in it. Then find a way to go to the future, and then all the interest will collect. Then we can buy an airship from the future. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. so crazy. It just might. Let's see here. An airship costs about eighty-five thousand gold. Oh, scratch, scratch that. We need to go kill a, an elder dragon. Yes. Or loot I, um, an elder dragon. Don't kill it. We can't. They can't take it. Um, my dad, when my dad was playing D and D, um, they they uh, an el they were talking to an elder blue dragon, mm. and the dragon the dragon was talking to them, and my dad's character was a very impatient character, mm. and he was tired of. It. He's like, I attack. And my mom was DMing, she said, you, no, you, no, I attack. Uh, so he rolled for attack, and he rolled critical. So he rolled criticality, because this is like first edition. Mm. He rolled criticality, max criticality. His sword, which he knew was a dragon slayer, didn't know what kind of dragon slayer, mm. was a blue dragon slayer. Wow. So he rolled max damage plus critical plus max criticality plus times eight so it was like times 16 or something. So he did somewhere mm. around 200 damage right off the bat. Nice. And his partner right next to him is like, oh, I'd run up with him. And <sighs> has a red dragon slayer sword. It rolls criticality. Rolls max criticality. Rolls for the other one. Rolls max. And does another like 200 damage. Mm. And then the, the partners were all like, whatever. We help them out, I guess. God. <laughs> and they all, uh, two of them rolled criticals and hit it. And since the dragon wasn't expecting it, they, that was their opportunity attack. So they got mm. another turn. They killed it. They killed the elder dragon at level like seven mm. before it even attacked them. Mm. <laughs> Dang! They level up like two levels that day. <laughs> Probably something like four. Wow. All right. Um, here's a link to at least one of their adventures. Um, basically, uh, this is a, um, uh, what they did was they found a, a map online, and it's like, uh, what it is, they basically followed these signs, they basically told the story of the thing, like, what they did okay. with that is, um, uh, Yeah, custom maps. Yeah, custom maps. Is that Yogg's cast thing? Yep. Alright, I'll watch it when I'm done streaming. <coughs> okay. You got a cold there, Mike? Uh, actually, I've had a cold for, like, past month. Mm. Nasty. Yeah. It, it's been going around my family, because my baby sister's in kindergarten, and she shares a room with me, so mm. I caught it from her, and then I think she caught it from me back. She gave it to my mom. My mom gave it to my dad. My dad gave it to my sister. My sister gave it back to my mom. I think my baby sister got it again, and then I got it. Wow. It's just been traveling around the house. Mm. Mm. Matt, it's, it's, what you, it's what you get with a six-people family. Yeah. Oh, and Chris, um, uh, if we do level up this session, um, after session, I'm going to have to uh, need uh, you to help me um, uh, figure out how multi-classing works. Yeah, I'll, I'll go through the PHP 3. Yeah. Mm. 
Yay, my gi's almost dry. Hmm? My gi. I... Uh, it's a, a gi is basically a cry term for a uniform. Uh, um, you know, the white coat, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, um, I have class on Tuesday, and then um, uh, Saturday will be my uh, exam mm. from yellow to orange. Oh, cool. Yeah, so that's Good why I went that. there at yeah. um, uh, uh, ONB that day. Mm. What type of martial arts? <laughs> Wano Kikai. I don't know. Karate. It's. Mm. it's a style of karate. It's basically um, uh, Wano, Wano Ru uh, mixed with um, uh, Shotokan, uh, mixed with another third style. Hmm. It's basically it's, prim it's primarily taught um uh, here in um uh, California, but also in uh, ok Okinawa as well. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's not that complicated. It's just like basically learn styles, no. and learn how to just spar, and the origin sounds complicated. <laughs> no, I'm sure. Yeah, it's just like a combination of different styles is all. Mm. Um, hey, who wants to do trivia? What kind of trivia? Just like random trivia. That's. Like, for example, but like, let me just ask you this question. Random. Uh, what was Fred Flintstone's pet dinosaur called? Do you know? Do you know? There you go. I do this with Miniman every week because basically my calendar is um, uh, one of those uh, ask a question every day calendars. Um, so I, I usually collect all the questions from the week. And uh, it, it's pretty fun when we do it. Oh, let's see here. That's a good one. Hmm. Oh yeah, this will be a good one. Um, so basically, it, so basically, what you do is um, uh, I give you clues, and then you have to guess what it is. So, for example, I am made of paper. Independence Hall is on my side. I represent something valuable. Constitution. Dollar. Hmm. What? What dollar? Uh, a piece of money. A, a bill. Okay. Well, it's, it's asking for a specific kind of dollar. Don't know. Uh, hmm. Constitution Hall. Is that what you said? Independence Hall. Oh, Independence Hall. Um, I want to say that's the $5 bill? Nope. It's, you can exchange me. I show the face of a noted author and scientist. Oh, $100, $100, $100, $100, $100 bill? Yep, there you go. I was thinking it was that, but I've never had a $100 bill, so. <laughs> you and me both, James. You and me both, or Mike. My middle name's James, so. Oh, cool. Michael James. I wonder, how, I wonder how that would have worked if I named uh, Karen after my middle name. Derek! I, I'm, very, I'm very bad with um, naming things. I can't think of names very easily. So um, my, my main enemy, who isn't really an enemy because he's just a kid that doesn't like me, is named Michael. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I can totally understand what that problem, but like, I just need to like, watch a lot of anime and I'll find something, some, something creative. Hmm. What I do, like, um, with the system that I'm trying to create, um, I, I just go to a, a baby name website, close my eyes, <laughs> click on a letter, and that's, and the, like, I just scroll, and I point my finger at the screen, and that's the one I use. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's what I do for NPCs. I also do that for books, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, no. Like, what should I name my character? That. Go. Oh, here's an interesting question. Okay, so I'm an ancient ruler. I conquered Gaul. I served as a statesman in ancient Rome. Caesar? Yep. Which one? Julius. Julius? Yep, there you go, Julius. Was there another Caesar? Uh, there's Augustus. Several. Augustus. There were a bunch oh. of Caesars. By the way, it's Gaul. Ah, yeah. sorry. Brent is like a walking dictionary. <laughs> or an I encyclopedia, like, really. It's like, off like it's nothing. Just like, damn. Like, they I have, have some trouble, that. though, with like, shoot. <laughs> I, I have been known as the office dictionary, actually. Uh, you, did, you did say that in, like, somewhere on your website. Yeah. Mm. Spider thingy. Spider. James walks up and pets the spider thingy. <laughs> Good spider thingy. Oh, my hand. No different, it's no different than petting my cats. <laughs> um, oh, did you guys vote for the t-shirt conference uh, co uh, contest yet? I did. The wet t-shirt contest? Cool. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, should, <laughs> we should totally hold our own t-shirt contest. You can promote your shirts with the web t-shirt contest. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Dur, 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 dur. Mm. It's all too quiet. Mm. Yeah. Pum pum I still want to play flute for absolutely no reason. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. Except the song I want to play is way too high pitched. Mm. Uh, it like goes four bars above the top bar. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to put this up just for the hell of it. It's basically an anime clip from uh, the, uh, the uh, dubbing of um, uh, Baka and Test by Funimation. Mm. Oh, yeah, hmm. and what, is, is it on Funimation's channel? Yeah, it's Anime yeah. Club 4. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Cool, actually, wait. Um, I haven't seen it. I am two minutes and one second through it, and then I paused it to answer ah. the call. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do you want to figure out what this song is? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, sell this lullaby. I don't know why yeah. it's not Naruto. I'm thinking like the uh, sad. Well, there's, song. A, there's a lot of flutes in Naruto. So, yeah, yeah. That's, I was, that's what I was thinking at first. And I'm like, oh wait, of course it's Zelda. That's really that's actually the one surprising thing about the uh, Naruto. At least the original Naruto, there was a lot of good soundtrack for that. Yeah. You mean the first yeah. series? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't hear it as much in Shippuden, honestly. I do enjoy the uh, the new opening. In Shippuden? Yeah. Uh, can you link it to me? Because so far, when I've watched Shippuden, I haven't seen any openings that I like other than the early ones. Uh, I think it's 17... Or maybe it's 18. 17? Okay, I'll It's either... It. Um, no, I think it's... Eight. Let me see what 18 is. It's 18. It's 18. Uh, the first a link. Okay. Or the second. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> uh, it says opening 9, apparently. I'm uh, not a big fan. I know, but like um, Shippuden, yeah, it's 9. I just put Naruto opening 18. Mm, oh, this opening? Yeah. Mm. Are there any um, Naruto openings with good guitar riffs? Uh, hmm. Well, mm. probably not in the opening itself, but in the full version, probably. And I think maybe Fighting Dreamer would be a good one. Mm. That's one of my one of my hobbies is playing anime openings on guitar. Mm. Oh, nice. I mean, the, uh, the only no, sorry, the only talent I have in anime openings is just singing. Um, uh. I can actually sing pretty good, like kind of. Since I've since I've taken my Japanese class, I can do like uh, the, I know the hiragana uh, uh, oh, so I know how to pronounce it correctly at least. <laughs> uh, what do you mean by good guitar riffs? Like you'll be a little more specific. It's just like any 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 guitar parts in a song that you guys enjoy. Uh, this. this um, one. hidden America. Oh. Now that's an awesome that's song. Fun. Actually, uh, one of my one of my um, uh, favorite uh, anime opening songs that I want to make like the the uh, theme to um, uh, uh, Talk of Underground uh, it has an awesome uh, guitar riff in it. Like um, I just got done learning the opening to well the first solo part the opening to um, Battle Girls Time Paradox. Mm. Oh, nice. I'll have to listen to that opening. Oh yeah, I, I love that riff. Yeah, where it's like you know. Or it's like... Yeah. And then um, I learned the Angel Beats opening not too long ago. That is when... The, the vocal version of it. So, mm. like, I play the vocals on guitar. Mm. <laughs> oh, nice. There's also the um, the guitar version of it. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, I play I play the piano part as with um, Yui's version. <laughs> um, do you? Uh, sorry, give me a second. Uh, have you done like God Knows or Lost My Music? I've tried God Knows. It's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. I, I can I can play it to where you can kind of pick out what song I'm trying to play, <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm, uh, this month, uh, I'm hanging out with a friend, she's teaching me ukulele, and I'm going to buy my own next uh, month, I'm, I'm going to see what I can do with uh, anime openings on an ukulele. Mm. Actually, I can play, th I can play the solo version of the Love Hino first opening uh, at speed, mm. <laughs> which is weird, but, uh, what else do I have? Uh, you said you are going to do the ukulele? Yeah, I'm going to play an ukulele. Uh, there's one opening from this season I think might sound pretty good with ukulele, but it's a really, it's the the show with a really long name that I can't pronounce. <laughs> uh, it's it's like the one that uh, it starts like Ano something 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 something. Denpa Denpa Ona? No no no. Ano um, Ano Himita Nohana. Maybe uh, let me <laughs> let me go to the the site I watched it at. I don't uh, even know if I said yeah. that right. Anohimita Hana Nunameo Boku Touch, that one. It, it's shortened to Anohana. Mm. Yeah, I think the intro for that would sound all right on the ukulele. Awesome. I will definitely look into that. Oh, um, I can play the main lines to um, Cruel Angel Thesis, which is fun. Mm. Hmm. There's got to be some other anime ones I know. Uh, <laughs> oh, Dampa Ono no Tsuchi Otoko. Tsuchun Sen Afa. That third word I can't say. But yeah. Well, no, well, that's not the one I was talking about, but that's... Oh, not that one? Oh, no, it no, would be uh, Ono Hana no, opening. Ano hi mita hana no nama o bokatachi wa mada shir shir can't pronounce the last one. Shira nai. Oh yeah, nai. That's the one. A group of childhood friends who, as the time went by, grew apart, now gather once more to help someone amongst them. It's it's turning out to be a good show. It's slice of life. I'll pro I, I, I'm surprised I haven't already started watching it. It was too depressing for me. <laughs> I didn't uh, want to watch I, it I after the that. first. I can understand <laughs> that. The first episode just made me too sad to want to watch it more. There, there is quite a bit of sadness in the show. <laughs> Ouch. Mm. Matt, are you back yet? It usually takes him like 15 to 20 minutes to walk his dogs. Yeah, it's, it's been that. Hmm. He, he got jumped there. by two muggers. Oh, here's a song I would, I think you should really learn to play on guitar. I will take a look. Let's see. Guitar! Oh. <laughs> Lord. Oh, this one. Yes. Yeah, I, I like the sax I'm uh, opening with it. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, the sax really makes it perfect. This is just the uh, the the version for just the show because they can't have the whole song. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. Of course, the whole version will... Oh, oh yeah, I do like that riff. Yeah. I do like that little part. Um... Yeah, um, the song that you probably already know what is hit in the USA is the one that I say it'd be awesome to learn on guitar. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, 
kind of the ultimate one. I mean, it's an anime about a guy who learns guitar, and it's not K.O. in its style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Beck is a pretty well-known, it's kind of well-known here. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Mm. Uh, did you check your Brad? Hmm? Uh, the link I sent you? The... Hang on, let me try it again. I'll send uh, it to you. Demon, Gunner, Demon Gunner 7? Yeah, that's it. That's some metal guitar right there. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is like back in the like early 90s. My. Yes. No. Like um this is this is the kind of stuff that I try to learn. Let me see if I can get it copied and pasted. Yeah, eventually, uh, during the song, there's, like, this one bit where it's, like, just the guitar yeah. solo. It's, like, pr pretty slow, but, like, it's just really rocking. And I recently rock in this, which is so fun to play, but it's weird. Yeah. Oh, this one. Uh... I tried to get a friend to learn um, God Knows, and he was able to learn it at about 10% speed. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's... Oh, God. Um, what, what was that? God Knows is from Pyro. God Knows? Here, I'll... Yeah, um, it's from uh, yeah, R.E. Like, yeah, because yeah, uh, when, when I hear that title, I think of the, um, uh, the opening for God Only Knows, because mm -hmm. the title is called literally God Only Knows, the opening mm -hmm. song. Huh. It's from uh, an episode of the show. It's not like an, an opening or an ending song. I uh, see. Okay. That's the song. Yeah, and you, just just the beginning riff is just like ah. Uh, awesome. Yes. For a Game Boy? No. You don't even need to be playing on a Game Boy. You don't need to be playing on a Game Boy. You haven't got in your room, please. I see. Yeah. It's supposed to be Yuki playing it, so it's supposed to be yeah. insane. <laughs> Basically, what you have to do is you have to rapidly flick your wrist up and down at the mm. speed of light while moving <laughs> your fingers at a decent speed on the other side. Yeah. yeah. I, I get... Let's see. Mm. Hmm. Uh, right. Check over the news. Business as usual. Interesting.
one of the new, uh, the big new things these days is uh, uh, sort of high-scale popsicles. Mm -hmm. Classing up popsicles, popsicles. With, with innovative flavor combinations. Yeah, so there's strawberry basil, um, yogurt, dried fruits, and nuts. Cucumber, elderflower, and tequila. I'm up for that. Um, blueberry <laughs> Sounds lemonade. Sounds delicious. <laughs> blueberry lemonade. Pineapple chili. Wow. I'm totally not under the drinking age. Let me have some. Nero. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize those pictures on game table, and they don't, I don't remember them being friendly <laughs> <laughs> at all. Oh, um, I recently uh, ordered from Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, I ordered a NES and a SNES USB controller. Nice. So I plug in my computer and I can play them on an emulator. Wow. Oh, awesome. I got one of those. Very cool. And then I have my oh, wow. Logitech controller that's a PS2 style. Nice. But that'd be awesome. It's like I have I have a real NES controller plug in my computer. That's an interesting idea. I might do that for uh, the arcade machine downstairs. <laughs> and see what I'm, let's see here. Uh, let me see. Let me go to Amazon and see if I can pull that up. So like, um, um, I can give you the link. Oh, uh, please do. Because I have Mario Run X. Mm. Yeah, and played Mario Run Hack. My, um, me and a friend were doing a Let's Play of a Mario Run Hack, and I was sitting in the background co-commentating, and he couldn't get this jump. So I'm like, give me the controller. I, he gives me a control. Okay, now what button do I push to jump? Give me back the controller. <laughs> um, there's this, which is the NES one. Okay. And this one is the SNES one. Mm. Uh, did I just not paste it? There we go. Yeah. I also got um, 3D glasses um, for Minecraft because so, I nice. needed something to bump it up to fifteen uh, twenty-five dollars. Mm. Mm. So like, I can't, I can't wow. pay. I can, twenty-five dollars or higher, I get free shipping. So I can either mm. pay fifteen dollars for shipping or pay three dollars for a little extra thing. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Um, I'm gonna run downstairs and see how many USB ports I have on that. Uh, I'll be right back. 3D glasses from Minecraft? How does that work? <laughs> oh, you you haven't went to the options? You can select a 3D option. It does red, uh, red, blue, red I think. Blue. Me... Yeah, red, yeah. blue. I didn't, I've noticed. I haven't tinkered with the video options. Other than the uh, render distance, of course. But. Well, yeah, well, the, um, it, it used to not be in video options. It used to all be just, you press escape and you had all the options there. But then again, right. I've been playing since before Classic was finished. <laughs> oh, wow. I played it around, uh, it, was, it was an alpha, but mm. it was, um, I'm not sure how early into alpha, I don't remember, it's been such a long time. I think I played maybe two months before beta came out. Mm. Mm. So probably yeah, around I, 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 I need to get to find, uh, Minecraft, the only problem is that I'm going to get addicted to it. Mm. Yeah, one do you need to get addicted to it or you just don't like yeah. One of my friends, his doctor well, sure. has actually told him to stop playing Minecraft mm. because it might be worsening his OCD. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it does that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so his, his yeah. doctor is like, okay, here's your prescription. Stop playing Minecraft. <laughs> what? <laughs> nice. Yeah, there's, there's actually a condition known as Minecraft OCD where mm. you can't make anything uneven. Wow. I can't. Oh, my... I hate it, and I also hate the sound of glass breaking. It breaks my heart. What about the sound of doors opening and the sound of water hitting lava? That's perfectly fine. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. I've seen people make uh, annoyance machines where they just have a bunch of red stones linked to doors, and it's on repeaters, so it just keeps opening and closing all the doors. I've seen that. That's uh, creepy. Come on, back. We'll play. Not in here. Them and their DS chargers. I still use batteries for my Game Boy Color. Mm. Wow, that is old school. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I got sick of batteries like long time ago when I lost like the uh, the thing that held the batteries in. I, I used duct tape. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, the tape um, always falls off and then, like, it doesn't connect in a nuisance. Mm. Yeah, but duct tape's well, easy because then you just peel off the duct tape and the batteries come out. Mm. Yeah, and duct tape, it's, it just stays. And um, when I when I was little, I actually didn't have batteries. I had a battery pack that you put into it and you could still plug it into a wall. Mm. I don't have that anymore. I don't know. I also had the Game Boy printer thing. <laughs> oh. Uh, that's old school. Yeah. I didn't have that. I, did, I had the Game Boy camera, though. <laughs> Same here. I had a ColecoVision. <laughs> I had a Commodore. Nice. I want to get a Visual Boy just to see if it will make my eyes bleed. Yeah. Being a Virtual Boy. <laughs> a Visual Boy. I actually have a. Oh, oh maybe no, it's no. called something different. Virtual Boy. We we. No, vi yeah, it's Virtual I've got. Boy. Yeah, I because I own a Virtual Boy. Mm. And they Can are. You uh, still see? They're not fun. Yeah, it. I mean, it's not that it's a problem playing it. It's just playing it for a long period of time. Mm. Because then, like, well, as soon as you take it off, you just feel lightheaded. Oh. Mm. Also, I didn't Apparently have a stand, so you had to, like, lay down with it. Uh, I don't know why you'd want to, but you can order Coca-Cola from J-List. Fair enough. Guess the question would be uh, hey, guys. Yeah? Uh, just so you know, about half an hour, I may have to, like, just leave for a bit just to put some insulation under the house. Shouldn't be too long. Okay. With that, okay, shall we you. shall we begin? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, you guys are taken to the temple. It is this sunken thing. You can tell that basically the, the temple was was built uh, many many you know, centuries ago, <laughs> and uh, it has since sunk deep into the swamp. And only to the top of the temple is now available. Um, and as twenty four. Sixteen. James goes first again for wait, once. Uh, wait, who is twenty-four? Me. Who? Michael. Okay. James. The fast elf little <laughs> thing. Thirteen was. Me. Namaka. All right. Did Shadar go last again? Uh, yeah. uh Chris, what did you get? Ten. Ten. All right. Mr. Smiles. Yeah. Mr. Smiles. What about, uh, face face what about carry on? Again. Huh? Zan, what did you order? Oh, I said 16. Okay. Do we get new portion cards? We do. One, yes, we do. Yay. One second. I don't even know what mine did. It said I don't grant combat advantage, which I don't know what it is. What, what did you get not in the first? Yeah. I don't know what combat advantage is, so I don't know what it did. Like flanking. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. It's not like it mattered. Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch Actually, of... Actually, like, you could have you used that a lot of times because you got attacked while flanked a lot. Yep. Mm -hmm. I got hit once. <laughs> Alright, your fortune cards are dealt. Okay. Let's keep move. I got a decent one. Uh, Chris, advantage. you want me to tell you what your, what yours does? Yes, please. Uh, what did you get? You got... Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. That does... Do, 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 do. I think that means you don't grant uh, an opportunity attack, as far as I know. Full speed ahead. Play when you charge on your turn. You gain combat advantage against the target of the charge attack. Oh, psh. Like a charge. Dependability. When you are an ally, well, actually, skill check. Chris, you could charge. You could, um... You could charge and then just shift away. So you'll do damage, you know. Yeah, but so uh, char charging is still a standard action. Yeah. We get an we get an action point after this as well. So you could charge, shift away, lance effect. I guess. I mean, if I really wanted to use my fortune card that badly. So yeah. Well, once once you use the most fortune card, it, it gets put back into the deck. Well, they all get put back in the deck at the end of the encounter anyway. Yeah. Oh. So, as um, a reminder, at the end of last encounter, you each got 150 expo XP. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brad, did you get it? Did you write it down? Uh, yes. Okay. And um, you each get an action point. 
Yay, action point. Go! Oh, we got an action point now? Oh, yeah, because you since we got that the last uh, thingy was considered an encounter, we get an action point. Yeah. And also, if, you know, Brent just said now that you get 150 experience from that little encounter, if you haven't already added that. 150, did you say? Yep. Yes. Cool, so I'm on... How much do... Five, and six, three, six, and oh, five. And and the temple interior is is dark. You cannot see inside the temple interior unless you were to get closer. Um, like how dark, dark is dark? Because dark. I think all of us have low light vision. Dark, dark. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No torches. No. Yeah. It doesn't have low light vision. Um. Okay. I guess my turn will be first, so I'll use yep. the minor action to do something. Go for it. Um. So uh, I think I have only one light stick left. I don't know. Okay. Um. So. Because I know I used one way back in the first one. I haven't used one mm. since, so... Um, I can I can light up an entire room with no penalty to me, so I would save it. Mm. Does James know that? He should. I've used my light, like, ten mm. times. Several I times. I just okay. figured I needed to remind him. Huh? Well, can you light up a certain area before you're in there? Uh, if I point it forward, I can light up to... Let me give that a quick check... Um, light. Um, I can do up to five or the entire room I'm in. Mm. What, what I'm thinking is I want to throw it in there before you even enter the room. Right. Oh, okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to move here and then use the minor action to throw, throw the sun rod to the middle of the room. All righty. Uh, what you see inside the room is a, it, it's a large stone chamber, mostly empty. There are several antechambers which are covered in spider webs. Um, you also <coughs> notice some movement on the, uh, on the, sorry, on <coughs> the ceiling. Oh, I, I pulled out the wrong thing there. <laughs> I assume those are still... Where are I pull? Oh, yeah. You... This is a baby and spider. And you also see way back in there another one of those guys. Oh, hi, Thor. Hey. Yep. Face. His name should be Face. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. All right. Um, Moving on. Okay. So these guys obviously are not very friendly to us. So I'm just gonna, mm. I'm just gonna twin strike the guy right in front of me. Like, All okay, right. let's do this. All right. I'm not gonna bother trying to talk to critters. Mm. Um, fifteen plus nine plus on nine. both attacks. Uh, that's a hit. Yep. 24. Yay! Um, and then one of these get plus damage, so six damage. Six damage total? Yeah. Okay. Because I didn't have him as my hunter square because ah. I couldn't. Right. Alright. Not the drooling, Chris. Much Sounds to... Uh, are you all used Ooh. up, James? Yeah. Okay. So I move here, 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 and here. And I shall use Wolfpack Tactics, and I move James over here, because he's adjacent to Frank. And with that, I get combat advantage against Frank, and I roll basic attack. Here, okay. 16 plus 2 plus 5 plus 20. Versus AC. Hit. Ah, uh, good. All right, then. Damage. Ten. Oh, what? Thirteen damage. Thirteen damage. All right. Mm -hmm. And let me just do a quick thing now that you guys can see them. Got to do a little initiative thing. Oh, nuts. My nuts. <laughs> um, Nobody likes roasted nuts. 
I got really bored of those guys. Someone goes after me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so since I think James was really the only one he could see in there when he threw mm. the thing in there, um, he uh, he says to Tyrande or yells to him, whichever which. Um, there are some spider webs in there that I think need some burning. Mm. Can do. I smile and wink. Uh, um, actually, because the, the that other editor cabin inside rolled a high initiative, he's gonna get him next, as he was waiting. So uh, he is going to. Well, uh, well, I'm not done yet. My turn. I was gonna make a minor action. Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. So minor action. Frank, nature check. Let's hope it gets high. Thirteen. Thirteen. Um. You know this thing looks weird. Not really enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I then make one free action. Just say, uh, shut up. I'm going to try holding the door and uh, try getting them one by one. Can you try healing me if I fall over? Okay. What? Like, basically, I'm going to try, like, keeping them in so they don't, like, spread out and start flanking you guys. Uh, all like, like, basically. Yeah, exactly. All righty. Where is that? Oh, I think I put it where it belongs. Imagine that. <laughs> so, um, you suddenly see this really icky stuff um, fly out from the... Yeah, from the temple. Totally behind the wall. What the... Uh, oh, come on. So, this, uh, this web is sort of spit out from the inside the, uh, the temple and sticks all over the ground outside the temple. Is the temple a big spider or something? What was that, Dan? I said, is the, te the temple a big spider or something? That's a good question. What was that, Matt? <laughs> Difficult terrain. Um, yes, it is. Yay! Okay. And... I still don't have to worry. One second. Thanks. All right. Um, a... 12 versus James AC. Does that do anything? No. Nope. Okay. And, wow. Well, um, not very good. Well, 18 versus... Um, it should be reflex. 18 versus Karyon's reflex. 18 versus Karyon. Yeah, I'm hit. All right. You are immobilized. Save ends. Uh, You're caught in the web. Mm. Immobilized oh, means you can't know. attack as well, doesn't it? Nope. Immobilized no. just means you are stuck. Right, okay. Why is it that I'm the, always the one that misses getting captured? <laughs> Except by the party lady. That's true. That is very true. Well, that was Will, though, but yeah. Yeah. Good point. Um, then it's going to... Yeah. Come up like this. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, does, it only, does it only hit... James and Carrion? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, you should I, cut me in Shadar uh, in the square. Well, would it only hit no, me? No, you're not. Like, um, that way? Okay. Um, uh, where are you seeing it covering? There are it, the very It looks like it's a uh, six by six. No, it's only five by five. Okay. Um, we're seeing, seeing it... Uh, let me draw a square. This is what we're yeah. seeing it. That's weird. It's only a 5x5 five five block. Why is it showing up? It's showing up as a 5x5 five five block on mine. Well, we know it's 5x5, five five, so we don't have to... That's bizarre. You know. Yeah. Is it a 5x5 block on the top and left? So it shouldn't matter too much. It's actually... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Alright, that's weird. Okay, um, so it will do that, and then it will run up, and it's just... Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll definitely go to carry on with that one. Yeah, because I don't think it can hit a wall. Totally not what I meant to do. Uh, yeah, 23 versus AC? Twenty yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, keep healing me, guys. Mm. I'm going to keep him in. All right. That, is, that will deal a total of six damage, then it makes a secondary attack. Okay. Yeah. Um, 23 versus Fortitude? Hit. All right, then you now have ongoing five poison damage. Save ends. Uh, it basically runs up to you and just sinks its mandibles into your flesh. Nom, 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 nom. Exactly. Nom, 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 nom. All right, so that is the end of its turn, which was the end of Zan's turn, so Brad's up. Okay. Why do we keep um, getting eating things? Eating yeah, things? Yeah. Time to burn. So, uh, 
so scorching burst. Mm. I'm going to put it directly behind Facely and directly above Mr. Smiles. Okay. And that way it'll hit just the two of them. Okay. And that'll be intelligence versus reflex. So 18 versus reflex on Facely. Hit. And for the next one, 20 versus reflex. Hit. And... Nice. Five. Uh, nine damage to both. All right. Mm -hmm. Just check. No, nothing. Nothing there. All right. My turn. Oh, you're right. Done. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Cool. Uh, Frank is my warlock's curse. All right. And hmm. No, I don't want to risk doing that. So I'm going to go with Vampiric Embrace on Frank, channeling mm. through my Hellfire Wand. Okay. Hopefully these guys have got a nice low will. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to step away for just a second. Probably um, not going to matter. Okay. I rolled should, a two. Uh, should be right back. Okay. okay. So screw it, action point. <laughs> okay. And Eldritch Blast on Frank. All right. And I rolled another two. Ah. I'm switching to my grey die now. <laughs> and that's me done. Okay. Well, Frank begins. Um, that's kind of tempting, but I don't think I'm going to do <laughs> that. Um, oh, it can just... Mm -hmm. So, uh, Frank, seeing Facely step into him, does the same thing. Um, rolling. Num, num, num. 17 versus Karyon's AC. Miss. Ah, close. All right. Um, that's that. Then, Mr. Smiles. Actually, does Mr. Smiles have it? No, he does not. Mr. Smiles thinks that's a neat idea. <laughs> but he rolls a three. What? But he rolls a three. Uh, I want to eat him too. No, <laughs> it's mine. Fortunately, um, Chris number two has a similar appeal. Doesn't he go after me? No, oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Um, yeah, edit capture done. Go, Chris. Okay. I would. I would like to do a nature check on Chris number two. Okay. Yikes. Uh, what does a six tell me? <laughs> they have 17 <laughs> legs. Mm -hmm. No, it's a cute bunny. <laughs> that's, it's a that's black market secret leg. Mm -hmm. That's what I did with one of my friends. He, would, he did a perception check on a, on a wolf, so I'm like, you think it's a bunny? Yeah. Because he rolled a natural one. Mm. Yeah, no, uh, yeah it, it's, a, it's a spider. I know it's just one spider. Well, you, you know there are two spiders in the room, and that is one of them. Okay. That's all. That's really what I just wanted to know. <laughs> I wanted to know that they were not a swarm of spiders. Uh, no, they are not. But they are, they are both, you know, like the size of you. Okay, cool. So they're, they're big. <laughs> Fine. Um, I guess I will do Sacred Flame on Frank. Okay. <sighs> I miss. Ah. Action point. Okay. I shall redeem myself. I shall do the same attack on Frank. Okay. I rolled worse. No! Oh. I rolled a two on my nature check, a four on my first attack, and a two on my next attack. Wow. How terrible. One, two, I have another action six, point, six, but I cannot use three, it this turn. Two, four, two. Yeah, I've been rolling too good yeah. this, this encounter. Um, <clears throat> I guess I will use my move action to switch to a minor action and do nature check on uh, Facely. Okay. Well, haven't you already done them? Um, um, oh, oh, gotcha. Sorry. Yep. Go for it. Uh, 16. 16 on Facely. All right. So, you know that um, this is an Ettercat Fangguard. 
It has an HP of 56. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um, its defenses are all in the high teens. Mid to high, high teens. teens. Um, you know it can spider climb, which is kind of scary. Um, it's holding a, a, this, this nasty trident. You, you, you can tell it, it knows how to do. It has this spider bite power. Um, you also know that it's a vicious thing. It, it will get extra um, bonuses when it's attacking one of these immobilized, uh, you know, things. Something that's immobilized. Um, it also can um, um, it can traverse uh, webs without with, with impunity. So, Web walk. Yep. That's what I'm gonna call it. So is it difficult terrain or is it some other kind of terrain? It is difficult terrain. Then I can move around. Correct. So does it have like hands? Uh, yes, technically. I mean, a thing, like a man. So it's well, a spider. Well, not like a, not like man. a man. <laughs> not, not like a man, but it has. Um, um, think that of, was a bad pun. Think of kind of like a a a big um, caterpillar kind of, but with fewer leg segments. What about like okay. the guys from District Nine? I wouldn't yeah. know. Yeah. I, I would the think prawns. Yes. He's a fucking prone. <laughs> All right. Anywho. Okay, that's my turn. All right. The spiders Spider. then proceed to scuttle across the ceiling. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. And leap. Damn. <laughs> Do they have to roll something for that? Nope. Er. Yeah. It's kind of what they do. Uh, they then proceed to chow down on Karyon. Great. Uh, 24 versus AC. Hit. Mm, yeah, no, 12. Not going to work. Yeah. Um, so that, oh, wow. Seven damage and five ongoing poison damage, and the Karyon is slowed. Save ends both. Mm -hmm. And so, wait, five more poison damage now? Well, ongoing five poison damage. So, yeah, yeah, it's already I've, already got, I've already got five. <coughs> All right, then, then just you have the five. <coughs> okay, so just that five Correct. now? Just only, okay. Not ten, just five, yep. Okay. And they're done. Yay. So, up to the other caps. Regular ones. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, oh, turned to the wrong page. Yeah, you can do that. So Frank's going to chow down on Karyon. 22 versus AC. Eh. <laughs> Nat 20. Oh. So that's going to be, uh, oh, ouch, I'm sorry. Um, 18 damage. <laughs> um, it then, yeah, it then has a secondary attack. That's a, yeah, that's going to hit. That's a 23 versus fortitude. Um, you are now yeah. stunned until the end of the other cap's next turn. Mm -hmm. so, so on your turn, you can only take one action. Okay, well, I'm bloodied, and I have four HP left. All right, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, other caps are done. So... Um, um, stunned means oh, you can't take sorry. any actions. I'm sorry. I was. I'm sorry. Erase that. Erase that. It's not the other cap's turn. It is the. It is Faisley's turn. You said that about a lot of different things, like her DS. It was on her DS. Brandon, go. Brent, sorry. when you're stunned, you can't take any actions. Okay. Well, either way, erase that. Uh, okay. It's Faisley's turn, not Frank and Mr. Smiles. I looked at the wrong uh. pog. So, so none of that happened? Correct. Hmm. So Faisley shifts back, but his spear, or his, um, not his, his spear, his trident is long enough that he can stab at Karyon from back there. He's going to do that. And he's going to roll a natural one. <laughs> and so he's going to stab himself with the foot and hop around going, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> so that's him done, and Mike, you're up. Okay, 
totally off topic, but I just mm. found I should not read random supernal I see laying around <laughs> because because it could be words of power and I could unleash something I don't mm, want to. This is true. Good thing I actually read the rules. Yeah. Um, for once. So I'm going to <coughs> I'm going to make this guy Frank. Yeah, he's my Hunter's Quarry. Mm, okay. And twin strike. Go. Is this a D20? Yes. Go. Um. Wow. That that kind of sucked. Mm. Um. Kind of. Um, let me look at this. It'd be an eight, eight, turn on calculator, eight plus nine, um, a 17 and then something above 20, something way above 20. Uh, 17 versus what? AC. Uh, that'll miss. Darn. The one above 20 will hit. Uh, it's like 27. Yeah, that, that, that should hit. Um, and I guess I just attack because I can't think of anything. Mm. Go! Um, well, that was actually really good. Six plus seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. All right, against Frank. Um, and then I want to take my move action into a, the other nature check. All right. Uh, and I want to nature check Chris, too. Mm. Not Chris as in Shaddaa. <laughs> <laughs> Although it'd be, oh, wow, well, that's high. It'd be interesting to nature check a player. It would. Um, twenty-six. That's going to be hit. Hit, <laughs> hit. Yep. <coughs> um, so I'm trying to nature check them to see. Stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. There. Um, there, there, there. AC 56, AC 20. AC 20. Fort 17. We, uh, we are talking about the Chris, right? Yes. The Chris. Uh, 17, Fort. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. I'm in the wrong place. Um, AC 55. What? What? HP. HP. Oh, H HP 55, okay. Yeah. yeah. AC of 20. Mm-hmm. Fort 17. I love AC for a fucking spider. Fort 17. Mm. Reflex 18. Oh, God. <laughs> Will of 16. It can resist poison. It has this bite attack. Um, it can shift six squares and a megabyte attack as part of that attack, um, dealing extra damage and knocking the target prone. Um, it can, as a move action, once per encounter, it can shift ten squares. And it basically is immune to falling damage. Um, okay. And that's all I figure out about it? Yep. Oh, God. That <laughs> is one tough little bugger. Mm -hmm. we, we, I think we need a bigger shoe. <laughs> <laughs> and that would... <coughs> that would probably do it for my turn. All right. Sam. Yeah, I know, but I, apparently it's I'm stunned I can't make any moves. Uh, but can I make, like, saving throws and cast... <laughs> You can make one move when you're stunned, I think. Oh, uh, one you, move? You're not, you're not stunned anymore. You remember you said take that back? Oh, all right, right. Okay, sorry. All right. Um, okay. All right, then. So, so you're not uh, full first, health either. Yeah, I know. I'm at 22. Yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm, uh, I'm going to use my minor action for an inspiring word and uh, mm. inspire myself. Some confidence. <laughs> uh, I'm not surrounded by insects. I'm not surrounded by insects. Doesn't it say one ally? Well, self or ally. Ah. Yeah. Uh, and, okay, so... Alright then. So, 1d6 plus healing surge. 4 plus 8 plus 12. Okay, so... Okay, so 34. Okay, 34. We'll see full health. Great. Cool. Alright then. Also, since I'm probably going to be um, uh, uh, off for a bit, I don't want you guys to stop the game. So basically, I'm giving um, uh, uh, Mike instructions of what to do when I'm uh, gone. It's really basic, just like mm -hmm. giving my health and all that stuff. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Just like, just smack the spires. That's all I want you to do. Just smack them. And uh, you need to, if, if he's going to be controlling you, he needs to know what weapon and what your strength is, what your strength yeah, modifier yeah. is. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. I'm telling him all that. I'm typing it all up on um, uh, Skype. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. So, and uh, I guess now I'll attack um, uh, Frank. Uh, yeah, might as well use um, uh Yeah, that sounds good. 
Yeah, I'm going to use a Warlord, Warlord Strike uh, with the axe. Okay. All right. Uh, ooh, that should be good. Uh, 18 plus 4, so that's 22. Hit. Against AC. AC. Okay, Hit. good. All right, so that's two weapons, so might as well roll. And you're attacking front? Uh, 12 front. damage plus two weapons. What was that? Uh, who are you attacking? Uh, oh, uh, Frank. Okay. Yeah, so that's 24 damage against Frank. Um, mm -hmm. Also, the effect of Warlord Strike. Um, until the end of next turn, all of your allies gain plus two bonus to damage rolls against target. All right. Also, since I have the Inspiring Presence uh, path, uh, bonus to damage rolls equals plus one, one plus Charisma modifier, which is one, so two health if you attack it. All right, Frank is bloodied. The annoying thing about that plus two to damage is neither me or Tirinda or Shadar can hit Frank at the moment. Mm-hmm. Because Chris uh, and Thomas are in the way. Yeah. Well, you could shift. You could, like, because you guys are in the way, you could move uh, and then hit them. Yeah, we'd all have to move to the one same square. Which is, just to show you on game table, we'd all have to be here to hit Frank. I thought you could be, like, uh, I'm using Sh uh, Shadar's temporarily, sorry, man. Like, here. No, in fact, we'd actually have to be here. What, what, mm. right here? Well, yeah, there as well, but, you know, that's, that's two places. Mm. Mm -hmm. right. I'd rather stay where I am. Nice good idea. Okay. Yeah, good, good point. Yeah. All right, Zane, you know? Yeah, but, you know, I'm not. I'm just yeah. explaining that. So, right. yeah. Uh, no worries. Uh, Zane, you're up. Uh, I'm done. I, I can't move some of oh, mobilized. Okay. Okay, uh, so yeah, someone else's turn. Right. So, okay. Um, Don't you have to do a, can't he still do a saving throw, or does that count as an action? Oh, yeah, the right, the poison, you're right. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, do I make a saving roll? Yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> Four. No. 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 Yeah, but okay. I, t I still take the five damage. I forgot to add that in. Okay. So. 21. <sighs> All right, Brad. Okay, I'm going to uh, take just one second. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Yeah, it'll work. I am going to summon my fire warrior. Nice. What? Oh. Um, he has, <clears throat> and I'm, let's see, does it take my standard action away just to summon him? Depends on what the power says. Uh, it uh, just says I can summon him and I can give him these special commands while he's alive. What's the name of the power? Uh, summon Fire Warrior. Alright, one sec. I have all of his stats and everything. I just okay. can't tell whether or not it takes my standard action just to um, summon him. It is a minor action. Okay. Yay. Easton. So, I'm going to use his standard attack on Basely. And that'll be a melee attack. Intelligence versus reflex. Okay. Um, intelligence being... Uh, that's... It's only 15. Mm. Versus reflex. Uh, against an uh, cap? No. Okay. So that was a miss. Um, hey, I wait, wait, wait. Where the heck did Edgar Allan Poe come from? He's my fire warrior. Okay. Didn't know you had a, a poet as a warrior. <laughs> and, um... We'll kill you with dreary poetry. I'll go ahead and... Edgar Allan Poe for Ross Shaw stars. Hmm. I don't think he wrote any poetry. Uh, well, I think he wrote some poetry, but... Once Upon a Midnight Dreary? Yeah. No, I can't remember. The Raven? I'm just guessing, yeah, I can't Raven. remember. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll let him take my move action as well to get a... draw them back a little bit. Oh, uh, okay. Hopefully. And that'll end my turn. All right. So, Normie. Yay. 
Um, Warlock's Curse, The Chris 2. Okay. Um, then Eldritch Blast. Alright. And that's a miss. Zan, did you send me right. the thing? Oh, yeah. Um, I guess I was also kind of, I was kind of keeping it on um, uh, uh, standby for when I do have to leave, but I'll just send it to you now. Okay. Tell me if I need anything else to add. Alright, anything else, Matt? Nope. Nope. Alright. <laughs> then. That's going to be, yeah, uh, 25 versus Karyon's AC. Mm, hit. And 19 versus his AC. Ah, uh, bear hit. Ah, uh, alright. Oh! Um, 18 damage. Then secondary attacks. That's a 1. That's more possible. Um, 19 versus your fortitude. Hit. Okay. Uh, you are... Now you're stunned. Mm. Um, until the end of the next turn. And ongoing five points damage if you don't already have... Yeah. You see, yeah. That's, that's still there. Yeah. Uh, Dan, you have weapon proficiency? Yeah, plus two to axe. Oh. Well, you just said the axe gets plus two because I have, like, mm. uh, a bunch yeah, of other things. Oh, I'm sorry. I take that back. Um, I don't take that back. Um, uh, extra four damage. It deals extra damage against oh. restrained foes. Mobilized foes, rather. Okay. No. So, four, okay. Yeah. What's your own? So, uh, so uh, by the way. Uh, uh, 11 now. Mm. Mm. All right. Uh, help, Ed, please. Header caps are done. So, then it's my on turn? your turn, I would yeah. add five or six, because are you adding your half level there? Um. Oh, with the healing surges or the, oh, the attacks? No, the attacks. Yeah, I, I didn't add that yet. So, yeah, plus one. Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay. Look at that a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to start out using my daily power shield of faith. Ah, nice. So wait, one, two, three. Okay, yeah, we're all, we're all affected. So each of us gets plus two AC for this. Hmm. What was that? Sorry. All of us get plus two AC for the rest of the, enc uh, the encounter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to use minor action healing word on carry on. Hmm. <laughs> so he gets uh, 8 plus his healing surge. Cool. I'm going to use a my other action point to uh, do um, Sacred Flame on the Chris number 2. Alright. Uh, 18 on Reflex. I think that is exactly hit. his Reflex. You hit. Yes. Excellent. So he takes uh, seven radiant damage, yep. and I'm going to give Zan my uh, my saving throw, hmm. so he can get the poison off. Yay! Hmm. Okay, so let's roll it. Twelve. All right. There we Sweet. go. Yeah. Well done. And, and then I'm going to. Uh, would it be a, a nature check or a uh, perception check to find out the effects of me? Sorry, say again, you broke up. Uh, would it be a nature check or a perception check to know the effects of me entering the spider web? No, you already know. It's uh, difficult terrain. That, that's all it is? Yeah. Okay. Um, then I guess I will just do a... Who do we not know much about? I guess nature check on Frank. Hmm. I don't know if we know much about him. Uh, 16. Alright. I've already gone through this, haven't I? I know you've, you've gone, gone through the Chris. Okay. Yeah. Alright, um, enter cap. HP of 56. AC of 20. Fort, reflex, and will are 17, 16, 15. Okay. Um... 17, 15, 16? 17, 16, 15. Oh, 16, 15, sorry. Okay. That's a problem. Um, it has this trident thing. Um, it has this um, bite attack, which deals poison damage, which you're, well, you seem to be, uh, you know, you're, you're seeing it happen right in front of your eyes. Um, it has the ability to immobilize things. It can sort of, uh, you know, 
essentially uh, use its spider webs to immobilize things that are, that, uh, um, uh, are close to it. Um, it does this extra damage and it's actually bonus to attack rolls, actually, against immobilized creatures. Uh, and it can move across spider webs with no problem. Okay, my block. That's yeah. my turn. Okay. Then these spiders go. And the spider. Are they, are they called fang guards or are they called edder cats? They're called edder, edder cat fang guards. Oh. Actually. Fancy. Yeah. So, they're just going to try to take down Kai on there. They are not very nice. No, they're not. Um, 19 versus AC. No, because no, of the plus 2 AC bonus. All right. Um, and then, you yeah, know, 13 versus AC. And it cannot do that, so that's fine. Um... Actually, they might want to. No, it's fine. I think I think they're okay. Uh, okay, so the spiders are done. So now Facely does something. Facely. Guess what? He stabs a target. Ha! <laughs> Twenty-one versus AC. I believe that is just on. Yeah. Okay. Um, did Xanari leave? Sounds like it. No, not yet. Oh. Uh, oh. So well, I'm speaking for you then. <laughs> uh, so does 21 uh, versus AC hit you? 21 is exactly on his AC. All right. Then... Uh, that trident deals a total of 10 damage. Ow. Yeah. I just gave you that, man. Yeah. They're just they're just slicing and dicing. Wouldn't it be more poking and prodding? True. <laughs> and he's done. I think. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, you know what he's gonna do? Because he's just that kind of a guy. And uh, yeah, he can technically see James. He's going to roll. Uh, uh, mm, uh, 20 versus reflex on James. Uh, that would hit. Are you sure you can attack through the wall? Because yep. um, when I was reading in the thing, you can't go around corners when there's a wall there. You can't move around corners, but you can okay. attack. You know, it, 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 as long as there's a line between the two, um, okay. that can work. Um, and in fact, that's a good, just, just to ensure he can, he'll ship down there. Uh, good point. And um, so, uh, actually, all that does is you are now restrained. Save ends. What's restrained? It's, uh, well, let me get the rolls. Restrained, grant, combat advantage, minus two to attack rolls. Um, can't move. And then there's something else. Restrained, while the creature is restrained, it can't move unless it teleports. It can't be pulled, pushed, or slid. It also takes a minus two penalty to attack rolls, and it grants combat advantage. There we go. Yeah. So they get an extra plus two when they're attacking you. Damn. Yeah. Well, no, I think it's that he gets a minus two when he attacks. I know, but the combat yeah. advantage I'm in. Oh, right. Yeah. So, yeah, so it goes both ways. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so he is done. So go for it, Mike. Hmm. Is there any way I can break this before my turn and then move? No. Darn. Mm. You're getting combat advantage against Frank anyway, so... I know. There's something else I wanted to do, but I can't do it now because I can't move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stupid thing. Messing up my plans. So. Yep. <laughs> Frank is already my lovely... Underscore. Go attack. Okay, so I have to minus two from this, which would make mm -hmm. them both 20. Well, you don't have to minus two because you're already granting combat advantage, so it's basically no, like you're doing a normal attack. But the combat advantage only they attack him. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got he's flanking him, so he gets oh. a plus two, so that cancels out the minus two. Then yeah. Okay. Both of them are uh, twenty-one minimum. Twenty-one minimum. That's gonna hit. Uh, okay, cool. This is against, and this is, this is against Frank, right? Yeah. Okay. This Frank needs to die. Mm. I would have tried to attack all of them, but yeah. kind of can't now, and my dice fly everywhere. And mm. holy shit. Um. Let me do the math on this. 
That would be 24 damage. Frank goes down screaming. Yeah. Out of my way. Splat. Great! <laughs> I told you we needed a bigger shoe. <laughs> All right, anything else? Um, I will... Can I do, like, a perception check on the room to see if, like, anything in the room? I'm not sure. You can certainly do a perception check on the room, yes. Yeah. Uh, someone's breathing in yeah. there. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a, a big echo. It's Zan. <laughs> okay. Okay, so roll a perception check, which I am lovely at, and roll a, um, that's a t t uh, 29, no, 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 25. Okay. Um, are you looking for anything in particular? Um, I'm mostly looking to, like, uh, a anything that is bad for us in there, <laughs> like, like a web shooter or the webs that are somewhere else in the corners or more spiders or eggs. <laughs> yeah. Um, eggs aren't friendly. Uh, you, do, you do notice over there in, in the left, that sort of crosshatch, there is a, um, uh, basically, a stairway going down. So you know, you see that. But basically, actually, this would probably be the easiest way of showing it. Um, this whole side of the room is all covered in spider webs. Uh, so the, the left half. And um, beyond that, you you, you know you, you don't see anything else moving in there. I don't see any like eggs or anything. Nope. Mm. There could be some way back, like, in the back of that, but it's so far away. I mean, that's, like, 15 squares. Mm. You, know, you, 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 can't, you can't tell without go, going closer. Okay. Well, then I guess I just end my turn because there's nothing more I can do. All right. Mm. You... So is it my turn? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. So this will probably be the last move that I make, but I'm going to make it worth it for... Right. Uh, Car on safety. So what I'll do is uh, first I'll attack, and I'm going to invoke Bastion of Defense on Thomas. Okay. All right then. All right then. That's pretty good. Eighteen plus two plus three. Wait, no. Oh no, I don't have that. Okay, so two plus one. So twenty-one versus AC. Hit. Excellent. All right then. So now I'll roll for damage with the axe. Seven times three. So, 21 damage against Thomas. All right. And for the Master Stroke, Bastion Defense's ability, uh, basically, um, uh, all right. oh, and also plus three of that, so 24. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so allies within five squares of you gain a plus one to all defenses until encounters end. Nice. Yeah, so that'll Lovely. definitely even up Karin even further. <laughs> yeah, so calculate that down. Can you do the math for that, uh, James, or do you want me to? Um, I can probably do it. Just plus one to everything, right? Yeah. <laughs> Here, uh, what else can I do? Um, oh, also, James, can you try moving so we can, like, cork in um, uh, Mr. Smiles and Faisley with Edgar Allan Poe? He's restrained. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, wait, yeah. Is that a save ends on my turn? Is his yes, turn? No, it's a save ends on... Well, I, I, thank you for asking. Oh, yeah, because I only do one move. Right. Um, okay, then... Because I don't so know whether um, it, he ends it save on ends, his turn. Save ends on your turn. Oh, okay. So roll for that. Um, does oh, 11 right. save ends? Yep. yep. Awesome, so I'm not restrained. Correct. Okay. Uh, all right, and so uh, do I, is there anything else I need to do? For what? Like, mm. uh, am I restrained so I can make one move? You are, um, let's see here. Well, let's see. When you've been attacked and been poisoned... Mm -hmm. um, poison again? No, hold on. Um, I was saying when you were attacked and you were poisoned, uh, I just want to see, I, I know you were immobilized, but I want to see when that immobilization ended. Um, yeah, Dan, it's a standard action total defense. Okay. Just checking. But yes, um, uh, Karyon, you should have been rolling to save ends on the immobilization. Okay, so I'll do that now. Okay. 16. All right, cool. You're no longer mobilized. 
All right, then. All right. And Brad. Okay, yep. So, I'll, James, I'll leave everything in your hands. Make sure the spiders don't get out and attack our mages. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, um, and I will see you guys later. All right. Bye-bye. Um, quick question. If I do a fire-based attack on Thomas and the Chris 2, and it's a burst of one, so I would do it right in front of the Chris 2, would that burn down the web or anything? Probably not. It is now terrain. Oh, okay. I will do that anyway, so that'll be two attacks. Um, Good thing, though. <laughs> As I said, fire. Yeah. <laughs> um, 24 versus reflex on wow. the Chris 2. All right. Um, that will do it. And actually, you know what? I like that idea enough. Yes, that burns it out. Okay, um, and sorry about that. It was 20, not 24. Oh, 20? Yes, versus reflex. Versus reflex for the spiders. Oh. That still hits, just barely. All right, and then I'll do it for Thomas now. And this one actually is 24. That was okay. not 20. There we go. All right. And damage. Uh, for Thomas, that was a critical, so mm -hmm. um, tw uh, 16 damage for Thomas. All right. I'm sorry, that was wrong. That was nine damage for Thomas. Okay. And nine damage for Chris, too. Oh, nice. Max out on both of them, huh? Yep. And my math sucks. That was ten on both of them. Oh, Whoa. my God. Oh, all right. Hold on. Lovely. Um. <laughs> all right. Um... Can't do a simple six plus four. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. We've all been there. All right, you done? Um. Yes. All right. Matarooni. Yeah. Channel Eldritch Blast through the Hellfire Wand at Chris two. Okay. That's a five, so I miss. That's the end of my turn. Mm. Ah. Dang it. <laughs> Um... Get to the point, sir. <laughs> All right. So, Mr. Smiles is a little concerned now. That said... He's going to go ahead and roll a five. <laughs> he's concerned. Roll a five. Yeah. Roll a five for concernness. Um... <laughs> that's not going to do anything. Didn't we all roll, like, 19s and 20s for pissing our pants check at that? No? That's true. That is true. Uh, so yes, Mr. Smiles doesn't do anything significant, and so it's Chris's turn. Okay. Uh, I'd like to use... Uh, let's try Cause Fear on the Chris number two. Okay. I'm going to make a spider scared. And I probably didn't hit it with the 13 versus, I think, Will. Yes, no. Oh, I'm sorry. What, what was that? I think 13 versus Will. Uh, on who? The Chris number two. So Spider? Yeah. Um, Six, yes. 16 versus Will. No, 13. 13 versus, versus Will. Will. Miss. Okay. Um, sorry, no one needs healing, right? Sorry, I'm spaced out there. Uh, Carrion probably can use it. Let me go look at his thing. Mm. Um, Carrion is... Uh, he took, like, 11 damage the last turn, right? I don't remember. Uh, that was not up to me to record. Oh. Well, last I, last I have him as 27 health out of 35. Hmm. Um, okay. That's the last I have, so that's what I'm going to go by. Alrighty then. So then no, I don't think so. No. Well, uh, I would put it at, like, 17 just to be safe, because I'm pretty sure he did take a good bit of damage last turn. Mm. Okay, so he's at 17, which means he's bloody. Uh, um, I suppose I could spare a healing word on him. Okay. Yes, I'll do that. No, D6. Uh, 8 plus his healing surge. Mm. Okay. That's what he gets back. He is now up to 34 health. Sweet. Um, I guess that's my turn. All right. 
So, uh, the Spiders are going to go for a 17 versus Karyon's AC? No. No. All right. That's going to hit 23. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, that is 8 damage and 5 okay. ongoing poison. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I write everything down. Okay. No, um, that's cool. So, awesome. Uh, and the spiders are done. They're just going to sit there wailing away at Karyon for a while. He's tasty. Yep. Uh, that would be facely. No, wait. Oh, you're right. Thank you for reminding me. Um, He's going to poke at me again. I don't know. Project my voice through poke. Come and get me, you bastard. <laughs> are you still, uh, James, are you still restrained? No. Okay. Um, then Please don't stay me in. He'll try. Uh, yeah. 14 versus the reflex. Aha! Uh -huh, it missed! Ah. <laughs> Just barely. All right, and he stabby stabs... Rolling twelve. <laughs> I think not. I don't know if that could hit anyone. Yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Alrighty. Um. Then he completely failed on his turn. So, <laughs> Mike, go for it. Okay. So I want to shift. Um. Here. All right. Um. So that web in the back is is it possible for because you know I have the adventurers thingy the adventurers kit so I mean they probably have flint and steel mm -hmm. which means I could like light a stick on fire and throw it in there could I catch that web on fire if I did that you could certainly try I can try then I will um for would that be a minor action right yeah standard mmm yeah, standard that, that's a it, it takes a significant amount of time to pull all that out strike it wait for it to light and then throw it okay um then I. I uh, I think I will try that anyways. All right. Uh, that's going to be a, uh, an athletics check to throw it. I'm good at those. Yep. Holy crap, I'm good at those. Um, <laughs> 29. Hmm. That was a nat 20 um, roll. All right. I, I just don't trust that thing. Um... <laughs> Um, yeah, so this, this flaming stick goes flying through the air, um, hits the web, and the web uh, starts on fire. Um, nice. Since it's on fire, there's light back there. Can I see anything back there? There are tiny little eggs. Oh, thank God. <laughs> they will burn away, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Or they're going to hatch, and they're going to they're gonna hatch and go, hey, what's this? Oh, my God, it burns. <laughs> oh, my God, it burns. But there's lunch! Quick, lunch! Run! <laughs> Run through the fire, lunch. Um, okay, and <coughs> um, I guess that's really all I can do my turn, so I'll end it. Alrighty. Then I guess it's up to you, Zan. Okay, then Zan just does what he does and hits Mr. Smiles. <laughs> it takes um, five damage at the start of his turn. Yeah, five damage. Yeah. Um, Did he want to attack the spiders? Uh, I don't know. Right. It was it was spi he said he said spiders but mm. we're fi everything we're fighting is a spider thing. True. Um. It looks like the other two got those spiders good, especially since they're gnawing on him anyways. Mm. Um. What is that? Twenty nine k. Um. So I think I just like completely missed with an eleven. Ooh. Um. Yes. Don't miss. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a complete mess, and that's all, right. all I think that you can do. All right, roll for save ends on the poison. Yep. Go, save ends. Wow, I suck. Ah, uh, all right. Seven. Still poison. My turn. Mm. Um, what about put that dice in the corner? <laughs> I'm going to try burning the spiders again. Oh. <laughs> Fire is the solution to the world's problems. <laughs> and Fire and beer. 14 versus reflex would be a miss. Uh, against the spiders, yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Six versus. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a no. All right. Um, Ouch. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to then use my move action to bring him right there. All right. Very good. 
All right, then that's that. Um, actually, do you want to move him so that he's opposite James and Mr. Smiles for flanking? Um, like this? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. May up. Exactly the same as every <laughs> last turn I've ever had. <laughs> Yeah. And once again, I will miss. Ah, roll that again. Uh, thank you. And I will miss again. <laughs> what did you roll? What? What did you roll? I, I rolled a five. That was a fifteen. Imagine that. Yay. Um. So that's a D ten and a D six. Mm. That is. Do, 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 do. I had my constitution on if I die. So that's... I'm really bad at math. 12 damage. 12 damage against? Uh, the Chris 2. Alright. They're coming for me! Run! Bomber! Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of airplanes to fly over here. Mm. Right. It's Hawaii, why are there airplanes? <laughs> we have like seven airfields on the island. Yeah. Ah. You know, it's, you know... Easiest way of hopping islands, or fastest. Alright, so... Time for Mr. Smiles to get his banging in. Oh, that was that was a terrible phrase. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I shouldn't have said that at all. Okay. <laughs> whacking in, I guess. No, even worse! Oh, gosh. Just go with attacking. Attack. Oh! Oh, wait. No. It's even worse now. Um, fortunately, his bite is only a 12 versus Karyon's AC. <laughs> so that will not work. So, Chris. Okay, um, I'd like to do a, a skill check. Mm. I believe it would be a heal skill check. <coughs> mm -hmm. um, I want to look around the area at the plants mm -hmm. and, and wonder if I can notice any herbs that might be able to be mixed in some, just some, uh, into some kind of repellent for bugs. Interesting. Hmm. Um, what kind of repellent are you thinking of? I mean, it ain't going to be off. Something, something that would be hazardous to insects, whatever that hazard may be. Like, um, I know they're, you know, technically resistant to poison, but something that would be poisonous to them. Like, like, bu like, like bug spray would be, in, in a sense. Roll a heal. Okay. I get a 23. 23. Um... Yes, the, the, well, yes, but way away from here. I mean, they're not anywhere near anything that's going to be poisonous to them. Um, but if you were to go, let's say, um, down to that green swampy area at the, at the, uh, um, to the south, and, okay. and pull some of the liquid out of that, you get a sense that that would probably be unpleasant for the creatures. Okay. Okay, um, well then, I will move down there. Uh, I'm wondering which is, can I move into this square and not be in it, or would I be in this square? Um, you, can be, you can be in the one below, that's fine. Uh, this one? Yeah. Uh, one, two. Okay, I'm safely, all right, and then yeah. what type of action would it be to just pull out? With like a bottle or something? Would it be a free action, or would it be a minor? Minor. Gender? Minor? Yeah. Um, I suppose I'll do that. I will pull out the plants All right. that are in there. Right. And uh, since I was a minor, move up minor, then yeah. that's my turn. All right. Yeah, you, you, you get a handful of kind of, or two handfuls, of sort of sopping wet leaves and vines and things, and, and you know, sort of like a seaweed type thing. And, uh, and you, you're sort of extracting the stuff that would be needed for that. So that should be ready by uh, your next turn. Okay. All right. Good thinking. Spiders! Spiders! Spider. And... Karyon just doesn't want to go down. So... They, are they all attack, attack James. <laughs> they all attack James, actually. Oh, wow. Yay! For once, monsters aren't racist. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have not been attacked once this battle. 11 versus AC? Nope. Uh, 20 versus AC? Just. Dead. All right. What, did, what does dust mean? Just. Just, okay. Just. All right. Ten damage, ongoing five, poison damage, and slowed. That was painful. Mm. 
Um, resistance, saving throw mods. Current, oh, current conditions. Okay. Alright, spiders are done. Facely. I want to do something interesting with Facely. Um, so... He should try to bite the fire of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kept forgetting to, to roll for that. Ah, good. It just recharges. Splat. God! Ah. Yeah. Alright, so we get to see if you are entangled. Uh, you, no. 12 versus reflex. Ha! Um, on Karyon, that's gonna be a... Nah, 15 versus a reflex. You gotta be higher than that. Um, yes? Wait, 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 where is it? Yeah, no, his reflex is 15 exactly. Oh, so he's, he is immobilized. Ah! Yeah. Why is everything bad happening to him? <laughs> Indeed. So that's just, that. that is that standard action. Um, everything else is minor. He could still, I think he's going to try to restrain James again. Uh, he, yeah. Uh, 29. No, never. <laughs> so James is restrained. All right. He's done. So now, Mike. Gersh. Okay, so I'm going to use... An encounter power, um, dire wolf range strike, mm -hmm. which hits every enemy in a burst, uh, in a close burst of one that I can see. Oh, nice. Um, and it won't hit Karyon because he's not an enemy. Mm -hmm. I hope. Um, so I'm going after uh, Chris first. Alright. <laughs> um, okay, so that's a. What do I do to this? My first level effect. Um, that would be a 21. Hit. AC. Yep, hit. Um, then it would be... Uh, yeah, uh, 19 versus AC on Thomas. Miss. Curses. Um, and then it would be... A, um, do I gain combat advantage with Mr. Smiles? Yes. Okay, then, eight, then a 20. Alright, that hits. Um, so that means I, I hit Mr. Smiles and what's his name, right? Yeah, uh, Chris. Chris, yeah. That, that that kind of sucked. Oh, wait, no. It sucked on one of them. I did four damage to one of them. All right. But since Chris was already my hunter's quarry, um, since, like, two rounds ago, uh, that was six plus seven, which I don't know what it is. Thirteen. On Chris, two? Yeah. Chris, two. Uh, that bloodies um, him. And I also need to take my poison damage and save throw that. 22? 23? I don't know. 22. Um, <coughs> oh. Yeah, I don't think of any minor actions that I can do, so yeah. go saving throw. 12. Does that get rid of my poison? That gets rid of the poison. Hey, I'm no longer poisoned. Yeah. Um, you also need to do another saving throw for the restraint. Oh, yeah, I'm restrained. Yeah. I, I forgot because I wasn't planning on moving. Um, four. Ah, okay. Go restrained. I'm like, I must suck the poison out, but I can't move now. <laughs> All right, and now Karyon. Okay, Karyon, he will... I'm, I'm going to have him attack Thomas because he told me that he gets plus one against mm. um, whatchamacallums. Um, does Immobilize do anything to his attacks? Nope. Okay, cool. Was Karyon poisoned? Um, yes. Yeah. So. Okay, so he's, he's um, at 16 HP. Could be. Okay. And he's bloodied. I wouldn't say that because he was at 29 and then he took 5 to 24, so he'd be at 19. He w He took, uh, he was at 34 when I healed him. Then he yeah. took 8. And then he took 5 from a poison, so we'll put him down to 21. And he took 5 from just now to put him down to 16. Huh. Okay. Uh, I'm not Oh, Jesus. That did not just happen. Um, so, yeah, he's going to... So, that was a 17 plus 6. 
Alright, that hits. And he does like a D12 of damage. Right. Like that. Um, let me go check Skype to make sure I'm getting all of this right. Mm. Um, his D12 for damage, yep. So, hit it. D11. Alright. Plus his um, strength. Uh, I don't know if you had a strength. Yep. Oh, no, no, not, not for damage. Unless it says so. I don't know. Right. Don't you normally just add with a, the modifier? Not for damage that I know of. Yeah, I mean, not. usually it's like something plus. Oh, something yeah, much. you get, um, like, like for my sword, I get 1d8 plus 4 because I have a 4 ability modifier. Okay. So that means he did, uh, instead of 11, he did, uh, 14. Alright. I, I just don't normally add that plus 4 because I don't do that with my. Twin strike. Oh, oh, dang it. And that was against, uh... Thomas. 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 I wrote on the wrong one. Uh, Alright. Thomas is down. Um, and then I guess start rolling for saving. Yeah. I swear to God. Um, okay, so this dice is going in the corner. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he is not saved from poison. Okay. Um, and he's going to die soon. Roll again for immobilized. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna do that right. with a different one. Yeah, that that one got about ten. Okay. Karan's poison diluted. All right, Brad. Okay. Um, first I'm going to do a basic attack <laughs> with Pearl. So, let's see. Uh. Four, 14 versus reflux. On whom? Uh, uh, basically. What, shouldn't it be on smiles for the flank? Oh, sorry, smiles. I put my mouse over the wrong one. So a total of how much? That would be 14 versus reflex. Miss. Is that adding the camp combat advantage? Okay, uh, I'm going to use my action point then. And I'm going to just go back to trying to burn these things. All right. Uh, so that would be scorching burst on the <laughs> Chris and the web. Mm. So that would be 19 versus reflex. All right, that hits the spider. Okay. And damage for the spider will be six. And um, since it's basically a burst, it's going it's going to hit the. All right, skip a space where carry on standing, going straight towards me. Okay. And that's where it was targeted, so it right. <laughs> lands in the web and bursts at the spider. Okay. Gotcha. So six damage on the spider, and then whatever happens to the web. Alright. Okay, enough. Um, has the web in the back been fully burned out yet? Not yet. Er. And uh yeah, that'll end my turn. Alright. I'm not looking forward to that, but Not me. Can I see fiercely from here? By yeah. as in actually hit him with an attack. Uh you can see him, but Mr. Smiles is in the way. As is, the, as is the spider. Alright, yeah. Um, okay. Then, Channel Eldritch Blast on the Chris 2. Alright. What happened to the other spider? That was a miss. He was killed. Oh, uh, cool. Another miss? Yeah, I'm rolling really bad. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it sucks. Put I'm your sorry. dice in the corner. Yeah. My dice apparently loves me but hates Dan. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the end of my turn. Alright. Oh, hi, Mr. Smiles. Alright. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, 26 versus AC, I think it's going to hit. Again, James. So that's going to do... Is he biting me? Yeah, he is. Um, okay, uh, um... Then I want to say, hey, bro, dude, I don't swing that way. <laughs> Do you like sparkly vampires? <laughs> so that does eight damage. Ouch. 
And uh, ongoing five poison damage save ends. Again. Yeah. I think both me and what's his name, Karyon, need mm. heals bad. Yeah, indeed. And then that's him. So Chris, All right, I, I totally blended. Check something really quick. Mm. Um, with running, I'm trying to find the um, effects of that. <sighs> um, if I recall correctly, running basically consumes your standard action as an extra six squares of movement. Um, where did I put the, the rules? I threw right. them away. Oh, there they are. Uh, it's a move action. Uh, plus, uh, move up to your speed plus two. For example, if your speed is normally six, you can move up to eight squares when you run. Uh, you have a minus five penalty to attack rolls until the start of your next turn. Yeah. As soon as you begin running, you grant combat advantage to all enemies until the start of your next turn. And you'll provoke opportunity attacks against you. There we go. All right. I was wondering, because I can't really reach Zan to use a heal on him. Yeah. Um, so, so I've got this, I've got this, you know, slimy plant in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, do I need to throw it at the enemy, or do I need to be adjacent and put it on the enemy? Um, you can try to throw it, but there's a good chance it'll miss. So if I'm adjacent to the enemy, then... Then, then you can just apply A giant spider. How okay, so... Missed? One, two, three, four, five. And right. what what kind of action would it be to to kind of shove it under um, on spider? That sounds to me like a minor action. Um, okay. And I um, let's do a spider. dexterity. Dex, uh, so D twenty plus dex. Yeah. Oh, not twenty. Oh. Oh. Nice. You kind of shove it in its mouth. <laughs> Works its tiny little mouth. Yes. Well, it's big enough to bite. Yeah, it's we'll true. Pretty big. All right. Um, yeah, you, you, you stuff its mouth full of this hideous green ooze, uh, sort of plant ooze, and it starts to hack and cough, um, and like put a handkerchief to its mouth. And cough. <laughs> All right, and that does some damage to it. That's right. Not quite enough to kill it, but it's getting there. Okay. And it's got some ongoing damage as well. Okay. Then I guess I will do a, just because I don't want to provoke a conversation attack, I'll just do a standard, you know, basic attack on it. All right. Yikes. A nine versus AC. No, uh, eleven versus AC. No. Probably <laughs> miss. No. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, that's my turn. All right. Uh, spider unhappy. Spider sick. But spider still chopping on James. <laughs> so sixteen versus AC. Ah, I missed. Ah, nice. Actually, I'm sorry. Eighteen versus AC because it's flanking. Still missed. Still missed. All right. Good. Alrighty, then spider's done. Facely. Roll the two. <laughs> and decides you guys are pretty well stuck there, but he's going to actually attempt. He points at Shada. Oh, so um, hi. 19 versus reflex. Definite hit. Shada is restrained. Save ends. How does he do that? Yeah. Is he like shooting little webs at us? Pretty much, yeah. Ah. Uh, I should like light myself on fire. <laughs> the face is fire done. fixes everything. Yep, face is done. Um. So whose turn is it? Y'all's. Uh, yep. Oh, okay, cool. Um. Oh, I didn't realize that. Um, so I just take five damage. Right. And I'm at nine health. Mm hmm You should totally use your second wind. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> um Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna do that and use All my right. second wind. Alright. And um that will be that and hmm. I'm going to use an action point um, to, what am I going to use this for? Uh, to just uh, to attack. Um, attack whom? 
uh, smiles. Right. Smileys. I'm trying to think if I have anything actually good other than Twin Strike. Mm. And I don't. Tire Wolverine Strike is okay, but still. Mm. So, as a minor action, he will become my Hunter's Quarry. Okay. And that is not... Yeah, that's... No, that's, that's, that's a 12. Stupid dice. Um, so, one of them is a... Uh, I get minus two, right? Yep. Ooh, okay. Uh, 12 plus 9. 21. 21 hits. Another one's 22 then. All right. And so, uh, comes the slaughter. Mm. Because Unlikely. Because rolling. Uh, wow. That was really fail. Um, 3, 3, 2, 5. So it's like 13 or something. 13? Mm. Three, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Wow, that, that was a good guess. Nice. <coughs> it's more than I can do for my maximum damage for anything. Mm. <laughs> All right. I love how I consider 13 bad. Um, <laughs> so, I'm, um, Karyon is going to attack Chris. Right. Um, wait, no, I have to roll my save ends for poison. He takes my poison save. damage. Yeah, he I already took that. poison damage. Well, him too. He, yeah, he's at him. 11. So I just uh, eight for poison and right. seventeen for restrain. All right. Um. So then, he, yeah, he's going to be at where's my thing? He is at eleven health, and I, I, I just remembered he told me that he can he can do aspiring words on himself. Mm -hmm. So as a minor action, so I'm gonna do that. So that way he doesn't die his next turn, because God God knows I'm not going to roll a. Uh, a higher than a 10 for his poison. Mm. Um, so it's a d6 plus his surge value. Yes. Um, that would be a 5 plus 9. Okay, so 14 back, and that meets him at 25 health. Yes. So he is now at 25 health. Now he will attack Chris. Um, he's already used Inspiring Word, hasn't he? Huh? He can no? use it twice. Uh, I know Shada. I think Shada used it, but not him. I've used healing words. I've already used oh. both my healing words. Okay. And he used um, I, word I believe that it's okay. similar to healing word where you can use it twice. I don't know. Correct. Yes. Okay, that means yeah. that's his last one. Yeah. Um, right. So let's see if my dice like him any better this time. Mm. E no. A four. Fair enough. All right, Brad. All right. Um. Uh, Goodness, uh, I'm gonna try chill strike actually. Mm. Good so, work. Um, Facely and Mr. Smiles have not taken much damage so far. Uh, all right. Uh, can I hit? Chris. Mm. Which one's doing the poisoning? All of them. All of, okay. But I think it would probably be better to get, eliminate as many enemies as possible. Um, so yeah, I need to saving for his poison. Yes. Oh, good. Okay. For once, my dice doesn't hate him. <laughs> oh, and uh, um, just before I do this, I want to ask two questions for future reference. Okay. Um, is, would it be okay after we finish this encounter to camp here for extended rest? Um, <laughs> is that safe at all? That's a very good question. Uh, I guess I'll have to look into that after yeah. we're done. And the um, other question was, um, I read about preparing spells, mm -hmm. not preparing them for the day, but readying spells. Yeah. So, like, as we're going down the stairs, if I had Magic Missile readied when the next encounter started, could I just cast it right away? Essentially, yeah. Okay. All right, in that case, I'm going to use Chill Strike on... Can I hit Mr. Smiles? Here. More. Um, no, you have to go through the others. You have to go through uh, Chris too. Okay. Yeah, I'll just finish off the Chris, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, to chill strike. Okay. So, ooh, goody goody. Uh, Twenty-two versus fortitude. That's gonna hit. Sweet. So. Ah, there it is. Um, so that's mm. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, at 16 damage, and the target is dazed until the end of my next turn. Wow. Um, he's not dazed. He's dead. Woo! He's dead. Dave, he's dead, brother. <laughs> and that'll end my turn. All right. Can I hit Fancy from here now that Chris is dead? Um, if you shift uh, right now, Mr. Smiles is technically in the way, but you can certainly shift down one. Okay, then I'll do that. All right. Um. Warlock's Curse Fiercely, yep. since the gods of d d don't like me using the same attack again over and over, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to go with Fiery Bolt, since it's almost the end of the encounter, anyway. Alright. Um, and that's a 19. Nice. My 4, so that's finally a 23. That will do very well. Um, so that is 4d6 on Fiercely, but then there's extra damage, but I'll do that. Mm. Extra damage against adjacent targets, but I'll do that after. Mm. So that's a four plus that's six, seven, uh, I'm really bad at math. Twelve, then I'd make constitution modifier, makes it fifty fifteen damage on facelift. Alright. And then is Edgar Allan Poe immune to fire damage? Uh He's a fire warrior, but I don't think it says. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't think he is unless it says specifically. Yeah, I'm checking. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Uh, medium fire warrior, power to speed of fly. Um, oh, it doesn't, doesn't care if he kills it. Nope. No, but, well, that's why I did it, but... <laughs> no, th th you know, there's, there's no resistance or anything. Of yeah. Yeah. He's just a fire warrior. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll roll Mr. Smile's damage first. All right. Um, that is three, then add six, then add. So that's nine damage on Mr. Smile's. All right. And then... Oh, well, that's lucky. Um, I'm really bad at... Uh, seven damage on Edgar Allan Poe. Okay. That's minimum damage. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So that will be the end of my turn. And Mr. Smiles rolls a one to attack James. I love you too. So he spins around and doesn't attack anything. And whoop, whoop. So that's He's a splash attack. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the end of the Edercap's turn. Does splash, does splash attack actually do anything in Pokemon? No. Is it ever it useful? No. Nope. Wow. Well, if you want a Pokemon that doesn't do anything, it's useful. Mm. Alright, so my turn? Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to shift here and use a heal check on Carry On. Mm. I have less health than him, actually. <laughs> oh, right. I meant. Okay, then you. I'll use on you. <laughs> I, I forgot that Carry On uses Fire Yeah, I'll heal you. So, you use your second win. Wait, didn't you already use Yeah, I used second, second win. Yeah. So then I can't do it. So, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, can, I don't have anything to heal you except with, like, temporary points after I hit an attack. Mm -hmm. So, you're kind of SOL. <laughs> uh, what do I have? I can do my best to defend you by messing another dude up. So, I'm going to use my encounter power command on Mr. Smiles. Mm hmm you know, I should use and grab a, a potion from my pocket and force it into my mouth or something. <laughs> Wait, do it? I do have one potion. Yeah. I could give it to you as a minor action. Um, I have a potion, too. Okay. Well, we'll give you another one. Awesome. I need, I need to see what this attack is against. Mm. Uh, it is against... So, uh, 18 versus Will on Mr. Smiles. Will on the other tap. Um, hit. Yes. All right. So... He's dazed, and I am knocking him prone. Ah. So he, well, pretty much all I can do is get up during his next turn. Yeah. Cool. Um, and then, yeah, as a minor action, I will hand James a, an additional potion. Mm. Or can I do, like, a uh, like two minor actions to shove it down his mouth? 
<laughs> we all do have like three potions. Oh, yes. Oh, right over there. I, will, I guess I'll just give him the potion then. Yeah. That works. And that's my turn. Alright. Spiders are dead. Basically. He's going to stabby, stab, stab. 21 versus James AC. Um, I just came back and yes. Alright. That deals 7 damage. I'm not oh. dead. And really? nothing else. So you're just stabbing with the trident. So. Okay. I'm in the bathroom. Okay. Um, and so actually, Mike, it's your turn. Yeah, it is my turn, and now I am pretty damn close to dead again. <laughs> potion. Um, it, what is? Yeah, I know. I have two potions. What is the potion? Is that a minor action to drink it? Yes. Can I drink two potions and not overdose? You. I think you only drink one potion per turn because that potion is using a uh, healing surge. Yeah. yeah. I think you only do that once per uh, per round. Okay. Then oh, that is. I do not have nine healing surges left. What? I have four. Um. <laughs> so six plus nine. Okay. So I'm not dead yet. Mm. Um. Yeah. I guess all I can do is attack. So that's what I'm gonna do. To someone who is already my hunter's quarter. Yay. Mm. Um, wow. Uh, 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 I get, yeah, 20 on each. Oh, yeah. Uh, 20 on. Bo both rolls are, oh, well, one rolls 20. Gotcha. Another one's higher. Uh, the, the hit. Yay. Um, and the hit. So go. You know, I just noticed I've never been adding my sword's effects. Mm. I have plus five temporary hit points right now. Okay. Um, five plus three plus three plus six. Twelve. Seventeen. Seventeen. Against Smiles? Smiles. Smiles is the only one near me. All right. Yep. All right. Smiles is definitely bloody. So what does Karyon do? Um, uh, wait, what, what, sorry, um, uh, I just came back, what do you do? Just, just to clarify, when, when he's prone, then, uh, he grants combat advantage, so, if one of his attacks missed, then he gets okay. plus two. Okay, nope, it'd be, he hit on both anyway, but good point. Uh, never mind. I barely hit. Good reminder, good reminder. Um, okay, so, I need to save my poison. Right. A ten exactly. All right, that works. Hey. <coughs> Okay, um, Karyon is nothing right now. Mm. Um, so that means he doesn't take any damage, thankfully. Mm. Um, and I guess he just attacks Smiles. Right. And he will roll like... <laughs> um, 19 versus AC. That is a miss. That it is. Ah. Wait, does he gain combat advantage? He also gets a plus one. Well, I already. Mr. Oh yeah, because bloody. bloody. No, I think yeah, I think I added that already. Mm. Um, does he gain combat advantage? Um, is Mr. Smiles? Wait, it's a, he's prone, so yeah. Um, Mr. Smiles was knocked down, right? Yeah, he is prone, Who and knocked? uh, when you're prone, I, I uh, you grant combat advantage, and he's making melee attacks against you. I know. Who knocked him down? I knocked him down. Um. He got back up already. No, Wait, if, if if Chris is gone, then he hasn't had a chance to get back up. So yeah, oh, he's yeah. still prone. So yeah, oh, then that, that, that would be plus point. two to the nineteen. Then he hits. Yay, go Zan. Um, so then he just hits. Yep. Um, uh, nine, I think. Is that a? Yeah. <laughs> so he does nine damage, and that's the only thing. Alrighty. Oh, that is one point over his oh. HP. Nice. Now, hopefully I can finish him. Finish him. <laughs> not finish him, but finish the fight. Yeah. Probably not, because he hasn't taken much damage. Mm. Uh, the, yeah. uh, I'm going to use Poe again. Mm. So, bring that up. All right. By the way, the spider web at the back has burned out. Woo! Are the eggs left? 
No. Sweet. Okay. Um. And totally smart. Yeah. Yes. Crit. Ooh. So that would be twelve damage. Okay. From Poe. Oh. Um, I don't think I have any action points left, so... That bloody space lay? That will end my turn. All right. Finish it! Um, channel Eldritch Blast up, face lay. And I'll use my blue die, because it seems to like me. Mmm. So... Apparently it doesn't like me. I rolled a two. That was a twelve. (laughs) <laughs> okay. Um then Oh shit, I didn't want to catch him. So that's D ten. Wait, 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 no, no. I said it, I said it was a twelve. I didn't, oh, right. I didn't say it hit. I did, wait, what? I, I said you rolled a twelve, I didn't say it hit. Oh right, okay. So what what would that be? Oh right, okay. Um two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of they've sixteen against reflex. <laughs> its reflex is 16. Yeah. So that's... Two, 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 nine damage. Right. Oh, no. It's... Ten damage. All right. All right. It's, it's still up, but, you know, I think another few swipes is going to take it down. So, Edercap's dead. So, Chris... All right. Uh, do a lance of faith on it. All right. And I roll a one. Ah. Uh, I'm not done though. Okay. I'm going to move here, and I'm going to use dragon breath on it. Okay. Because it is a minor action. Yes. Um, I can choose to make it five by five or three by three. Okay. Just so I don't hit Poe, I'm going to make it three by three. All right. Uh. And a natural twenty. Oh. Um, unfortunately, you know, natural or critical hit only does six damage. Yeah, still better than nothing. Um, definitely better than nothing. It's it's so it's still up, but getting closer. It does fire damage if that makes a difference. Okay. Um, still up. Um, <laughs> it is now its turn. So let's see here. What can it do? What can it do? It will. Use its standard action as a shift. It will run down here to the... Actually, can it move faster? Oh, no. It will move to here. Is it shifting or...? No, it shifted once. Now it's running. Well, not because it's walking. Actually, it should run. It will run down to here and drop down the staircase. Shouldn't, if he's running, shouldn't he, like, fall? I don't think so. I don't think the rules say that. I'm um, running. I was no, I mean, running. you're running, like, if you're trying to run, you just full sprint down some stairs after going straight. Mm-hmm. It, it, just, it just kind of seems like you just tumble straight down those stairs. He's pretty familiar with those stairs. Yeah. He, he, he can, he can handle those stairs. It's part spider. <laughs> yeah. He can handle it. I think in, in most other situations, you're absolutely right. But I think for, for this one, for, for it, when it's in his lair, he can handle it. Mm. I think because it's got eight legs, it will fall. Mm. <laughs> It'll just slither down. Yeah. It goes down, and we are done with the encounter. Yeah, oh, for it. Okay. Um, someone throw a bomb in there. <laughs> <laughs> I do Great. want to investigate the possibility of taking an extended rest because we've used so many surges and everything. Mm. So, um, James, like, cautiously looks around. How much XP did we get? I will calculate that. I yeah. might need a single healing surge. Hey, I'm back. Do we win? Yes. 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 Yay. Um, you stayed poisoned for, like, three turns in a row because my dice hate you. And yeah. I put him in the corner and he started being nice again. Yeah, I, I occasionally came in and out because I was basically walking all around the house, and that's how I was typing in that stuff. And yeah. I heard I got poisoned once. I didn't know that three times, though. Whew. No, it wasn't you got poisoned three times. You were poisoned three turns in a row. Oh. Because I rolled, I rolled for saving two, four, 
two. That, and then I rolled a different dice, and it was okay. And what the heck happened to your good rolls, James? <laughs> no. They're they rolled good for me. They yeah. rolled good for me. The dice just hated you. Didn't you use different dice then? Um... Well, a after after the dice stopped, ro didn't roll good for you. I rolled a different one. <laughs> All right, so that is 180 XP each, with an extra Kitchen! with an extra 20 to Chris for thinking outside the box on the poison. And guess what? That extra 20 loads me up. Nice, <laughs> nice. I How want you? like he he picks up the light rod and you know mo starts moving around with it. Right. Um. Uh, th th still plenty of spider webs in there, but more residual, just stuff that was left behind. Um, mm. uh, this was definitely their lair that uh, they had been using. Um, obviously, plenty of scorched stuff over on the west side, um, <laughs> as, as that was uh, 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 burned out. But there's still a fair amount of uh, spider webs in the, to the north and south. Uh, and then there's that dark, <laughs> dark staircase leading down into the depths of the earth itself. Um, I look at the ceiling and stuff, too. The ceiling bears marks of spiders. Um, you, you notice a few webs and what might be the remains of a few meals up there, but certainly nothing salvageable. Um, okay. Nothing, nothing left alive. Uh, Shadal would like to go back down to the place where you got the, er, the plants earlier and mm -hmm. grab some more. Okay. As there might be more spiders. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, and Kari would like to, after the battle, he just kind of like dusts himself off and he's like, that's why they call me Brick Wall Carrion. <laughs> um, also, how much HP and all that other stuff did I lose? Uh, you used one game? healing surge and you're at 25 out of 35. Didn't so you level up, though? Yeah, I heal. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm at, yeah so basically... So you get more, you get more HP. Yeah, that's a good point. So how... So wait, I think it's like plus 8 for, per level, I think. It okay. depends on what class you are. Well, most classes have the same kind of level up base, though. No. No. The health is always, like, mine is, I only get five per level. Some characters get six or four. Or, or I only get yeah. four per level. Mm -hmm. how, how, much, how much do you get, um, uh, James? I don't know. Uh, well, Alright, so you are a, whatchamajigget? Warlord. Warlord. So it's Warlord on page 143. Before you guys finish leveling up, is there anything else so. you guys want to do in here? You guys want to, to um, stay the night? Uh, um, yeah, but I want to take precautions first. Um, can I climb, like, on top of the uh, the temple, like, on the roof? You can try. What, what, uh, what are you trying to do? I'm, I'm going to try and look around. Okay. Like, as far as I can see, and I'll, I want to hike to see it. Okay. I'll, um, help, no, I'll help James with no, that. No, no problem. He can, he can go all the way up there. Um, there's jungle all around. Um, like... Like, do I see, like, uh, anything that, like, might be, uh, actually, I also want to roll a nature check up here. Okay. Um, okay, that would be a 24. Okay. Um, the, basically, how safe is it to be in this forest at night? Not particularly safe. Like, it w w would, would, it, would it be doable, or is it just, do, don't even try Doable. You, there's a there's a decent chance of an attack. Well, um, if it makes you guys feel better, since like three of us just leveled up, we could stand guard if you guys need to rest. Yeah. You don't get your hit points back when you level up, do you? They do. Mm hmm. I guess it's up to Brad. Well, Not Brad. Uh, Brad. Up <laughs> <laughs> to Brad. Uh, I think the rules always been like you do get your hit points back. That's how we did with the uh, the octopus thing. We did. Yeah. I don't um, after the octopus thing, I leveled up and I got all the hit points back. I don't remember getting hit points back. No, I do. Well, I I, hmm. I don't think that was precisely in the rules. I mean, let me just check to see what they say. Matt, I don't think you and I got hit in that battle though. Mm, no, but I'm on twenty five hit points, so. No, I mean, I not, have, not I, this battle, and in the octopus battle. No, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. I don't, I wasn't there for the end of the octopus battle because... I know, I got raped I in the know. octopus battle. <laughs> and you screamed like a little girl, a very obscene yes. little girl. Yes, I think you would too if you got raped. With I wouldn't consider that a little girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> With tentacles? 
A little girl doesn't scream that many obscenities in one sentence. <laughs> Unless she's a sailor's daughter or something. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, Zane, you get five hit points per level. Yeah, oh, five, yeah. I thought it was like some round number there. So, yeah, now I'm at 40 max. Some awesome number like eight. Mm. Yeah, now my bloody is 20. Cool. Nice and even. <laughs> like in Minecraft, it must be even. <laughs> Minecraft and, is the scariest game ever. It can just, be. Yeah. The, only th the only scary things about it are spiders and creepers. Well, no, it's just the game. It's just scary. Like, play, like It's like playing Fear or something that's supposed to scare you, but the game's not supposed to scare you. Oh, it can be scary. It, just, it all depends. Like, yeah. Um, like okay. The um, I don't see anything here specifically saying it, so I'm going to say that when you level up, uh, you do not re-get uh, re all your hit points. Okay. you got to use, you know... Various, um, you know, your, your normal stuff. Okay, well, I, so I don't really absolutely need to, um, sleep. Yeah, I just want to, I was hoping to make sure we have all of our surges and everything because we're going down. Yeah. <laughs> and it usually might be down, it's more difficult. Well, it might be more difficult, but it's also more secluded as opposed to, we're, right, we're on the open right now. So yeah, there might there might be its own challenges when we're down there, but it just depends. Well, yeah. also this temple seems pretty secure in my opinion. Like I think there's only like two entrances, right? Mm, they they they'll probably climb back up out that staircase. That's the problem. Yeah, what I was hoping to do is I was hoping to um, you know how I have that spell that can create kind of just visual illusions and stuff. Mm. I was hoping to hide the door and make the top of the staircase look blocked off, and then since I'm in a lodron, I can meditate, which means I'm fully aware, so we won't be caught up by surprise with an attack. Yeah. Mm. Well, see, yeah, yeah, see, 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 the only problem with the attack is that means you will not have arrested. Oh. Um, mm. Right. Well, I'm fine with standing guard. I don't need rest. Well, but, but, I didn't. But, but, but again, the issue is if you guys get attacked, they're going to wake up. Mm-hmm. So there's really no point if we get attacked. It's most likely attacked. Yeah. So you guys can push on, absolutely. Um, or you, you can you can stay the night and risk another uh, attack. How long would it take to um, chop down some trees and create an actual blockade? A day. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we might want to just push on. I haven't yeah. lost much health either. I just wanted to make okay. sure everyone uh, was really ready to go. Can someone tell me what my HP and healing is at if I'm not fully healed then? Yeah, um, you were at, you're at 25 HP. Okay. And you used one healing surge, whatever you were last at, so minus one that. How many do I have left, so? What were you at when you left? I guess, well, I used two, so at six, so I used one, so I guess I'm at five then. Okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I only have four, six surges normally, so. So I think at this point, we will stop for the day. Mm. All right, then. And we will continue into level one of the dungeon next time. Sounds <laughs> good. So, feedback. Favorite product? Fire fixes everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you um, notice, fire, fire has helped us through the entire thing. It cooked the crocodile that we fed to them. Um, it burned the eggs. It burned everything. I'm so happy I chose to be a fire wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Next place we uh, go, hell, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, me and um, me and normal people, Abby, because we have plus five fire resistance. <laughs> yeah, but so will everything else there. Yeah. Well, if they use fire on us, we'll be fine, mostly. Uh, um, I have a, I have a fire, whatever, which negates yeah, fire that's resistance. True. Yeah. All right, so if there's no feedback, then we will... Uh, oh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, sorry. I, yeah. I was going to say, uh, I, like, the combat this time was really good. Thank you. Yeah. Um, the role-playing was cool. I mean, this was really good for a lesser RP and more combat. Mm. Better than I expected. Mm, cool. Mm. Um, I, I, I like this session because I found out something that <laughs> yes, you did. is... Kind of like, holy crap, but mm. yeah.
Okay. Um, Where is Bernard? Yeah. <laughs> that's why I wanted to go get him, though. I felt I missed him. And also, I wanted him to level up. Mm. Uh, yeah. Right. Least favorite part uh, of the session? Mine is Bernard. Yeah, Bernard. <laughs> I missed him. That's uh, my least favorite. Really <laughs> yeah, I, I really wanted to get him, but then Norman was like, no, I want to go and do stuff to the temple. I'm like, oh, Bernard. <laughs> Yeah, I did. Uh, what I did like though was the um, uh, fight with the crocodiles and the uh, the swamp monster. That mm. was nice. Okay. Yeah, uh, I know I wasn't here for most of the fight, but it just seemed like I was holding the door, and so was James. And basically, mm -hmm. like you guys were just sniping in. It just seemed <laughs> I wasn't here, but it just seems like I was gone for about maybe fifteen minutes. It just, it just seemed slow. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I popped it every once in a while. Like, so still nothing's changed. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was kind of slow, because me and him just sat there at the door, just yeah. roll, roll, yeah. roll, just roll, bump, bump. Bum. Mm -hmm. It felt like a tower defense game, almost. <laughs> oh, um, I actually wanted to try this out. Um, Brent, after each game, would you be cool with going over what you had planned so we can see the differences we made? I'm cool with that. You guys cool with that? Yeah. yeah. Didn't you say there's like gonna be a, a time where you're going to do like a <laughs> whole, whole thing where you explain yeah. like the whole progress behind, behind the a game board? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Matt behind and I are planning. Screen. Yeah. Yeah. Matt and I are planning on on recording that. We actually tried once and we veered off topic. Uh, so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna re-record uh, probably tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, absolutely. Um, so let's see here. This actually this session was pretty. Um, uh, Pretty close to what I had planned. Um, I didn't screw it up with some sort of bar <laughs> fight again. <laughs> no. So, um, let's see here. Moving back. Um, so, you had the thing with um, music and getting up after, after the thing with music. Um, mm -hmm. I figured you guys would, 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 go to the, would pick up on the Lightbringer clue more readily. Um, that's fine. Um, I just kept thinking the Lifebringer was just some silly little thing in the mm. back story of the country that didn't even matter. Yeah. I just wanted to make right. sure the music thing was taken care of and all of that was done sure. before we went on to the Lifebringer thing. I, I, totally, I totally understand that. Um, mm. So there was that. Um, I, I, I really hadn't planned out exactly what was going to happen with, with music and how you guys were going to handle that, so all that was improvised. <laughs> um, the... <laughs> Uh, the Magical Academy, um, I had kind of figured out in general. I knew that uh, the the guy running it would be Peter Laurie, um, <laughs> and uh, and everything else there was was pretty much you know um, as I as I thought um, as I worked out. Um, the fights, frankly, were a little longer than I thought they would be. Um, mm -hmm. um, the Initial one I thought would be you know, worked out about the same, uh, about the way I thought it would. It's, oh, I was surprised that the um, uh, the crocodiles weren't able to drag anyone. Um, I was looking forward to that mechanic because they sort of drag folks into the water, but they you know no one no one stayed grabbed. Um, I think that one I think that one went on a little bit longer because James just didn't attack the crocodiles. True. Yeah. True. Um, and then I totally. Um, I, I had figured that you guys might find a way of like sneaking around the village, or I thought you'd attack it. I totally did not expect the crocodile to offering thing. Um, hey, they, which, you said they wanted food, yeah, and absolutely. we were just talking about eating it. You're yeah. absolutely right. I mean, it, it was, I, it was, was brilliant. I was tempted to kill them just because I'm like, okay, I got that much experience yeah. left. How do we go kill them, guys? <laughs> I, and let's again, go, let's do some during, grinding. Yeah, during the, during the RP session, even I was like, okay, I'm getting impatient with this. Can we kill them now? Because <laughs> I'm like, I'm only so much experience away. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, it was, a, it was a brilliant way of doing it. Um, and uh, it worked out very well. Um, I, had, I, I planned that if you guys had, you know, had basically killed everyone, there would be, there'd, there'd be some like, women and children left who would sort of point you to the temple in case, you know, uh, you'd gone that direction. Um, wow, that's so, that sounds something out of um, uh, my first session of DMing, uh, mm. from that session that I had with uh, you and uh, Chris, mm. with Chris, uh, yeah, Brad. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then uh, the thing with, with the Enercaps, 
um, you know, uh, uh, like you said, um, I think everyone bunched up at the door, which made the, the battle go on a little longer than I, than I would like. Um, one of the other problems I'm discovering is that a lot of these monsters from Monster Manual 1 don't change much uh, throughout the, 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 the combat, so it tends to devolve into hitting things. Um, <coughs> so I think for the next couple, of, I think, for, you know, for the next bit, I'm going to concentrate on making encounters a little more dynamic um, and have things changing overall, because, like, the, with, all the spiders could do were attack or jump and attack. Because, mm -hmm. Well, you know, uh, it didn't really make sense if everyone bunched up together. Well, that um, encounter could have went worse if I, if, if you decided, hey, these eggs are back here. They're going to attack you. What? I, yeah. Um, that, that's another, another thing. Is they were, weren't supposed to have eggs, but once you asked, <laughs> I was like, sure, <laughs> there are eggs. That's great. Um, <laughs> I should stop giving you ideas. <laughs> but no, it worked out because, you know, you, they, you burned them up. That was fine. Um, but uh, that was another thing I was holding in reserve is that there could be other, you know, spiders... Uh, hiding somewhere, um, but fortunately that didn't, that didn't work out for you guys. Um, <laughs> they probably are. This is probably just like the the vanguard right here. Mm. I mean, yeah, I can I can see like a queen being at the bottom of all this and well, actually, uh, guarding like. Um, you, you guys can tell you have cleaned out this Edercap layer. Oh, this, this, this is it. The, the, you know, this is all that they had had taken over. Well, what about the guy that ran away? What about him? Well, he went back to his wife and kids. Mm. Okay. No, I, I, why, like, why did he go down there if this is their lair? Where else would he have gone? No, no, not run away and try to fight to the death like his friends. Why would he have done that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> because he's because he needs to be manly. Honor. Insectly. <laughs> if I remember, Edercaps are slightly intelligent, so they have reason to run. Yeah. Stupid Edercaps. <laughs> <laughs> That was about it in terms of how I planned it. This went way closer to to the plan than than I'd expected. No more fun sessions. Anything else? Um. Not that I can think of. Nope, I had fun. Yeah. Nice. All right. Then I will see you guys in two weeks. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Sleep. Thank <laughs> you.